can't pre-order. Um, they are, uh, they're all sort of in and around 100 of each strand in quantity, which might sound like loads, but loads of our jewelry maker customers will realize that actually 100 is not enough. Um, we've also got a Michael's Mystery Box. Uh-oh. So on Sunday, I understand you had a chain in your mystery box, and, and it's it sold the best out. Ever mystery box we've ever done. Really? And this one could even equal that. Re equal it or better it? You know what? I'll, I'll say equal it. Equal it. The last one was so amazing. Yeah. I couldn't, couldn't even imagine it getting any better than that. Okay. What's it, what is in here? I've never seen anything like it before ever. Can you hear that? He's and never seen years four years. He's never seen anything like oh, what's no. in his mystery box. Wow! So, what time are you doing this? What time, Tom? Oh, later. Just on. later. Later, oh, Tom says. Surprise. Stay tuned. We've also got the gorgeous Kleshner, everybody. Whoa. She's getting herself all ready and set up. There she Whoa. is. Lovely Whoa. Kleshner. Whoa. Oh, have you slept? Have you slept? Because it's like you've literally gone from the late show into the morning show. I have. No, I was here all night. All and night. Yeah, all night. Just popped and, up from and behind. Just decided to comb my hair this morning. Put a little slick of lippy on. And here I am. Well, I tell you what, if I comb my hair and put a slick of lippy on, I still wouldn't look that fabulous. Oh, you're Still nice. wouldn't, still wouldn't. Um, should we say hello to our gorgeous crew? I think we should. So, you've heard from him already. It's lovely Michael Wolf on cameras. There he is. Hello. Uh, he's a good egg because you know what he does on, on his way down to the studio? He always makes everybody a cup of tea. Um, <laughs> oh. He was a bit of Hang on a bit, hang on a bit, awkward. Did you not make Clash a cup of tea? Well, I don't, I'm trying to think, I don't think you were here at the time. I wasn't here at the time. They are pretty warm. Clash, it's at this point that you need to sing this song. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> <laughs> I've come to talk with you again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you a cup of tea. And yes, holding the show together and bringing us tea here after as well. It's the wonderful Tom Neary, everybody. <laughs> Tom, you know I love you. You know I do. Don't feel put out that I gave Michael a shout out then. Of course not, of course not. In the gallery, oh, it's our two studs in the gallery. We've got the very lovely, the gorgeous Ollie, everyone. There he, Tom, oh Tom, God. Tom. Move out the way a minute so we can just see. Yeah, uh, uh, and of course there is. He's very tall, really tall, Tom. Everybody, there he is. He's he's been growing some more, isn't he? He's been growing some more. Can I just say though, just um, just he, he told me what he's up to this weekend. He's excited about this weekend because he said, "I'll oh, guess where I'm going on Saturday." I said where? Strictly. He's off to Strictly. See, you didn't know that he loves a bit of sequins, does our Tom? That's what he does on the, on, on the weekend, is you, you dress up in your sequins, don't you? And did, 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 everybody, did, did, everybody is jealous. Um, we all want to get it. Everybody, but everybody. I, I, do you know, it's one of the programmes I don't watch. I don't watch Strictly. I, Would um, you I, like to go and see it Yeah, live? probably. Yeah, it sounds like fun. It does sound like fun. OK, shall we get cracking? I think we should. Let's get cracking with some lovely shell pearl, everybody. It look beautiful with your hematite. I am going to harp on about hematite for the entirety of the morning, everybody. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. This would look beautiful. There's only one, so you know what to do with the Breakfast Club. You know that it's going to the lowest possible price tag, and you know that it will be available at this price, well, to be honest, until stocks mm. last, which is there's only one, <clears throat> or 60 minutes after the original auction. That's how the first hour actually pans out, jewelry makers. So, three, two, one, go. Who's going to grab it? This is a really lovely twilight matte colour, so it's a really soft, almost like a, almost like a, um, how do I describe it? Like a dusky, a dusky cream, I suppose. Uh, dusky cream. Three ninety five only. Who's going to get that first? Because there's a few of you there. It's a free phone telephone number to speak to our fabulous UK-based contact centre. Yeah, um, a free for all. Tom says free for all. First come, first serve. Okay, moving on. Uh, I don't have a 27. I don't have one. So maybe let's do something else in the meantime. Yes, let's do 19. Shall we do some lovely wire? 
Um, okay, so you've got here your one mil gauge, four meters of your one mil gauge. If I just turn this around here, you can actually see the actual color itself. So this is your structural wire. This is what you kind of make your framework or um, you, what you weave onto, etc. You can make simple stacker rings out of these. It's it's a must, isn't it? Even if you don't class yourself as a wire worker, which I certainly don't. I'm not, not nearly as talented. Um, but you still use your one mil gauge wires for um, for many, many other aspects of jewelry making, shall we say. So you can create mm. your clasp, etc. £1.95 um, in one of the most popular colours um, of your wire, most certainly. So, you know, the gold, the silver, um, and the copper. Probably your antique bronze is up there as well. I would say that uh, are your most popular. Your big, your big four, I suppose. All the W's at jewelrymaker.com. These are breakfast club prices, jewelry makers, so you have to be quite quick on it you have to be on it you know when they start a sale like you know you know the boxing day sales like next oh, yes. for example when, when people queue queue, yeah. queue for hours and hours and hours to make sure that they get those deals you don't have to queue you can actually shop with us from the comfort of your home but you have to be quite quick making sure that you check out and making sure that you dial nice and early congratulations Okay, I'm going to move on to a lovely seed labradorite. So these are two millimetres in their size. Again, look lovely with the hematite. I do hope there's no typos during the hematite showcase. Do you remember that typo that happened once with a strand of hematite? Um... Um, I, I best not say it now, it's because kids are still, they're not at school yet, are they? They're not at school yet. I can't say I can't say it anyway, watershed and all that. But yeah, let's just say they they they, they spelt hematite wrong and it was a little bit oh okay. Can you imagine it without the, the magic e. Without that e, yes. Imagine that. Imagine that. So hmm. let's hope that doesn't happen this morning. Ten carats of your beautiful labradorite here in that gorgeous kind of very natural as well. Um, soft green colour, three ninety five. Single. There's only one of these. Only one available. This will work with your seed beading. It will work with your hematite. It will work lovely as well with your gorgeous aquamarine that we've got coming your way. Mm -hmm. um, and did I mention that the hematite comes in lots of different colours? So if you love the greeny tones and you're thinking alongside this, how beautiful would that be? Because, yeah, we do actually have some quite dark forest green. So a lovely combination um, of labradorescence and luster. Moving on to... Well, that's over here. Oh, I launched these. I think they're fab. Big, big, big shell slices, but they've actually got, if you look on the surface, if you imagine a pearl forming within that mollusk, Ooh. this is, that's that's how a pearl forms. There's only one of them available, and you do get three of them in total. Now, no two will be the same. Um, morning, Deb. That was a good typo. Do you remember it, Deb? Yeah, and then she, I was on air with Linda, and of course she just kept repeating it, didn't she? Because it's Linda Brumble, and she's just a little bit mischievous, so she just kept repeating it, repeating it, repeating it. We're like, shh, Linda. Anyway, <laughs> she's naughty. Um, so these are actually how pearls form, but the reason why they've actually sort of stayed secured to the mollusk, you'll see there where you know, those little colours there are where they've actually they've actually separated, is because they're yeah basically very closely compact together. Moving on. How about, is this what I think it is? Last in stock of South Sea Pearls. Ooh. Tom, why do you sound like all of a sudden you've disappeared? <clears throat> there he is. There he is. He was talking about me, so he deselected me. That's what it was. <laughs> oh, we've got such a lovely working relationship, <laughs> haven't we? You get the five pieces, and these are um, genuine South Sea pills. So coming from um, the actual season around um, in around Australia, very desirable South Sea pills. Hi, Annette. Good morning, lovely Alan team. Mwah. Morning, Annette, darling. I'm looking forward to another fantastic day at JM Towers. The deals Ooh. lately have been epic. Thank you. They have, haven't they? 
We've been saying that though, and it's just like just just wicked. The shows have been absolutely wicked lately. Um, yeah, make, make sure you're with us at ten o'clock then, Annette, because there's some really beautiful goodies coming your way. So there are gemstones. Uh, it, it, let's talk pearls for a second here, because Tahitian pearls, Akoya pearls, South Sea pearls are those top three. Um, and now with a, with a South Sea pearl, the reason why they are so expensive is because they are very 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 um, sensitive. Basically, the mollusks themselves are very sensitive, and they will actually only form pearls in a very small area um, just off Australia. So, you know, many pearl farms, well, most pearl farms actually are now actually in fresh water. Um, these aren't, then they can't. They've tried to do it because the mollusks are so that much of a diva that they will not be Ooh. moved, basically. You get five pieces. They are genuine South Sea pearls, so maybe worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity. My goodness, that should be priced for South Sea pearls. If you look online at the prices that South Sea, South sea pearls can and do fair, thousands upon thousands of pounds um, they are known to have this really lovely golden color and they do have these gorgeous textures because of the size of the pearl so they have lovely kind of uh, ripples across the surface of a South Sea pearl 34.95 that's working out at six pounds 95 pence per pearl that seems incredible doesn't it that seems an amazing price tag, considering you're getting all of these. You'd be hard pushed to find one at that price tag. Now they are, I should also mention, let me double check, let me double check. Yeah, they're drilled all the way through. So we've got featherweight head pins coming up later on, jewelry makers. So pop one of those um, through the South Sea Pearl. You've just made yourself a really beautiful, very high end pendant, pair of earrings, whichever you wish. In fact, an entire suite. You can make an entire suite out of this lovely collection. Again, prestige. I mean, I can bring you pearls. I can bring you pearls at single figure prices, but this is taking it to another level. It's like D to a diamond, if you like. Um, <clears throat> it's that prestige of owning that location itself. Um, okay, moving on. Shall I do some gorgeous moon, uh, moonstone? <clears throat> lovely. So beautiful. Adrolescence. Oh. I have to say it like that. Oh, go a little bit delia when I say that word. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. Adolescence. This gemstone. You mean Nigella? No, that's the one. Not Delia. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Holly. Hey, Delia yeah, might have Delia, her moments. Come on. Yeah. She might have her moments. <laughs> yes, we're not. There might be times when Delia talks like that too. Oh, yeah, she's always at the football ground, isn't she, yeah. Delia? Sorry, I meant Nigella. Yes, yeah, that's Nigella. it. Nigella. Bit of chocolate sauce. 115 carats of beautiful, natural... <laughs> <laughs> White Moonstone. She is a saucy minx, isn't she? Hi, Eliz. You know some, someone is uh, a true friend when they are rude and cheeky to your face. It's like Tom is your bestie. Do you know, honestly, Liz, the messages that he sent me yesterday, so I te he said, oh, was it me that started? Yeah, I, I texted him and said, anything else that I need to know about for tomorrow's show? And he said, oh. You're bothering, you're bothering to join us, are you? You've deserted us lately, Al. I said, well, first I was thinking, well, that's not true. And then he told me that he hated me. And I said, well, the feeling's mutual. So, and then there was a few swear words in text messages. And then at the end of the text message conversation, we said, we were like that, love you, I'll see you in the morning. There you go. <laughs> so it's true. It's true. Aww. It is true. I did say that he was getting on my um, nerves. On your nerves, on your bits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only hematite. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. That's that's gonna, it's going to cut stick that one, isn't it? Oh, shush, Tom. Yeah, I can't say it. I can't say it just in case I get in trouble. Three ninety five only, everybody, for this beautiful adventure. Uh, adolescent, sorry, across the surface of them. Right, moving on. I've had to put up with him, Liz, for a very long time. He keeps following me. I've put up with him for even longer, though. You have? That's true. And I knew no... him when he was a young whippersnapper, before Did he grew oh. tall. <laughs> wow. So Kleshner's, Kleshner's worked with him for even longer than I have. Mm. Mm. Um, look at these. They are your adjustable rings. So literally, if you can imagine, sort of, not everybody is a wire worker, but maybe you have those gemstones that you want to turn into like a really beautiful bubble-style um, ring. Here is the chance. So um, if I just do this... 
you can see um, that they are actually adjustable, so quite easily adjustable to whichever size you wish. Perfect if you do your craft events and your stalls and things like that. Um, and I'll turn it that way because just here you actually have those three loops. Those three loops are what you anchor onto, so using your 0.4 wire or whichever wire you wish really, head pins as well, um, you can create those really lovely cluster style. Um, I like these actually um, in a pendant too. They look really lovely as a pendant, sort of suspended like aren't so. They aren't they? Yeah, you get 10 of them as well. Wow. So really, really, really versatile. And they'll work across all the different mediums as well. Should be £4.52, which seems amazing. That's, what, 45p each? But it's the Breakfast Club. And they've all had their brekkie this morning. £3.50, everybody, for these. Oh, you're welcome, you're welcome, you are welcome. £3.50 only for all of these absolutely beautiful adjustable rings. Look at that. So with silver plated, so you've got the precious metal there as well. Um, I think that, you know, there's lot, they're just very versatile because you could even stretch them right out if you wanted to, actually turn it into maybe like a, the front of a bracelet, possibly. But you're jewelry makers. You're good at thinking outside the box. Um, okay, let's bring you... Oh, this is naughty. We're not meant to have amber. We're not meant to have amber outside. Ooh. I put my hand cream on so... Michael, I put my hand cream on so literally I can't open it. So we're not meant to have amber outside of Amber Week events. No, you events. put loads of hand cream on it now. Sorry, now you can't open no, it. No, I can. Thank you. There you go, love. Thank you, thank you. Now don't forget, I hope everyone realises that these beautiful spaces in between um, the amber are actually sterling silver, so please do not throw those away. They are precious metal. And you've got your gorgeous rice, uh, so your marquee speed, so lovely elongated shapes. You could literally just restrand that, couldn't you? On the back of what has to have been one of our most successful amber weekends, it's got to be, hasn't it? Um, there were some pretty insane products during the amber weekend. <clears throat> oh, I, I mean, I tried to get so many of the goodies over the weekend, but literally sell out, sell out, sell out. This um, has basically been reserved for you for this morning. So um, it, the length 38 centimetres is more than enough to create like a princess length necklace. So um, all you need to do is actually attach your, um, feed your beading thread of choice through the centre, pop your sterling silver clasp and hey presto, you've just made yourself a very high end piece of jewellery. Now we should be bringing this to you at £101.95 pence, considering that's a lot of amber. It doesn't have to all be in one piece of jewellery. You could just use one or two, I suppose. How much would you actually pay for maybe an amber pair of sterling silver sterling silver amber earrings would they be in around that price tag probably not far off to be truthful um, but you can make loads of them from this one strand 59.95 only this morning for all of these wow so beautiful so so beautiful yeah literally I was quite envious of your show over the weekend I was like oh, I'd love to be there right now there were some really beautiful goodies Oh, we've got a cracker this weekend, absolutely. We've got Vintage Weekend um, coming your way. Tuesday, by the way, is Gem Setting Day. So we've got the lovely Claire McDonald um, joining us on Tuesday. So that should be really, really good. Uh, Thursday, there's Morganite. Right, yeah, honestly, the lineup. We plan that far ahead now. Did anybody else see? If you follow, um, I mentioned it on my Facebook uh, live yesterday, but our gemologist Marie has set up, after much requests, a Facebook page. Um, so you can join her on her Facebook page. Did you? And she put on Instagram, I'm, I'm saying Facebook, but on her Instagram story, she actually found in Hong Kong faceted amber. And wow. they were just beautiful. Faceted amber rounds. I hope she's bought those. We don't know. Don't know yet. Fifty nine ninety five for these. Make sure you check out those baskets, everybody. Would you like to see it up at the neckline just quickly? Yes, just quickly. Please. Yeah, here you go. Let's do it. Let's do it. So it's going to sit about there on me. Pop that onto a beading thread, silk, whichever you wish. Look at that, beautiful. Because amber is quite lightweight, it doesn't have to be sort of a really <laughs> robust threading material. Um, moving on... Featherweight head pins. Okay, I don't actually have them here, but it's okay. We can use a photograph. Um, so these are 925 sterling silver. A featherweight. The introduction of fe featherweight head pins, get my words out in a second, revolutionized the jewelry making world, didn't it? Um, because you can put so much on a featherweight head pin because they are that much narrower. So all, even some of your micro faceted gemstones will actually go on those. Um, so you're getting a pack of 20. You've got the one millimeter ball, ball detail at the bottom. So it looks a little bit like those sterling silver beads that you saw in between the amber <clears throat> and then there's a long length of 40 millimeters or four centimeters if you work in my kind of world um two pound 
45. I think the message is really stock up on them when you get the chance because these are not always on every single show, believe it or not, even though they are definitely an essential and that's something I know we're working towards. Um, they always sell out because of the necessity of them. Anybody that does bubble style bracelets or loves the look of that, um, anybody that loves to work with, like I said, your smaller faceted gemstones, um, then they, they're a must have. And I can tell because there's loads of you there. Good morning, Elaine, Judith, Caroline, Karen, Susan, Jacqueline, Channel Isles. Have they gone? Gone. Gone, gone, gone. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Halloween. Ooh. You could make some lovely Halloween jewellery with this. Now you get a metre long length. Choker. Cool choker. Look at that. And it's hollow. You've got a hollow core, so... <laughs> <laughs> Tom's it just started. It has started. It started. So for those of you that don't know, that Tom actually does this every every time I say something like, "Oh, it's rare. You're rare, Al." I've just said, "Oh, it's hollow," and he says, "You're hollow, Al." Hollow, Al. Hollow, Al. Hollow, Can this not? Can, 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 we, can this not catch on? I don't want to be known as hollow. <laughs> At least he didn't say shallow. Anyway, so yeah, yeah. give him time. Um, so you've got here like a, a, a mesh, a wire knit, um, which is uh, which you can actually pop your gemstones in there. So even some of your two millimeter gemstones, possibly some of your hematite. I've not seen this before. One ninety five only. Oh, forget that. Tom says, forget that. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, ask Gemma Crow. She, she, I, I bet you she'd have loads of ideas with this. One pound forty-five only. So yeah, if I actually turn it that way, you can see there's like a there's a core that you could put you could put wire in the centre there if you wanted to. Um, you can put your gemstones in the centre there if you wanted to. Or you could just literally wear it as it is. It's very cool. If you put wire, if you put that copper wire that we had a few min moments Ooh. ago, that one mil wire, you could almost shape it, couldn't you? Mm. Memory wire, yes. Yes. Does, does, is it is it chain or can you pull it? Can I pull it? Either side like that. Well, it's that, kind of soft. Like, it's yes. kind of soft and squishy, if that makes sense. So you can go for it and make it fully. Yeah. 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 Mm. So you could kind of fill it up. Wow. Um, okay. Moving on. Oh my goodness! How have we got Larimar within our vault? I thought this had long but sold out. It's a oh. huge piece of Larimar. Wow. A one locational gemstone all the way from the Dominican Republic. It's a very rare form um, of pectolite um, that only in that location is coloured uh, with this beautiful tropical blue. Um, now, some time ago now, we had lovely Herman come over from the Dominican. What a lovely gentleman he was, and his wife, um, who actually, who, who we source our, m the majority, I should say, of our Larimar from. I think this would have probably been maybe a one-off opportunity, I'd imagine. Um, but wow, I tell you, I didn't think there was any Larimar within our vault, believe me, otherwise I'd have been all over it. This is definitely one of those gemstones, if you class yourself as a collector, that you should get sooner rather than later, because it will run out. It definitely, definitely will run out. And there's no way of determining how much mining of Larimar is left. And that's because um, it forms between um, in, in sort of crevices underneath the Earth's, Earth's crust, which were formed once upon a time by um, by a volcanic eruption, and they just literally stop. So there's no way of actually determining how far we can actually mine. It's all very much a bit of a sort of a, one of those. Okay, so are we going to find this gemstone? Um, 99.95. What an opportunity! Well done, Marie. That's amazing, amazing. Um, okay, moving on. Let's do some gorgeous opal. You know where the deals are, jewelry makers. You know where they are. Um, and fun. We're going to have fun this morning. I can mm -hmm. feel. I can feel it in my bones. Oh. Genuine Ethiopian opal, with all of those lovely flashes of play of colour. That's beautiful. No crystal structure to your opal. It's, it's formed out of silica between cracks and crevices within the host rock. The more sporadic those lovely, um, uh, those silica spheres are placed, the more play of colour that you actually acquire. Um, October's birthstone as well. So if you are an October baby, then this wonderful treasure is, is for you, really. Um, yeah, William Shakespeare said it was the queen of gemstones. 
and how how right was he? How perfectly right was he? Uh, five carats you're getting here, and they're all in plain rounds. So this, the, from, from two millimeters up to four millimeters, you've got that graduation. For me, I just restrand that and wear it as it is. I mean, it's simply beautiful, isn't it? Um, they are like magical snow globes almost. Look lovely with the hematite as well, I was actually. Just just thinking exactly that. Did I I'm take, looking did I take the words the, out your mouth? Yeah, the end one on that bar. Yeah. From here looks like um, the total opposite end. Yeah. Looks like opalescent. Can you imagine yes. doing it with that? It, it, it has got the similarities, hasn't it? There's yes. lovely rainbows of colours. That's what I, I was thinking. Gosh, it's beautiful. So elegant. And. Uh, uh, Elegance in its simplicity as well. I mean, yeah. when you've got that much colour and that much sort of fascination going on naturally within the gemstone, this is not coated. This is actually how Ethiopian opal forms. And did you know it was only actually discovered in the 1980s? So, really? yeah, yeah, it's quite, it's, it's one of the newest discoveries of opal to the world. Wow. Um, and that main seam, which was like a huge, it's almost like the, the Grand Canyon, if yeah. you like. They used to mine it on vertical, like clear, clear, uh, sheer cliff faces. They don't do that anymore because it's all but basically deplete so they're now mining to a slightly slightly west never eat west location <laughs> of i have to do the never eat right anyway um of the of the actual mine 39.95 that is a steal of a deal how many have we got of these then oh there's one who is going to get that one i've got i've got a lot of interest in it so you have to be quite quick in checking out your baskets um hello marilyn hello to you barbara you're there as well if you've got a phone in your hand do stay where you are there's only one available in the world at that kind of price tag i mean when they were first brought to our screens i should imagine they were significantly more than that because it's not opal that's lacking in play of color and red actually is the rarest color to get within your opal that refers to the distance that the colors have to travel to you and i um, Okay, moving on <clears throat> to some lovely shell pearls. Classic. Classic elegance. Good old shell pearls. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? Eight millimetres in their size, full 38 centimetre strand. Um, the beauty of shell pearl, A, yes, it's very, it's mo much more affordable than your normal pearls, um, but also they're very robust. They're not quite as... Um, um, the, the, the more resilient, shall we say, to things like your hairsprays and your perfumes and things like that. So, um, and you're less likely to scratch them as well. So, you get really beautiful spherical shapes because basically a shell pearl is reconstituted pearl and shell. So, you take the fine powders because there are losses during the drilling process. You take those those damaged pearls um, or beautiful shells and they grind it down to a very fine powder and reconstitute them into the ideal shape. So these will be lovely knotted. So anybody that does the pearl knotting, anybody that does marla necklaces, good old stretchies. You can't beat a stretchy, um, especially in shell pearl, because as I said, around the wrist, you know, they're, 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 they're fairly robust, uh, beautiful treasures. Three ninety five only. I'm definitely thinking alongside your hematite showcase as well. There's something about shell pearl alongside hematite. I just think it works. It really does work because you've got a very high luster um, across the surface of these as well. And we're teasing you with lots of the different cuts and shapes and colors that we've got coming your way um, in this morning's show. Come and say hello we are a sociable bunch here in the jewelry maker hello. studios um, and we are live as well live we were up we were all here very early this morning and and sort of ready and raring weren't we mm -hmm. and i think i think at like 20 past seven um producer tom actually said how how is it how is it only 20 past um it feels like well, you know it feels like we should have been on air a good hour or so ago i think it was i think that was my fault because i was here extra early this morning i think that was my fault so i threw all of you yeah. out of sync out of sync i was here before you were, that you were here before seven yeah i was i was i was I was did we wake you up or no something? i haven't got a 25 what is it oh you have it's an, hang on hang on hang on hang on, hang on, hang on. here comes michael hi what is it tom that one! Oh. This one? Yes. Thank you, thank you. Can you all makers? Michael Wolf, everybody. Oh. Hey! He's going to be on later with his mystery box. 
Love it. And he might get his little dance as well, which is always good fun. Um, Russian Amazonite. Night. Now, if you were with me with um, Alex, the mineral man, he was actually talking about how expensive um, certain locations of Amazonite can be, and Russia was one of those that he suggested. And this is why, because you get really beautiful, dark, intense body colour, as opposed to sort of the pastel shades that you might find in other locations. They're beautiful too, don't get me wrong, but the darker, the deeper the saturation, the more valuable the gemstone. 160 carats you're getting here of natural Russian Amazonite. The popularity of this gemstone has absolutely skyrocketed rocketed recently and I think that's because of the following that it's got at the moment there's lots of the big designers like Monica Veneda, Ashley Clark um, I, th I saw, oh gosh who was it, was it one of the big designers like Boodles um, had worked with it as well, so big 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 popularity in this gemstone, 8 millimeters in their size, uh, perfect spherical rounds insane quality in terms of the actual colour. They just glow, don't they? And it's one of those that we do, we naturally gravitate to. I can't believe I'm about to say this. That's your should be price, twenty four ninety five for Russian Amazonite. You know, it's like Alexandrite, for example. You get Alexandrite from different locations, but Russian Alexandrite, it's just on that pedestal. Wow, it's a breakfast club prize for you, jewellery makers. I tell you what, if you don't, I'll be all over this, and I'll just turn them into very simple, probably macrame style bracelets, a little bit like the hematite one that I'm wearing right now. Have I got many of these three Tom says so so no no uh, everything is going to be limited within this hour and beautiful with all of your hematite there I've said it it would oh look at the hematite in the bottom of your screen right now look at that oh all of these oh. are coming your way from oh that's that's a bit saucy isn't it Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. These are coming up from 10 o'clock jewellery makers. Um, and can I just mention as Pretty. well, hematite, you've got to be careful where you source it from because there is much synthetic hematite in the market in actual fact. So um, we actually laboratory test all ours so you know it actually is the real deal. Okay, moving on. 20, did you say? Oh, findings. Newsflash. All the hematite at 10 o'clock is going under. Mm -hmm. 10 pounds. What? Everything is a single figure price tag in the hematite showcase. Wow. That's amazing. You can't pre-order though. You can't pre-order though, because they'll have sold out by the time we at 10 o'clock comes. Um, so yeah, and we don't want that to happen. So everything is at a single figure price tag in the hematite showcase. Oh, amazing. Hang on a minute. I've just, I've just realized something, you know? Yeah. Michael, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> it did sound a bit Adam's family, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the Adam's family. Oh, no, it's a Mystery box. Oi, oi. Yeah, okay. Because I might know what's in Michael's mystery box this morning. Oh, you what? You what? I had a. Hello. I'm not going to tell anybody. Have you been peeping? Yes. Oh. I'm making a peep. I'm making a peep. <laughs> Here we go. Cheaper. So this is a beautiful um, findings pack, including your brooch facts, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you get all of these, you get your shepherd hooks, you get your head pins, you get your toggles, two lots of your toggle clasps, you get your jump rings there. <laughs> then you get <laughs> then you get the length of your chain as well. Four ninety five. Am I right in saying it's all of these then? You get all of this. Including the brooch backs for that price tag. Wow, that's an amazing bundle, isn't it? Um, and in your brooch backs, if I hold one of them there, I mean, you use those with your shibori, you're going to use that with your polymer clay, you'll use it with wire work. Um, yeah, all of the above. All of the above. $4.95 only. That's a massive deal for all of these. Keep dialing through, everybody. Keep dialing through. Okay, moving on. Oh, Barker's bit, is that because you haven't, you, you yeah, he's not organised. Yeah, oh, I was about to pick those, but then I dropped them. Here we go, here we go, here we go. How about, it's number 13. Some really lovely earrings. Some gorgeous, gorgeous earrings. 
Hey you all. Okay, so these are solid 925 sterling silver, and if I actually pick one pick one up you can see you've got that really beautiful very organic shape again a big des lots of designers actually keeping it quite organic in their inspiration and then at the bottom you've got the loop there for you to attach to so do a um do a, a wrap loop onto um onto the sterling silver the butterfly backs are there it's 925 it's genuine precious sterling silver the boys are talking about in when, when the snow comes did it has anybody else heard that we're meant to get another beast from the east yeah. I heard it's worse than that. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. What is it going to be this time? Beast from the what? Oh, uh, just... A pest from the west. What's worse than a, a beast? Worse than a pest? Um, well, anyway, I was about to say, guys, if it does get like that, then I'm only a stone throw away. You can actually all stop at my house. Yay! Party! <laughs> Party! <clears throat> these are eight millimeters in their size and they are as i said precious genuine solid sterling silver so with all of your amber that you had um that you had earlier on um in the weekend over the weekend etc um all of your hematite again all you need is just to do a couple of wrap loops and you're done and you are done it'd look lovely with a cluster of hematite wouldn't it all those beautiful visions of colors stock up on these whilst you get the chance especially at that price gosh this is solid 925 sterling silver can you get sterling silver earrings at that price tag from anywhere else? Because to be truthful, like for like quality, I reckon you'd be hard pushed, to be honest. I mean, that's a, that's a pair of earrings that you could gift straight away. You don't have to use that loop if you don't want to. That can very easily be slipped away and then just give it a little bit of a polish with your emery board. And it's and, it, and, and, and they are complete. So if you'd rather wear these as studs, you definitely can. If you want to turn them into bit really uh, wonderful, full opera length earrings, then how Ooh. fabulous is that? So last night, can we, I want a text topic. I'm a text topic. Cause so my husband yeah. and I were chatting last night because he said, oh, your birthday last year was almost this place. But he was actually watching on on. on on his phone this video of a band an amazing band um ollie will probably be able to tell me which one it is you know the one that goes thunder what's that one ollie what's that song dun, dun, dun. yeah thunder thunder that one what's that song <laughs> Anyway, um, but it's a really, really heavy kind of intro, um, and, he, and he was going to take me to, is it Verona, where they've got that open... Open air. Open air. Opera. It's like an old coliseum, and it, um, yeah, like an amphitheatre, and it looks absolutely amazing, and that was, that's like right, one for the bucket list, and we did look at the lineup for what was on for this year coming, and it's opera, and I'm not really into opera, really, so... Um, just because I, I, I grew up in Wales doesn't mean if, make me a fan of opera. <clears throat> but what's on your bucket list? What's the next thing that you're going to do on your bucket list, everybody? So text in. Come and tell us. Bucket list. Um, we know we know, we know that, that that yours. We know that Tom's is to go to Strictly. Well, he's ticking that one off, off this Saturday. He wants to meet David Tennant. He's doing that in December. And Matt Smith. These are all Doctor Who people, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And WrestleMania. There we go. That's his bucket list. So I'd really love to go to that place in Verona. And I surprised Tom with my knowledge of uh, uh, Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. I was like, well, I just started quoting things from Romeo and Juliet because that was set in Verona, wasn't it? Uh, <coughs> oh, here we go. Your wife's a Shakespeare fan. Yeah. She read a lot of the Shakespeare books. Yeah, I mean, it used to it used to really confuse me when I was in school, but I think to read them now, I'd probably have a lot more understanding. Um, so this is lovely Madeira citrine. Wow, <coughs> we are talking about the pinnacle here, jewelry makers. So you know those earrings that you've just had? I'd be popping a couple of those, maybe three of your Madeira citrines. Um, I suspend them from that little loop at the bottom. You've just made some very high-end jewellery. Madeira citrine, as I said, because it's got that really rich, intense <coughs> saturation, um, makes it the most desirable. <coughs> it's named after Madeira wine. 
because of that really lovely sweet color it is quite reminiscent of um, like an amber color I suppose like a cognac amber um, but very 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 scarce um, this is natural so it's not heat treated to bring you that that sort of honey like color it's the, the citrine itself <coughs> excuse me got a tickly throat um, so go up to six by four millimeters in their size and a full eight centimeter strand but like I said um, this is real collectability there are certain gemstones and certain examples of that gemstone which command the highest price tag Madeira to a citrine is exactly that but it's coming your way at a breakfast club price tag jewelry maker so I'd be using this with things like diamonds very very high-end gemstones you know to really what Ooh. accentuate how amazing that is what for Madeira citrine I have sold Madeira citrine for thousands of pounds with other jewelers I absolutely I actually have thousands and thousands of pounds. Tom said what? Well, this price is amazing. And Ollie said, okay, $39.95, thinking that would have been amazing. $19.95. Okay, you've got me shopping already. How many of these are available? One. There's one available. Jeanette's all over it. Well done, Jeanette. Clearly a collector and a connoisseur of gemstones. We've got Germany there. We've got Denise in Manchester there. And we've got Channel R's there. Channel R's got... Is it gone? Gone. Well done. Gone, gone, gone. Well done, Channel R's and Jeanette. Um, okay, moving on. It's the Breakfast Club, everybody. Woohoo! <laughs> what number did he say? You don't mind? Okay. I can pick. Oh, let's have a little look. Let's have a little look. I'm going to go with number seven, please, because I love this. I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't knot it, Elle. <sighs> See, make sure you store your gold chains correctly. Now, look. This is 22 inches, but, sorry, there we go. It can very easily be adjusted because you have actually got um, a slider as well. You've got the slider there too. Uh, so 56 centimeters. You could you could easily um, engrave if you want or stamp with your. <clears throat> what did we have the other day? What's it called? Gosh, I've gone blank. The stamping. Oh, oh impressor. Impressor. Oh, there we go. I'd gone blank then for a second. You could impress that onto this as well. Um, so let me just show you how easy it is to adjust. So hold on to the slider ball detail. Hold on to the heart, and literally look. You just pull. There we go. And that becomes actually part of the design itself. So this is actually, uh, this is actually gold, jewelry makers. It's not, um, it's not a gold plated silver. This is precious nine two, uh, sorry, it's nine carat gold rather. Um, so I love this. I, I absolutely adore this chain. I think it's something that I would wear and probably never even take off. It would be one of my sort of signature pieces, shall we say. 79.95 is our should be price, given the fact that it's a long chain and it is nine carat gold. But it's your breakfast club. Fifty-nine ninety-five for you this morning. Fifty-nine pounds and ninety-five pence. Um, hello to you, Melissa. Uh, going to be a going to a JM workshop is on my bucket list, uh, and I'm going to uh, Gem is in November. Can't wait. Yes, Ooh. Melissa. Amazing. You're gonna have a lovely time. Um, I did have a little wander around the studio and show the workshop studio on my Facebook Live this morning. So, uh, well, we can't wait to see you. We cannot wait. Did I show the dressing room? No, because it's like a bomb site. It's, it's like a bomb site. Yeah, um, can I just say, I love her dearly, but Jenny Cleary is the untidiest person that you could possibly, possibly meet. You go in there. It's a good thing, though, because if ever I forget any makeup, I know Jenny's will always be here. Bless her heart. Um, no, I didn't go into the dressing room. You didn't see that. Hiya, Shandy. That band is Imagine Dragons Elf. Thank you, honey. It goes, thunder, thunder. There we go, Thunderstruck by ACDC, that's the one, that's the one, thank you Gabrielle. So it was them, it was ACDC playing in this amphitheatre in Verona, um, it's Thunder by Thunder. No, no, I think it, it was the ACDC one, definitely was, that. I, as soon as you said it then, I remembered, I remembered what it was. Listen to it, it's got the best intro, my husband uses it when he goes to the gym, because it gets him really, uh, uh, yeah. That one, yes, because it gets him all like pumped, I think. Pumped, <laughs> pumped for the gym. Pump it up, pump it up. for the gym. Not that he's been doing a great deal of that lately with his bad back. Uh, nine carat yellow gold. 
grab it whilst you can. I think I might have to get one of these. I keep saying it and I haven't got one yet. It is beautiful. Um, I've, I've actually got, speaking of pills, actually, as we did a few moments ago, I treated myself a few years back to a very, very small Akoya pearl and that's set into a nine carat gold little heart. And the chain that I wear it on is all, it was only tiny. It's very, you know, like, like a trace chain. Um, and basically it's all knotted beyond repair. So I need a chain for that. Okay, moving on. Should we do some more wire? That was it, ACDC. ACDC. Oh, ACDC, I, used, yeah. I, bought, I bought Willow a T-shirt, a Metallica T-shirt and an ACDC T-shirt oh, when she was a baby. Word. She looked super cute. I bet she does. Super cute. And gave her a little bandana. Aww. She looks super <laughs> cute in a, in a bin band. She basically. is cute. Um, silver plated on. I mean, I know I'm, I know I'm biased. Um, That's understandable, though. Yes, yes, yes. We should all be biased about our own children. Absolutely. Silver-plated German-style wire here. So um, I think, uh, right, from what I, from what I remember of Claire McDonald talking about your um, German-style wire, uh, it's, it's, it's the softness. It's very, very, very workable. Mm. Um, it articulates beautifully. Um, you can see the measurement as well. It's kind of a little bit different to what our usual um, gauge of wire actually is. Hello, Mary and Brian. Good morning. Good morning, Tom, uh, Tom, Tom, Michael, Eleanor, um, Marmite yes, is my bucket list, is going to be, um, is going to have James to do, oh, you want to do a workshop with Mark is on your bucket list, yes. Definitely, definitely, definitely. You've mentioned Marmite now. I love Marmite. Oh, oh have you had that peanut butter with no, Marmite in it? but... Um, was it Carol that, uh, yeah, that Carol actually put a photograph up. of it the other day? I was like, that. oh, that sounds amazing. I Marmite bought, and I peanut butter. I bought some on the strength of seeing Carol's on Facebook. Is it good? It's delish. Oh, I need to try that. I need to try yeah. that. Mary, you should. Mary and Brian, you should. Come on a workshop with lovely Mark. Yeah, you'll have a lovely, lovely time, and we would love to see you. It's not that far. Hop on a train, and it's really easy to get to as well from the train station. So, Or drive it straight off the M42, so not too far away at all. So, yes, do it, do it, do it. Tick that bucket list. Tick it off that bucket list. Um, okay, so £3 for this. Well done. As if it's that time already, jewellery makers. Um, okay, where did that hour go? It's time for us to show off your wonderful creations, you fabulous lot. It's your water thing. Beautiful. I don't think I've had a kiss yet. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I might have done. I'm just sneaking another one. Oh, why not? That's why what it not? is. Yay! Take it away. Wow, this is fabulous. This is number 892 and it's made by Elaine. And she kind of lost her making mojo for a bit, she said. So this is the first piece that she's made in a while. It's made with a shell pearl cabochon and antique bronze wire and findings, all from JM. Good luck to everyone in this week's draw. Best wishes from Elaine. Elaine, that is magnificent. Mojo, well I and truly Mojo's installed. Well and truly yeah, back. Yeah, and it's back, in, back up and running. Um, 887, I've got some beautiful shibori silk here. This is from Maureen. Hello, Maureen. Good morning, lovely folk. Here is one of my uh, cuffs that went off to a new home. Aww. All components, including the shibori silk, seed beads and pearls, are from JM, of course. Good luck to all in the draw and best wishes from Maureen Anne. Maureen, that is absolutely beautiful. Love Aww. that. Wow. And this is from Francis. Hello, everyone. These colourful earrings are made from lucite flowers and leaves. Green beads from my stash and SP findings from JM. Use fine head pins for the stamens. Great idea. Um, they are beautiful, Francis, and very colourful. Love colorful. those, yeah. In the season that we need colour. There we go. Perfect. Absolutely. So, 888. Um, all the ladies, here we go. Um, some lovely wire work here. This is from Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Hi to all at JM. This is my entry this week, a purple banded agate and diamond wire dragonfly. Oh. I was having a look through my sky planner and found a recording of Gemma's dragonfly demo. And as I was 
using my diamond wire for another project, I thought I'd have a go. I recorded this demo on the 26th of May 2016, so it only took me three years and four months to get round to it. Aww. Better late than never, I suppose. Good luck to all in the waffles this week, but as usual, she'd love a win. And that's from Wendy in Hunstanton. Beautiful mm. Wendy! 2016. I, wow. know, I, love, I love doing that sort of thing, looking back on things. This is number 894, and this is from Debbie. My entry for the Wall of Fame is this suite I made for my daughter, Rachel. Rose, quartz, faceted cubes, and Swarovski ABs, all from JM. Good luck, everybody. Lots of kisses from Debbie. Debbie, thank you. That is so delicate and beautiful. Love that. So, wow. Talk about sparkle. 888 is from Cheryl. Hi, all. Hope you're well. Here is my latest make, a macrame Swarovski bracelet. It was requested by uh, my daughter, Hannah, um, as she has an allergy to metals, so this was perfect for her. She absolutely loved it and wore it straight from school. Good luck to all in the drawer, and that's Cheryl. Cheryl, that's beautiful. Love that. And the photography. Amazing. Yeah. Lovely to be able to make things for your loved ones, too. This is from Sue Rogers in Litchfield. Hi all at JM. Here is my latest make for the Wall of Fame. Hematite set. Oh Sue, you're in for a treat today, aren't you? For a commission for a lady who loves rainbow coated hematite. I hope you are watching avidly today. Love. Sue. Okay. Um, again, gorgeous, and, and oh, I'm thinking the same. That. Hematite. Beautiful photography too. So 890 is coming from L. Hi all at JM. Please find attached my first ever entry to the Wall of Fame. Oh, wow. I channeled. Yay! I channeled my inner unicorn to make I this stretchy, that. featuring rainbow druzy, misty coated quartz, and a glass rondelle bead. All elements are from trusty JM. Apart from the glass rondelles that were already in my stash good luck to all waffers i'm going to i'm keeping my fingers crossed for a win and that's from l l that's beautiful love oh. that good luck to you 890 oh there we go there we go. there we go thank you and um, i've got number 891 this looks like it's made with super duos here's my bracelet with super duos and the magnetic clasp good luck to all entries all bought from jm and that's from brenda fabulous brenda actually just love the turquoise yeah, and, and the bronzy combination. combination. It's fab. Beautiful colour combination. Wow, what a um, load of beautiful um, things. Well, eh? aren't they just? I'll keep everything crossed. Well done to the winner yesterday. I don't know who it was. I didn't see yesterday's actually, but congratulations to the winner and the runner up in yesterday's Wall of Fame. Yeah, you get credited with £100 of jewellery maker credits to your account. That's pretty good. Um, or um, £50 if you're the runner up. Fantastic. How fabulous is that? Right then, okay, who would love. Hang on a minute. Who would love some more opal? <gasps> but this is double stranded as well. Which is even more desirable. Ooh. Double the scrummiest. Hi, Mary and Brian. Hi, Elle. That message was sent using predicting text. I didn't say anything about Marmite. It just came up with it, lol. I, love I did it. wonder, Mary. I was like, oh, perhaps it just that, perhaps that thought literally just popped into your head. Ooh, Marmite. You know, it happens with me all the time. So, oh. uh, that's all right, honey. Have you ever seen, Mary and um, Brian, have you ever seen um, those, th th they're on Facebook quite a lot of the time, where the predictive texts go slightly wrong? Oh, oh they you are actually hilarious. Get, oh, you get me howling. Yeah. It's usually the ones that are kind of like mother to daughter and vice versa. Yeah, yeah, they're just yeah, doing yeah, just, yeah, 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 some yeah, of the yeah. things they come out of are brilliant. Really funny. Um, okay, here we go. So 38 carats of double stranded quality Ethiopian opal. These are natural. So if you managed to get that round strand earlier on, I think this is an absolute must for you. 20 centimetres, but can we just all, we all agree that technically that's 40. Oh, absolutely. Because they are literally shoulder to shoulder, aren't they? They are. So I should be bringing it to you at 149.95. Not just one carat of Ethiopian opal here, you've got 38 of them. So pop these onto um, some precious metal, all day long into the moon and back and I think you could command that price tag really for maybe just one necklace or one pendant or even a pair of Fabulous. earrings. It's a breakfast club price for you jewellery makers, grab it whilst you get the chance and again if I literally take you across the entire strand you can see there's oh, nothing but colours. play of colour amazing amazing that's the quality that you're looking for jewellery makers um, make sure you check them out and if you've just joined us, where have you been? Where have you been? Yes. 
Do you have a, do you have a little lying? They had little Zs. A little, yeah, knocked up some more Zs. Fair enough. Mm. Take a little look back on the website because the Breakfast Club pr um, prices will be honoured until stocks last, which much has actually already sold out, or 60 minutes after the original auction. Hereafter, however, they'll be available for the rest of the day, jewelry makers. You still only pay that one postage and packaging, and you are one hour and six minutes approximately away from your hematite showcase. Ooh. Yeah, you're going to absolutely love it coming up oh look at that i mean these are oh, um fab. gorgeous sort of golden gold squares multicolored ovals um they're all coming your way in the oh. 10 o'clock hour coming up in the next hour though mm. we have some beautiful kits and inspiration with this fabulous lady we, we are do. live here in the studio so if you do want to send us any messages or you have any questions for cluster then do feel free we'd love to hear from you you know what a kit's all about inspiration demonstrations but also significant savings jewelry makers so make sure you stay with us we shall return after this If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user friendly and easy to navigate around. We now have the guest checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. I wanted to let you know that this coming Thursday we have an absolutely beautiful deal of the day a rainbow of colors in multicolored hematite this absolutely beautiful bundle and you do get all of them within the deal of the day is coming up at 11 a.m. make sure you don't miss out it's the deal of the day so it has to be an absolutely epic deal that's with me this Thursday at 11 Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
Welcome back, jewelry makers. How are we all? Who's excited about the hematite showcase? Me. <laughs> Seriously, though. Look, I mean, look. You've got two deal of the days today. <gasps> want, I know. Want. I know. I know. Um, so these are bundles. So, oh no, no, no. Those aren't. These are your no, deal of the no, days. No. Yeah. Do you want to take what? that back, Tom? I'm oh, sorry. Here is your deal of the days. You get two of them. Here you go. So you get the two bundles separately um, coming up at 11 o'clock in these lovely shapes. But the tea bar that you saw just previously is also hematite. Now, they're not in a bundle, so they're coming your way individually um, in the 10 o'clock hour. So it's all building up uh, towards your deal of the day. But to be truthful, we've already given you a little bit of a... They're all rowing right now. Um, so no, no, I know, no, no, no. Calm down, no, calm down, smack, down yes. calm down. Um, but... Yeah, basically, every single hematite strand, every single one is under £10. Your deal of the day obviously isn't a singular strand, so that will be outside of that oh. um, that price promise. But every single hematite strand that we're offering you today is at a single figure price tag. That's isn't fabulous. that amazing? That is fantastic. I Look love at the, the shapes, I love the colour, I love the shine of it all it's yeah, it, just incredible luster 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 and then some more luster wow amazing that's coming your way um we've also got a michael's mystery box which he's very excited about just we've wait. also got a bit of a challenge for you haven't we oh, kleshner gosh. now do you choose to accept this message sal yes sal self come Dissolved in. I was going to say self combust. I might self combust as well. <laughs> I might self combust. This message says self destruct in 10 seconds. I know. Um, I okay. Used to love that. Here we so. go. Here we go. And this is your challenge. It is a beautiful rose quartz in one of the most enormous cabochons that you could, I think I've ever seen. I've ever seen. It's coming um, up at 12.45. But Kleshner, you're going to get your hands on this and I you're going to turn it into something absolutely beautiful. I will endeavour to do so. I'm sure you will. Yeah. Easily. Um, and you did mention that this will work perfectly with your kit in the 12 o'clock hour. Indeed. It um, will work so well with my second kit. It's unbelievable. So it's like we planned it. There you go. There you go. There you go. Right then. What should we do? Let's do the kits. Um, where is it then? It's not. It's not. <coughs> okay, here it is. <coughs> here you are. So you're getting all of your lovely sea beads. I'm gonna lay these down because you can actually see more of them then when they're in their delicate tubes. Lay them down like that. There you go. There you go, there you go. Those. I'm going to steal those from that kit. Okay. So what you've actually got here um, is a selection, a selection of your beautiful um, delicate sea beads and also your bugles. It's called monochromatic and it includes um, your Mayuki round sparkle gold silver line 15 O's. I'm going to say that's probably them. Then you've got your bugles, which are the ones here. These are um, gold iris. Is that right? No, 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 no. No, 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 I've got this all right. Twisted no, bugles, silver eyes. lines. These are silver lined bugles. The then tube. you've got your gal uh, your Duracoat galvanized silver 15Os, your Delica silver lined crystal 15Os, and your Delica matte black 15Os. So a really beautiful selection. And, you know, this might not, to, to, to the untrained eye, this might look like only a small selection of beads and a small number of beads. Oh. You would be amazed by how far these will go. Those will go... Miles and miles. <laughs> You'll make a lot of jewellery from these, you won't really, you? Really, really, really can do. I mean, honestly, I you will use about under a centimetre. Wow, in one piece. Yeah. In one piece. Um, of those. Yeah, and if you want the inspiration and the know-how, then... She's your gal. She's your gal. Now, I should be bringing them to you at £33.70. Does anyone else think the same, that these would be amazing with your uh, with your showcase that's coming up as well, alongside the hematite? Yeah, yeah gorgeous. The countdown is on. Um, so all of your lovely monochrome colours um, that you've got here in your delicas um, and also your sea beads and also your bugles, 
five pounds and ninety five pence today. Get stocked up. Lovely. I mean, I'm really loving that kind of tassel star necklace that you've made. Yeah. Um, so those, you could do that with this. It's just a different colorway, basically. That's all it is. You could do exactly that. That's fabulous. Absolutely yeah. fabulous. And anybody that's um, that's watching that's maybe never made a piece of jewellery before in their entire life, you can do it. Like I said, Kleshner is um, is an expert. You've been seed beading for many years, yep. haven't you? Many, I many years. Indeed. So if you have any questions, and you don't need a huge amount of tools to get started, you need a thread yep. um, and a needle. And a needle. And that that's basically it. is it. And away you go. Away you go. Twenty five ninety five, everybody for this. Um, with your silvers, your coppery tones, the gold, and of course your bugles. So the bugles. Can I can I just borrow this yeah. bracelet? So you can make things like this. Isn't that amazing? And then I made a different version of it, which I'm now doing with with um, the others. And that was all, I think, from one thing of uh, from one pack. Yeah. Because I've used them sparingly. All right, if you're going to make the cog bracelets like this sort of thing, uh, oh yeah, then you'll need lots of packs. Look at this. So yeah, yeah. look at that. Isn't that amazing? All made from your bugle beads. You're so clever. So so clever. Thank you. Love that. But, so look, you can see why they're called cog bracelets. Look, they do. They kind of. Ah, I didn't know they were called cog bracelets. Yeah, of course it's a cog bracelet. Uh, very clever. Um, okay, let's bring you more of your bugles. So if you want to make those bracelets, are they on a particular DVD? They are indeed on the bugle on, DVD. On the bugle bead DVD. Which we do have as well. We've got that available for you today as well. So make sure you get your bugles because these are very popular and they do sell uh, out. Absolutely. I use those bugle beads in creating this rather beautiful... Uh, sort of Japanese inspired necklace. This reminds me of the delicacy of lace um, and you can make it with any colours but I love the fact that in this kit here um, we have got two different sizes of bugles um, and because this is one of the DVDs from my beading encyclopedia um, you will have the pattern to make the star necklace in it too. So the DVD is coming your way as well. I'm just looking, is that lovely April? I think that's April on the front there, isn't it? Certainly looks like April. I, I th I'm just looking, as we've only got the chin and the nose, I think that's April. So if you love that creation, it does look like April, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> she is lovely, isn't she? So yeah, if you want to make that, then you definitely get hold of the DVD, get hold of the bugles because you need to be well stocked on these. Eleven pounds and ninety-five pence, <gasps> and we're going lower too. Ooh. So the colours that you've actually got here are your twisted bugle dye transparent sea foam, um, and you also get your twisted bugle matte metallic patina iris. Um, six ninety-five, six ninety-five. They actually measure twelve millimeters, so two point seven to uh, by twelve, and the other one was. Two by six millimetres. Two by six millimetres. So perfect together. Perfect together and perfect with your hematite. Lots of multi buyers. Good morning, Annette. Hello, Mavis. Hello to you, Alison. Hello to you, Yorkshire Channel Isles. Come and say hello. And we're talking about um, our bucket list. Is there anything on your bucket list that you really want to tick off soon? What, what's, the, what's next on your bucket list? So Tom and I have also been uh, d discussing the fact, and we did not, not, not produce a Tom, by the way. I, I'm married to a Tom. Um, Look, we would like to do like a um, um, walk, a really big walk, like something like, like uh, the El Camino. Uh, the, the, well, no, no, not on like five or what, like oh. Inca Trail or something like that. Yeah, for, no, no, no. The Camino yeah. is. is across Spain. Yeah, I'd love to do something I mean, like that. Compostella. And we're discussing it maybe for the future, not immediately, but that. what do you recommend? What do you recommend? We'd obviously have to go into training, because I'm not very fit at the moment. Uh, length, the walk the length of the UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and bike ride, yeah. Do a cycle ride. You can't imagine me on a bike. Why? Why not? You think I'm clumsy? Well, that's true, but I can ride a bike. <laughs> 
Yeah, I would do that. We did discuss that, actually. So we want to do it for, like, one of our favourite charities. What do you reckon we should do, Jury Makers? So suggest, suggest, oh. text in any suggestions. Um, 6 95 only. And would you follow us? Would you come and say hello if we rode through your town? If we did that, would you come and say hello and give us a little... You can do it! You can do it! You can do it! And give me sugary goods. Yay! <laughs> uh, moving on. Yeah, cup of tea. Yeah, that's what I would be craving if I did that. Oh, it's DVD time. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. So, the lovely DVD. So, this is actually, it features a booklet. So, um, comes in the hard case, but it actually has a booklet in there. So, there's further tuitions and tutorials and instructions within that book. Because, as you can imagine, 60 minutes, you can get, a, uh, you know, you, Kleshta can get a lot of information across in that, in that sure time. Can. However... There are certain um, tutorials that maybe might need the written word, shall we say. So you've got that in there too. Um, so this is all around bugle beads, which are those lovely elongated beads. If I turn it round, you can see on the reverse um, the different chapters that it actually includes there as well. So um, so you've got your introduction, what you're going to need. The cog bracelet that Kleshner was just showing you there. Yep. Um, those really, really beautiful... Um, statement bracelets um, that kind of tessellate together perfectly then you've got the Japanese uh, flower motif which is the one on the front did you say? Yeah. Then you've no, got, uh, yes that's the one on the front yeah, Sorry. One on the front. then you've got um, your ring beads um, which is another design and you've got your star motifs which is this net necklace that's closest correct. to us yeah. so that's 60 minutes of Kleshner which you can you can basically stop and start her at your own pace you can <laughs> rewind her as well if um, you know if you think oh, hang on too fast I need you to slow down or go back over Wind that bit um, you can do perfectly so it's a great tutorial DVD all you need are the bugle beads that we've just brought you and some uh, a beading needle and some beading thread that's all you need to get started in this uh, sort of genre shall we say um, of jewelry making six pounds ninety five. I don't know if you've seen the price of tutorial DVDs elsewhere. Have you put the? <laughs> you put the wrong. All of a sudden, I just heard producer Tom cussing in my ear. Then he was saying a bit of a naughty word. Um, basically, he did just put the Ooh, wrong bit. price in. It's meant to be seven ninety five. Um, he's and I'll, it, it went like this. Bleep 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 bleep. bleep. Yeah, that's what I just heard in my ear. Get it, get it whilst you can. This isn't. Uh, can I just say to our pose that be the watching, Chloe? I know Marie's in Hong Kong, so she won't be. Uh, is it Chloe's birthday today? Oh, happy birthday, happy Chloe! Birthday. Oh, we love our Chloe. Oh, hip hip hooray! Head of TV, Chloe. Um, Simon, Simon, that was a genuine mistake. I heard it in his voice, honestly. It was like, oh no! So, uh, jewelry makers that are watching, definitely grab, grab yeah, this you price tag. Have a real bargain, bargain with that. It was. This is quite new. This is sorry. very new. He's telling me I to be quiet to now. You. He's telling me to be quiet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I'm just highlighting the fact that we haven't long launched it, and then. He. It was not meant to be six ninety five. It was meant seven ninety five. Is still amazing, right? It, uh, because you also get, let me open it up, you also get that. that tutorial as well inside. That's a book. You also get that too. Yeah, you're all over that. He's cross with himself now, aren't you? It's all right. Listen, it happens. It happens. You know, you are only human, Tom. You're making you're mistakes. You're only human. Um, okay. Let's do some more sea beads, shall we? And more bugles, so perfect alongside your DVD. And you get the thread with this one as well. I think the key th point is just to make sure you're well and truly stocked on all of your sea beads because um, that's you know, your main ingredient, shall we say. Right, within this you're getting your fire line, which is perfect threading material. That's the six pound break point, so very, very strong. Um, and it'll go multiple passes through all of your seed beads. Um, then you also get your uh, light ice blue line silver 11 O's. That's the one in the centre here that you can see. Um, you also get your metallic purple green iris 8 O's. That's this one here. Then you get your sapphire gold luster 11 O's. That's this one here. And you get your twisted bugle matte crystal AB. So it's a really lovely 
lovely, very uh, very innocent, angelic uh, bugle white colour. Um, oh, thanks. <laughs> Tom said I was angelic then. Angelic, not innocent. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I'll take that. I will take that. Um, straight down to nineteen pounds and thirty-five pence. That's amazing, and that will get a lot of the jewellery out of that, your DVD. The, the, these were these are ingredients for that DVD, Absolutely. aren't they? Absolutely, they are ingredients for that DVD. And there and there and more. You know, the, the great thing about the bugle bead is it's such a flexible bead that you can do so many different things with it. As I proved here, for instance, where I'm almost doing right angle weave with bugle beads in. Really? Yeah, and, and it's just <laughs> such a joy to work with. And they progress really quickly. One of the reasons why, I mean, I do, I dabble in seed beading, and I do mean dabble. Yeah. Um, but if you haven't got patience, like me, and you like a piece of jewellery to kind of develop quite quickly, then yeah. bugle beads is going to re uh, really work Absolutely. for you because they are that bit larger, aren't they? You know, and I have to tell you, I think that seed beading should be used in mindfulness courses because it really does take you to a different place. You, it relaxes you. Mm -hmm. It it just kind of takes you on a journey, and I love it. Mm -hmm. And I'm all right, I would say that, but I didn't always know how to seed bead. You know, I had to fake it till you make it sort of thing. Yeah. Um, but it is just such a scrumptious thing to be able to do, and it has to be the one area of jewellery making where you need a needle and a thread. That's it, yes. Yeah. So many many well, hobbies duh. will actually start with, with a well, huge have investment. To have such a huge investment, mm. and with this, it's very little investment, you know. All of this, this, this clasp, these beads, all of this was made with just a needle and a thread. Amazing. Okay, right. so what are you going to uh, demo for us today then, lovely Well, Kasha? I'm actually demoing, making... So I made this bracelet here, okay. I won't be able to demo the clasp, but we've just done a DVD on how to make beaded clasps. But because I had the bugle beads, I thought, well, we're going to work that in and make something with those. So I've made this, like, lattice work. It's lovely. But that wasn't... It, it didn't give enough. So I worked out a new way of making the lattice work, which has ah. these rather beautiful... So I'll, show, I'll put them next to each other. To, yes, so fact, I've the got difference. them over the back of my hand. And so you can see the difference there. And yeah, oh yes, you can really can feel the and difference. And the other's got better movement. Um, and actually the squares are much easier. In the first one was a bit of, of a fudge. A prototype. You know it was a prototype. It was, but uh, you know... I'm, I'm one of these people who I'm always saying, give it a go, see how the beads, where the beads take you, mm -hmm. um, because the worst thing that can happen is that you undo it and start again. Exactly. Okay, yeah? so right. take it away. Right, so what I've done on the first row here, let me show you, am I underneath the right place? Um, is I picked up three beads here. This is a size 11 o, the little blue ones. This is a size 8 o, and these are tiny little bugle beads. And I thought this would be quite interesting because they're smaller. And I've made a square, and I've gone clockwise through it again, and I've gone anti-clockwise. And each time I picked up more of the three beads on the corner of each one, right? And you will go clockwise and anti-clockwise. And then on the next row, you are going to pick up to do a second row against here. You're going to pick up a size 11 o, an 8 o, an 11 o. Then you're going to pick up a little bugle bead. Hold on. You're going to pick up an 11 o, an 8 o, 11 o, and a bugle bead. And because we, we want to do this little cross part here, can you see here where my needle is, here and here, we want to pick up an 11 o, an 8 o, and an 11 o. And we're then going to pick up the work and we're going to go straight through the bugle bead here and see that brings that corner in it will sit better in a minute 
Now, between here and here, we've got nothing. Um, so we have to pick up another 11-0 and 8-0 oh and 11-0. Oh, and we then just go up the left-hand side of the bugle bead, and we've completed another little sort of unit. And literally, you will keep going along like that until you build up a bracelet that is as, as big as you want it to be. I'll just do one more. There we go. One more down here. Now, what I would ordinarily do is I would go all the way around this one again because we want it to be... Um, to not come undone or get slightly loose, which it happens to do unless you do. And so this time, you start off by doing the crossbar there, so you don't actually add on a bugle bead until you come through here. So I've put on an 11 and 8 and an 11 and no bugle bead yet because your bugle bead here is pre-existing from the previous row. So that's formed your little square box there. Now I'm going to pick up one, two, three of those again, one of these, and it kind of almost self-states, so you know that goes like that, so you know you've got to do another corner, there we go, bugle bead, so that bit then is going to go in here, and then you're going to pick up one, two, three, and this goes down here. Right. Here we go. Along here. And this secures it in. And you just made two little units. And you just keep going on like that. Could I turn that into um, a necklace if I... Oh, absolutely. Would that can... sit right on the... Well, on the collar. It wouldn't sit on the. It wouldn't sit on the collar. You'd have to adapt the stitch um, slightly because it's a square stitch and it's going to sit better around the wrist. around the wrist. If you want to do something like this, um, you need to do it so that it, it spans like a sun ray. So, going back to this over here, the reason this works is because I've got more beads at one end that splay it and less at the other. So if I was going to make this into a necklace, I would do that shape. Yeah. Like oh, a sorry. trapezoid shape. Okay. By using a small bead at the top and a bigger bead or th three beads at the bottom and okay. that will then create it into a curve or an arc. So it wouldn't it wouldn't be a square just it because you've got be the It wouldn't be a square. Yeah. yeah. You, so you need to work out, and that's why I say do, working with bugle beads is slightly scientific. It's like doing a, a um, some sort of uh, molecular diagram. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You need to you need to lay them down and see how they're going to work because it's actually working with nodes and sticks. Mm -hmm. So when I'm designing sometimes, I've actually got, um, I've actually got these, um, what, are they, what are they called, Buc bucky beads, and they're magnetic beads, and you have an actual, um, a little round bead, and you have sticks, and you can literally work a pattern out with them. Ah, okay. So I love the bucky beads. Are they like, like, you know, you can almost get something like that for like uh, for children, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you Where can. you can like stick it all together and it, figure it, it out. It's a bit like stickle bricks, really, yes, isn't it? That's yes, that's what I was thinking, yeah, stickle bricks, yeah. I remember those days. So that's how you, that's, you know, this is what, only one way. Do get the DVD because it will give you inspiration and I suppose it will help you to work out how to work with bugle beads, you know, what their tolerance is, you know, how many things you can do with them.
Because you can get multiple passes through a bugle, bugle bead well, as you actually can with your Mayuki too. Absolutely. As you can see here. I've just yeah. gone through those again. Wow. But nice way of using them, this. I quite like this. This is my latest my latest favourite. Well, we're loving it. We're absolutely <laughs> loving it. Now, who would like some more fancy shaped beads? Yes, oh, yes, yes absolutely. Yes. Um, so here we go. You're actually getting a lovely little bundle. Ooh. And these, see if I can, oh, I can't remember what they're called. What are these described as? Oh, uh, oh, I can't bands. remember. No. No. What are these try, ones? Try on, try on my nose or... Oh, Tea beads. There we go. That simple. If I actually hold one of them up, because they are, they do look like a little golf tee. Yes, they, well, they do. Look like a letter T, don't they? Yes. So perfect. Um, you get the Preciosa Tea beads. Um, you get four hundred pieces in total, and that's a hundred of each. The colours you, you can see on your screen um, are your um, alabaster, lila vega, luster, which is like the purple. <coughs> then you get your crystal honey. Then you get your jet bronze, um, your sapphire travertine as well. So a hundred of each of those. Um, I, I mean, again, lots of our um, our seed beading guest designers will work with these kind of lovely fancy shapes. They build up, they tessellate together. They're, they're modular. You'll normally find with these shaped beads that in some way, I used kite beads last night, mm. and you'll normally find that they in some way, can I just borrow two? Yeah. They'll tessellate together. But if you go like this, right, or give us an... Are they all tea beads? Please? Yes. There we go. So if you go like this, um, down, down on my beading board, if I might. Yeah, they're going to kind of tessellate they're going together, to do aren't that, they? Yeah. Yes, there and we then, go. And then you'll be able to put another row... Underneath. Underneath, like that. There you are. Um, I know that this was quite a big launch when um, when they first uh, appeared. That was only recently, uh, recently as well. Ten ninety five only for all of these. Ten pound ninety five. That's for four hundred. And we did actually travel. Our team actually travelled to um, to the Czech Republic to back in January, which only seems like yesterday, to be truthful. I can't believe um, where's the year gone? I know, I know, I know. To, to you know, to hand uh, hand pick each of your lovely colours. Um, so they flew out the door. Maybe. You You've got the DVDs, and maybe you've still got the, the shows actually sort of stored on your skybox, whichever it is, um, and you want a bit of inspiration. These also look gorgeous with your hematite. Don't forget, you are just 35 minutes away. The countdown, as you can see on the bottom of your screen, so they'd look lovely alongside those gorgeous shapes um, and multiple colours of your hematite. So not long to wait at all. Um, yeah, beautiful addition, absolutely beautiful. So you get 400 of those, which is going to go quite a long, 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 long way. Um, okay, moving on. Oh, we know why this is in the this is in today's show, don't we, people? Oh, because young Tom is born. Because RTT, really tall Tom, loves a bit of smoky quartz. So when's the next when's the next showcase then, Tom? You're going into retirement. Unless, uh, apparently, Marie gets a Smoky Quartz Unicorn, then you'll see Tom on your script. Why? 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 You did so well. Um, 750 carats you're getting here. Beautiful Smoky Quartz, that wonderful intensity of colour. Um, there he is. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love that. I've never seen that. But he's so perfect, that. You did a good job of that, Michael. <laughs> Um, can we see it again? Can yeah, we go see on, it again? Go on, go on. There he is. <laughs> Yay! Did you all know? You look like the man on the front of Scotch porridge. Well, that's what it is. That's what it is, with Tom's, what it is but with yeah, Tom's no, head. I thought it was. That's actually yeah. Tom Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Because <laughs> uh, he has got his Scottish roots, of course, but also a real passion for this lovely gemstone. As as of we all, this with the hematite jewelry makers, don't you think? Because you've got that really lovely, deep intensity. Um, it is like a, a rich espresso coffee with oodles of sparkle and luster and brilliance. Because that's what Smoky Quartz offers and that's you. That's what Tom is uh, like. He has oodles of sparkle and luster. He doesn't he just? Yes. Doesn't he just? Um, yeah. Scotland's national gemstone, of course. 
Yay! No, 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 I totally agree. If you were to go up to um, up to Edinburgh, you could see those, uh, the actual national treasures themselves. Um, hey, listen, Tom, I'm not even going to attempt it because you did such an amazing job of educating us all about... I learned, I learned during your showcase. I did, I did, yeah, you and Adam were kind of... Uh, he was arguing with everyone there. <laughs> he was, he was, he was. It was I, I think I had to say to Tom during the... Calm down, calm... <laughs> Woof, woof. <laughs> he was brilliant. He was brilliant. Three strands. Three strands of lovely 10 mil faceted rounds, all 38 centimetre lengths. These look lovely with pearls. They look amazing with your hematite. In fact, shall I, put, shall I give you some sneaky peeks? I mean, what do we think? Ooh. Here you go. What do you think? Ooh. They all work absolutely beautifully, don't they? Alongside. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I mean, talk about glitz and glam. It's the time of year where we're going to be you know, leaning towards these lovely warm colours. Um, your smoky quartz and your hematite. So I think those, you know, those two gemstones are just an absolute match made in heaven. Um, well done. Flying out the door. It's a big amount. 750 carats you're getting here um, of your smoky quartz. Moving on to... There's nothing in 13. So what is it? That's what? I haven't got a DVD. Ladder sticks DVD. Okay. Oh, such a useful stitch. There ain't no DVD. No. Okay, have we got a picture? We can do six in the meantime. Let's do that. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh! Some more of your speciality beads. Your preciosa beads. So, these are your Jinko, your Lux Jinko oh, beads. Oh, those are ripple beads. Yeah, these ones oh, are the Jinko beads. Um, then, Ooh. you've also got, look, 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 look. Love the ripples. So, look at all of that that you're getting. So, in total, let me read through it. Jinko Full Capri Gold, which is these. Love a Capri um, Gold. Then you've got your Jinko Jet. Jinko so these, Ooh. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Then you've got your Jinko uh, Jetful AB. Then you've got your Jinko Purple Vega. Then you've got your Jinko Full Capri. Then you've got your Jinko Jet. I'm confused. I'm really, really confused. I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to show you everything that you're getting. Because the graphics are really confusing. Jinko, Jinko. There's a lot of Jinkos in there, isn't there? Jinko, yeah. Jinko. Jinko, 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 Jinko. Um, here we are. There's those gold and silver, so two tones. Then you've got your large. Are they like the Atos? They look like the Ato jets. Jinko Atos. <laughs> then you've got oh, 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 these two tubes, which are definitely Jinko. I know because it says on and, it. And that will be Capri gold. Yeah, that says Jinko Capri, and this one says Jinko purple. How many times can I say Jinko? Jinko, 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 Jinko or Jinko? Jinko. Oh, Jinko. Oh, no, because yeah. Jinko Balboa tree. Oh, no, don't tree. confuse me any more than I already am, Clash. There. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Where? What is my name? 1995 for all of these. It's coming. Would you say Jinko or Ginko? I'd say Ginko. You're going to say Ginko? Yeah, I suppose it's not a J, is it? But there's a ginkgo tree, and they are fashioned. That's how they originally came out. So do you think these are ginkgo? The leaves. Do we think these are ginkgo? Yes. You said ginkgo all the time. Could I perhaps, <laughs> Thomas? Would I be able to borrow a few of those for for, for your my rose quartz? Because thank there you we are, so there we are. very much. Um, well, I might as well give you those then. There oh, we go. No. Right, let's I do the. Want all of those. Let's let's da, 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 the ladder stitch DVD. Woo! Now, please, can you make sure you enter the right price in this time? That you know, this DVD ladder stitch is unbelievably useful. It's a brilliant stitch um, for doing bales. It's a brilliant finishing off stitch. It's also brilliant for making things too because it's a weave. Um, as a, you know, a, you can make incredible things from it. And it's one of those stitches that you see um, even even beginners actually use the ladder stitch, don't they? Absolutely. So, um, so if I actually, oh, that's weird. You've actually got a sticker on. The, let me just move that. <laughs> a sticker just inside the case. Let me move that out of the way. So if I turn it around, you can see all the different projects there. So it, it, it's quite simple. You've got two projects. 
but obviously they go into depth because this is something that you really do need to master. Um, it's your straight ladder stitch and then your ladder stitch with bugle beads as well. So you had your bugle beads today, didn't you? You also, if I open it up, show you, um, you've also got your booklet inside. So there's even more techniques and knowledge in that little booklet there as well. Approximately an hour in its time. Um, but like I said, additional learning just here. $7.95. Now that's the price you meant to do before, Kleshner, but you it know. Is. His big sausage fingers. Oh dear. Press the button next to it, basically. Um, here we go. Oh. So grab it whilst you can. And this is part of your sort of series, isn't it? Your beading series. Yeah, it is. I've done a beading series this year, so it's quite nice that there are sort of more. Um, well, they're building now, aren't coming they? Coming in. So some things when we've sold out, I think Clay does a little short rerun on, uh -huh. and they're so valuable. I know, looking over there, uh, looking ahead of the curve. Um, the uh, bezeling one we sold out in Nanu moments, so we reprinted. So we are reprinting a few, so it is worthwhile. Get them whilst you can, so yep. to speak, because they are going to make up into an encyclopedia of, of beading stitches, basically. So if you've ever wanted to learn to bead, these are not... You get, a, you get projects by dint of learning how to do those stitches and therefore they're incredibly useful there we go grab it whilst you can grab it whilst you can um okay let's do another one of your dvds shall oh, we and i think one of your favorites my favorite stitch of all time Jelini spiral oh, oh now these are absolute works of art they, 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 they really get this are. lovely tube don't you have you seed get beads. a twisted tube of seed beads i love the photos uh, oh photograph. no that's chenille stitch sorry i thought it was spiral you get this really beautiful um cylindrical tube don't you you do and you can do it flat as well so I think inside what you'll find with these two is that the more difficult so most things I have done tubular and flat to show you how to how to do them and you'll find that whichever is the more difficult of the two I will have done the booklet of that. Yeah, I, I filmed this with you actually. I yeah. can remember filming the DVD. So you and you actually said you might think that um, the flat chenille, sti uh, ch chenille sorry, uh, stitch is easier than the tubular, but actually you say it's the opposite way round, yeah, don't you? Yeah. The opposite way round. Um, so here you go. So you get the two stitches um, which are covered within this amazing DVD, and again a booklet in there as well. Seven ninety five. So the booklet in there gives. Hour. an hour yeah an hour of tutorial it's like you know it's it's like a workshop almost well, in a dvd which not everybody will is. be able to attend it is a workshop in a dvd but for 7.95 yeah no train fare no yes no no, no um you, and you can do it at your leisure whenever you choose yeah and um you'll have me in your sitting room or in, in your, your, your study or whatever with you for an hour and hopefully you'll have a better appraisal of that stitch and one of the things i think is invaluable when you are learning to become a beader is that you learn all of the different stitches because in a lot of things that you do it, they will pre-suggest themselves because of the nature of the materials yes you're because of the with. shape of the beads um obviously do join us on our workshops though as well because they are of fabulous course. they are fabulous it's like, a bit, no no no. people learn in different ways though don't they i mean some people i i'm useless at learning with the written word for example if you actually give me an instructions manual I won't read it. I'll scan over it, but I won't read it properly. Whereas if I watch a DVD or if I actually watch somebody in person um, or a make-along, then I'm going to digest it. and It's going to sink in, if that makes sense. So, um, Absolutely. Uh, amazing DVD. And I filmed this with Clash, and it really is incredible. So lots of learning on there. Part of the series, and again, getting snapped up. Well done. Um, let's bring you the next DVD, which is your Super Duo Techniques. Uh, still, M Mark Smith's favourite super duo is still, I think. Yeah, I can understand that. They're, they're a great bead. They were one of the original, along with bugle beads, I think super duos have been along, around. The longest. The longest. Yep. And the other one is a long magatama. Uh -huh. or, ma or magatamas, which I want to do something with at some juncture. But um, absolutely amazing. What is a super duo bead then? What does so it look a like? A super duo bead is a, is a two hold um, uh, slightly marquee shaped bead it looks like a piggy's snout basically uh -huh. 
or little dog, puppy dog noses. And again, they tessellate. And you can do things like herringbone with them, which is what I'm doing there. You can do so many different techniques with them. Um, and you can use them to help you make a second row, almost like a finding as well. But they're a fabulous bead, and I do commend them to you. If you ever see Super Joes, snap them up. Yeah, um, grab them whilst yeah, you can. Grab them whilst you can. So again, you've got an hour-long um, uh, sort of tutorial DVD, different shapes. If you're thinking, well, why do I need all of these different DVDs? Because they're different shape uh, beads, effectively. And they will work differently, and you get learning uh, different techniques and, and designs. And they're different techniques as well. And you need to learn the tech. You see, when I'm making things, so at the moment... I'm making something to go around um, this rather wonderful piece of rose, um, quartz. rose quartz. But it's only because I know how to use the different beads that yeah. I, I just think, how am I going to go around it? I don't, nowadays, I don't think about stitches. I tell you what it's like. It's like learning a language. So my son speaks fluent German because he lives in Germany. And when you first go to a country, you retranslate back into your own language to say something. When you live somewhere, you this think comes. in that language. Yes. I think in the language of how do I get around this and how do I do this. I don't think now in the language of, oh, I am going to do right angle weave. I am going to do this. I just be. And it. it's just practice, basically, all practice. Because of learning the different stitches really that i'm able to do that 8.95 for this jewelry makers grab it whilst you can again think about it this way you know if you if you if you've got a few of these dvds you've got an absolute master class there haven't you i've got lots of different uh designs what did you just do then Oh dear, right. Moving on to, moving on, moving on. <clears throat> Let's do some more sea beads. Tom's having a mare this morning. He's having an absolute nightmare. He's not quite with it. He's not on this planet. Well, I did suppose you recouped what you lost on the other one then, Tom. Did you, did, did, did you, did you not have a good night's sleep last night, Tom? You said, oh, you had 11 hours sleep last night. How lovely. Right, here we go. So you're getting all of your lovely whites. Look at this. Oh, six O's. Wow. So you've got a mixture of your sizes. You've got your 11 O Mayuki, Mayuki Crystal AB. Um, then you've got your Delica Opaque Chalk White, which are the ones I'm holding right now. Yes. They're 11 O's. Uh, then you've oh. got your Opaque White 11 O's, which are the ones in the center. And you have your Silver Lined Crystal AB 6 O's. Yes, Michael. Oh. They will be beautiful oh. together. Oh. Party season, everybody. Yes, that literally is party, Christmas, party. isn't it? Um, so I was asking my friend, uh, my best friend the other day, I said, when, when can we start using, um, you know, can't, when can we start sort of talking about, you know, Father Christmas? You know, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's watching. He's always watching. Oh, it's, it's, it ac it's acceptable now, isn't it? Because he watches all year round, kids. Um, it's nearly your birthday, it is, yeah. Yeah, it's not far away from your birthday, Tom. I know. Um, but, yeah, because I keep saying, <laughs> and we keep saying to Willow now, listen, if you don't brush your teeth... The toothpaste policeman's going to come and get you. And that works every single time. Okay, I can't brush my teeth. She's going to be frightened of policemen now. <laughs> I know. Is that bad? But it's the only way I can get her to brush her teeth. The only way. Uh, the toothpaste policeman. Well, the toothbrush policeman. At uh, 10.95 for all of these. And these lovely white colours. I'll be stocking up on this. I mean, mm. all of those creations. Frosted. Yeah, beautiful. But all of your designs, you know, that lovely circular motif necklace yes. on the DVD. Yes. That would work with these beads. Everything. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's almost bridal then, isn't it? It is almost bridal. Well, uh, winter, winter wonderland. Winter yeah. brides. Winter weddings. Winter weddings, Love a winter yeah. A wedding actually, I think it's a lovely time of year to get married. What time of year did you get married? Um, June. Oh, actually, I got married this time. I got married on the 3rd of November. Uh huh. But there fireworks. you go. We had fireworks. Oh, at lovely. Our wedding. Right then, um, what we're doing now? Oh, it's a it's, it's born actually. Something <laughs> Oh, sorry. Uh, you said he's, he's done no, we weren't invited. <laughs> Nobody knew Tom. Did he? 
I don't know how he knew. Anyway, anyway, up next, jewelry makers, we have an amazing star buy. And this star buy, well, it was actually sort of the, the, the idea came from guest designer Mark Smith, and we thought, yes, let's do it. Well, they flew the first time round. It's wonderful that we've got, even, a, even if it is a small quantity, I'm talking about a seed bead scoop. Okay, so this is like the ultimate pick -a mix of Delicas. And you get a huge, huge amount. Now think about it this way for a second, jewelry makers. How many different tubes of sea beads would you need to buy to get this selection? I know lots of us, our jewelry maker viewers, do actually separate them, you know, spend the time and sort them all out. But I've seen these actually all just fed onto memory wire and they look amazing in that kind of really random rainbow selection of colours. Now the difference between a Delica and a sea bead is that Delicas will actually have the flat sides. Um, a sea bead will be almost like a bead, if you like, sort of rounded. So these will literally sort of fill all areas, won't yeah. they? Um, and they sit sort of shoulder <coughs> to shoulder against one another. Um, you even get different sizes of your Delica sea beads as well. So there's some in here which are much larger than the others. Um, and a full 50 gram amount. Now, bearing in mind that Delicas are normally sold in, what is it? Um, 20. No, 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 the little ones, are they? Ones, Seven yes. grams. Yeah. They're normally seven gram tubes but so okay do the maths um but those seven gram tubes obviously the smaller ones you're going to get more of the larger ones you'll get less of so this is a real selection you've got thousands upon thousands of multicolored delicacy beads here that will work beautifully with your hematite showcase can you believe we are 14 minutes away jewelry makers oh i hope our call center are ready i hope we don't melt down the, the you know the, the the graphics again like we did the other day we crashed the graphics i don't know how oh, many times wow. what's that if you're doing the housework tom says stop at 10 o'clock and come back maybe at 11 30 says if you must if you must if you must oh just stop the house yeah yeah, yeah 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 definitely just get a nice cup of tea a currant bun put your feet up oh, and lovely. be with us like the idea of a currant bun oh, with yes, a cup with of tea in it. yes oh yum. very nice um so for all of these but there's a limited quantity yeah. of them when we first brought your delicate sea bead scoop which is only what a couple of a few weeks ago in actual mm. fact they flew absolutely flew out the door mm. it's a big amount and a really broad selection perfect if you are starting your seed beading journey and i think you know mark when we uh, when we first launched this actually said it's a great way of actually sort of building your confidence in terms of actually handling the beads yes. themselves yes. because many people are almost intimidated by their size they kind of think oh my goodness they're too tiny um you know i, I might struggle with the apertures you won't because they kind of jump onto many of the threading materials be that a needle or be it um be it i don't know a beading thread or even your your memory wire they do they literally jump on i think during the actual show when these were first brought to air um i i, I demoed a technique kleshner <gasps> i invented a new technique oh. of sea beading wow. it's called the shove it right yeah yeah where you go like that with your needle on. where you get your memory Ooh. wire and you shove it you shove it and they jump on and good. literally literally is that simple i know i know i know do you think i sh do you think i should pattern that um, technique i'm sure it's like spinning it's like centrifugal force thing isn't it yeah yeah only only, only better only, it's only better only way better oh, yeah wow, yeah that's it wow. uh 1995 only for all of these these wonderful multicolors. i don't think there's a single shade or tone um that you you won't find within this entire entire stash of and can I just point out as well I don't know if that's meant to be in there or not but we've got a tiller there there's actually a tiller a found the in hum. amongst a tiller the found, found possibly not Fought okay its way in there, Fought its way. The I want to be part of the bundle um so <laughs> that's working I'm talking to sea beads now yeah I know I know it's reached that it's reached that 
that scale. I do love sea beads that much. I love sea beads that too. much. Grab them though. Hello to you, Nicolette, Christine, Susan. Hello to you, Friel. Hello to you, Julie and Flincher. New customers getting involved. Wonderful. It'll be beautiful alongside your um, all of your hematite that's happening in, uh, as you can see, 11 minutes on the countdown, all those lovely Ooh. colors. Um, and you're seeing Kleshna, you'll notice that she's busy, busy, busy at that at the moment right I now. And um, that's because she is actually um, CB bezeling a lovely rose quartz cabochon that you've got coming up. That's a challenge Kleshna. I know, challenge Kleshna. Oh, so that, th this again will be perfect alongside that too. All of the DVDs that you've just seen, you could incorporate your Delicas into as well. Well done. Moving on. Moving oh, on. Love oh, this. Oh. Should I ask you what? Wait until what you size? see these. Oh, no, I, th I, thought, I thought they were small ones. I was going to say, yes, I love those too for my thing, but no, there's a bit big to say on this. Look at these. <clears throat> oh, they are absolutely oh, they absolute gorgeous. Modern. They'd be amazing with the hematite. Oh, yeah. Um, so if I if I can pick them up with the tweezers, I'll do my very very best. No, no, no. Just pick them up and pop them. Maybe that's not. Then. Look at those. Um, so literally one on a featherweight head pin that you had earlier on. That would work beautifully, wouldn't it? Gorgeous on a I featherweight head pin. No, the featherweight head pin will go straight through the hole in the middle. Oh, would it? Yes. The aperture's too... Yeah. A normal head pin then. Yeah, yeah. A normal head pin. And even some of your wires, great with the hematite <coughs> because, you know, you've got the luster that you see within hematite, but then the high sparkle and that beautiful brilliance that Swarovski and only Swarovski actually offer. Um, AB, 14 millimeters, and you get three within a pack. So they're big statement pendants, aren't they? Oh, they really are fabulous. Loving them. These. I love them too. Absolutely loving these. Use it maybe inside your stretchy bracelets, inside your macrame bracelets. Use them with your wire work most definitely. I mean, a Swarovski will go pretty much across all mediums. Five ninety five. They'll go across all mediums, but even if you do something as basic as pop it on a head pin um, and attach it to a shepherd hook, it, it, that's you've just made yourself a very high-end professional piece Absolutely. of jewellery. Absolutely. We know Swarovski is being a global brand. Literally, yeah, it's it recognised the world over. And these are genuine Swarovski components. We're not talking about, um, you know, a, a crystal company that's aspiring to look like Swarovski, which, let's be honest, they are the market leaders. This is genuine Swarovski. They even come on in the Swarovski packets as well. $5.95 only. Um, so for Christmas last year, I, I made some very simple bracelets, stretchy bracelets with your Swarovski and a few other gemstones. Gave them to my friends and family and they seem to go down very, very well. Oh, they seem to. down very, um, very well. And, be, and I'm a very basic jewellery maker. So, you know, items like this, take it from that, something that you've, okay, is, is more of a um, homemade. This takes it to handmade. There's the difference, yes. isn't it? Yeah. Handmade but professional because of the components that you're working with. You've got to check them out though everybody, you have to check them out coming up 10 minutes time before we bring you, 8 minutes now, oh yes 8 minutes before we bring you your lovely showcase of your hematite. Now I don't know if you were with me but I did mention that they are all guaranteed under £10 so you've got to be with me um, because they will sell out Moving on Should we stick with the Swarovski? Gotta be in it to win it Ooh, imagine this in a prong set ring. So on Tuesday, we've got prong setting, haven't we? Oh. Gem setting. All kinds of different settings. Imagine that. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Imagine that in gallery wire. Fabulous. Or with some silver wire. Or with a prong set mount, whichever. Or just having it on your bedside table to stare at. Just to stare at, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Look, you get the two of them. Look, beautiful. What, what I describe as like a full pair. So you've got quite a um, sort of a voluptuous bottom to the of this pair. If you see what's coming me, from. That's me. I've got a voluptuous bottom. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, <laughs> twenty by eight. Oops, a twenty by eighty millimeters in their size. Yeah, they'd be fabulous earrings, wouldn't they? Imagine these in the Swarovski shop. How much do you think they would actually be? Lots. How, yeah, lots, lots and lots and lots and lots. You get both of them for just nine ninety five. 
um, I've got a pair of Swarovski earrings that are very dear to me. They were my sister's, and Aww. she um, and and they're very similar to this actually, in that in kind of that shape. But they're through a stud, um, so you've got a stud mount, you know, almost going through yeah. the ear. And then there's one of these on the bottom, framed with just a few Parve set Swarovskis all the way around. And I can tell you, this is going back quite a few years. She paid three figures for them. Um, but they're quite similar. You could almost be inspired by that kind of design and create your own for a fraction of the cost. Nine ninety five only, everybody. Look at that beautiful diamond-like clarity. I can tell you, if these were diamonds, you would be talking about six figures probably, so, and that's each. Yeah, um, each. Yes. So a great way of being able to wear that same beauty for um, a much, much, much lesser price tag. Use it with the hematite. Perfect. Use it with your CB bezeling. Again, amazing. Um, but there's lots of different ways that you can actually take what would be um, sort of a, a, a stone like so and mount it into a piece of jewellery. Moving on. We've got, what, five minutes and 50 seconds. Woo! Not long, not long to go. I'm excited, excited about the hematite showcase. Here we go, so look at all of these gorgeous, gorgeous cabochons of agate in multiple colors. Crazy cabs. So these are your stripe, your stripe agate pairs. Wow. Plus, you also get your amethyst. Oh my goodness, yes. There's oh, an amethyst in here. Is. So you actually get, am I right in saying a blue lace? Yeah, there's your blue lace, which is 28 carats in that really lovely round. Then you've got your gorgeous amethyst, 20 carats just there, and a selection, 100 carats of your stripe agate pairs. So you know for sure that's what you're actually getting in your amethyst and your ovals, um, and you'll get a, a difference. No, they'll, they'll all be the same. They're all pairs. So you know exactly what shape and size and carat weight that you're going to be getting in this entire bundle. £17.95 pence for all of those. I mean, that's amazing that these are genuine gemstones. The queen of your agates is your lace agates. So Botswana we describe as the king, um, and blue lace we describe as the queen. You've got certainly one of the most um, historical gemstones and members of the quartz family with your amethyst, um, and then your beautiful colours um, and patterns within your um, with your striped agate as well. So 100 carats across the pairs of your agates, 20 carats across your amethyst, and 28 carats of your blue lace as well. All for just 17.95. Now genuinely, I think these two, either either or at that price would be amazing. Absolutely. You know, 20 carats for your amethyst, uh, sorry, 17.95 for your amethyst, or 17.95 for your blue lace, I think would be an amazing deal. Um, okay, jewelry makers, coming up after the break, are you ready? Woo! Now is the time that you need to maybe go and make that cup of tea. Um, if you are doing, I don't know, washing, ironing, housework, work. Put it down. Make one of these. Put, get your bun. Yeah. Sit down. Put your feet up. Lovely. Because Enjoying this us. is going to be an absolutely amazing showcase. One that we have waited months for in such a broad selection of shape and sizes. It is the beautiful finally back on our screens, hematite. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewelry making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share.
Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewelry making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewelry making journey. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. I wanted to let you know that this coming Thursday we have an absolutely beautiful deal of the day a rainbow of colors in multicolored hematite this absolutely beautiful bundle and you do get all of them within the deal of the day is coming up at 11 a.m. make sure you don't miss out it's the deal of the day so it has to be an absolutely epic deal that's with me this Thursday at 11 Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24-7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. Welcome back, jewelry makers. How are we all? L let me just move all my stuff out of the way. There you go. Oh. I think that's it. Yeah? Yeah? Ish? 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 No, not really. It's never mind. Fine. Never mind, never mind. Um, how are we all? And let's be honest, we've all been waiting for this. I just quickly just had took a little sneaky peek at my phone, um, and I can see lots of you are raring for um, this, and lots of messages as well um, outside of my Facebook page. Lots of you excited about the Hematite Showcase, because it does feel like ages since we've had any Hematite at you know, uh, uh, to this extent. We've had the odd strand here or there. I don't, uh, you know, I'm not saying we haven't. But to this extent, I think it's been a very long time, especially given the fact that these are in so many different shapes, sizes, colours. They're just beautiful. It's always been a firm favourite of ours here at Jewelry Maker because the versatility that you get from this beautiful gemstone. Um, but in the gem world, you know, we should never overlook the likes of hematite. This is a very rare and beautiful treasure, one that actually has the highest of lusters and some of the highest refraction indexes in the entire gemstone world. 
So take a little look at your lineup. So I'm just going to move the aquamarine just there to, for one second because that's coming up a little bit later on. This is the entire hematite lineup that is happening this morning. So we are actually going to be starting with the rounds, but as you can see, you've got chevrons and all sorts. So hematite is a gemstone which is between five and a half and six and a half on the most scale, but it is actually an iron oxide. So an iron oxide, and like most other gemstones that actually do exhibit a very high metallic luster, hematite is remarkably dense and actually possesses a very, as I said, high refractive index. So when we, we talk about refraction indexes, we tend to think, assume that they're gemstones with clarity, you know, like your garnets, your diamonds and your zircons. But believe it or not, um, this has actually got a higher refraction than sapphires, uh, zircons most definitely. So it's right up there. It is always opaque unless it is actually, you, you can get transparent hematite, but that would be very, very, very thinly sliced. So it's more of the fact that um, it's so shallow that you would actually see that transparency. So always opaque and typically occur occurs with this lovely blackish gray color. But so distinctive is this gemstone that it's almost impossible to actually confuse it with any other gemstone out there. Would you all agree with that? Mm -hmm. You tend to recognize hematite straight away. However, do be mindful, as I said earlier on in the show, um, make sure you source your hematite from somewhere that is trustworthy like ourselves um, because there is much imitation hematite actually out within the market and w we've been caught out with it before in the past you know we've actually been sent sort of hematite um, I say caught out it always gets sort of stopped at quality assurance because we do laboratory tests but you'd be surprised how many different traders out there you know um, who may actually offer a gemstone themselves possibly even believing that it is um, the real deal when it, in actual fact it's not these have all been the laboratory tested, they are all genuine hematite. So natural hematite, um, actually, uh, most people say, oh, hematite, it's, it's magnetic. Um, well, natural hematite usually isn't. However, it can be magnetized. So here's a fun fact, using a process of heating and cooling um, whilst it is actually physically attached to a magnet itself. It's found in lots of different locations in the world, but guess what? To our lovely UK viewers, it is one of the few gemstones that is actually found here in the UK. So um, in Cumbria, in England, there are mines of hematite as well. So um, very, very cool, because there's not many actually here in the UK. Um, you can also find it within places like uh, Minas Gerais in Brazil, Elba in Italy. And speaking of the Elba location, it's been mined in that location since the time of the ancient, see if I pronounce this right, es Etruscans, have I said that Etruscan. right? Etr is it Etrus, is it? Etruscan, uh, yeah. Um, Etruscans, there you go. So for a long, 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 long time. Guess what? Hematite was one of the few other gemstones that was discovered on Mars. So for those of you that love Peridot for that reason, you also can source this gemstone from there as well. Now, you have been waiting itching to get hold of these to give you a ballpark figure there's about a hundred of each of these strands but just to make you all aware here is your price promise from me to you they are all coming your way under 10 pounds so they're a single figure price tag jewelry makers which is just incredible isn't it a genuine gemstone a strand which you can do use perfectly for this time of year especially for the festive makes so don't forget these are your deal of the day bundles they're coming up a little bit later on within the show i'm going to start this amazing showcase with these gorgeous rounds. No, not rounds as we expect. Rounds with a difference. Rounds of amazing colors, but also with actually, oh, so excited. I know, I know I'm really excited as well. Look at the colors that you're getting and the selection that you're getting as well. So this is really is a, a, a beautiful showcase. So do you see what I mean? Not rounds as you know it. Three, two, one, the graphics will appear on your screens. You know how many we have jewelry makers. Just work, work off that ballpark figure, figure of about a hundred of them. You know it's going to a single figure price tag. These are not small. Um, lovely hematite rings there we go that's the best way to describe them so you've actually got that sort of area in the center that you could beautifully nestle another gemstone in there be that a Swarovski be that another gem itself um, creates almost like a bezel setting within a, ge uh, a gemstone within a gemstone. So how genius is that? Literally restrand these and the, you know the, the actual craftsmanship, the shape and the beauty of the gemstone itself. It, the work's done for you. I expect every single one of these to be absolute sellouts, jewelry makers. How many do we have? 
Did you say 99? There, there we go. He says, I, I was just, I was just asking because I kind of thought, you never know, we might have more. I looked at the call screens and went, oh, I wish we had more. Is it literally 90? Is it literally 100 of each of them? Yes. Okay. So I won't ask the question again then. Barbara, Diane, Gillian, Mavis, Fiona, Sally, Annette, sorry, Janice, Wales, hello to you, Susan, Yorkshire, Cheryl, Channel Isles, Judith, Deborah, Carol. I haven't got another strand like this. They are all very distinctly different as well, you know? It's not one of those that actually has got, okay, well, I've got this in different colorways. Um, this is on its own. It's completely on its own. You've got a really beautiful rainbow selection of color. I mean, you've got greens, purples, blues, yellows. It's all in there. But but they will sell out, so it's first come, first serve. You could, yeah. Ollie's saying you could pop a um, like a, 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 a spinning bead in the centre, couldn't you? Because you're going to be able to spin it in the centre. Love that. Love that idea. I like the idea of Swarovski in the centre. $9.95. You know it's coming your way at a single figure price tag because we've promised it as much. And that will, uh, you know, that's the same across every single strand. You know, every single strand of your hematite, they work beautifully together because hematite, like I said earlier on, it's very distinctive. Um, would you like to see it maybe with your chevrons? What do you reckon? Oh, yes. Lovely with the chevrons. Would you like to see it alongside your own? Ovals. Ooh, ooh, what about alongside these lovely squares? It's just beautiful, all of them together. They're kind of like futuristic oh. and vintage at the same yeah. time. Yeah, oh yes. Yeah. And they're weighty as well. I really like the fact that hematite actually has got a real yeah. weight to it. You can you, you feel that piece of jewellery. It, dra it drapes beautifully. Mm. The nice thing about working as a designer with hematite is it drapes well. It does. Yeah, it's going to create, if you want to sort of, and, and I suppose, you know, you might make a piece of jewellery and it's so lightweight, maybe you're using something like amber, for example, and you need it to sort of, something to pull it down. Some weight Pyrite it, yeah. or hematite are great uh, gemstones to use in that way because they do have that presence. Now, this is on the verge of selling out. So, Deborah, uh, Anne, Paula, new customer. Now, to all of our new customers who are watching right now, if you pop it in your basket, it's not guaranteed to you until you make that confirmation. It will be allocated on a first come, first serve basis, and you still only pay that one postage and packaging all day. Not to, not per order, not per checkout, all day. So it's worthwhile doing that to guarantee that you don't miss out. So Anne and Neith Portalba, good, good morning, lovely to be with you. Make sure you check it out. Um, Derbyshire, Suffolk, Lancashire, new customers. I've got people in Manchester as well. You need to check out. Uh, Terry in Lancashire just bought three. How many have we got left? 25 are left, people on the phone lines as well. It's, it's super versatile. And what I love is that any kind of skill set, whether you're brand new to jewelry making or whether you're, you know, more established, this will work in all single, every single aspect. You can nestle gemstones in there. You don't have to use the drill hole if you don't want to. If you wanted, oh, oh, oh. Um, I almost want to cut this round. I won't, I won't, because that means one less of you will get it. Can you imagine a head pin going, going in that direction mm -hmm. and then in that direction? So literally, it looks almost like it's floating so you haven't got the cord running through the center so you've almost created that floating O. Ooh. Ooh. You could have it like a gyroscopic um, uh, piece too if you've got a smaller one have it gyroscoping inside yeah it, you? love that and they'll tessellate beautifully as well for me they could be individual connectors couldn't they you could literally pop a head pin as i said do a loop one side then that and that's using one of your beads one of the actual um the rings itself 9.95 as promised and just to let you know this is actually one of the largest carrot weights across the strand here so you know it's going to be an exciting showcase i've got to move on because we're on the verge of selling out stay where you are oh which one next Ah, oh, the chevrons. I love these. I think these are amazing because you've got your chevrons, but they're also on an angle, aren't they? They're like a 45 degree angle, so you can kind of, they'll nestle under one another, if that makes sense. You know, literally kind of slot underneath one another. Um, they'd be perfect with your seed beads, absolutely, Ooh. yeah, because uh, you've got that structural shape, that geometric shape. Let me just show you this, jewelry makers. So let's, let's bring it down to the desk. I thought when I first looked at them that that chevron was one-sided, but if I turn it this way, look, you can actually see they are... How difficult must it actually be to articulate that? 
These are super duper duper cool. So graphics alive, are you ready? I've actually got this chevron shape in three colors. So we're starting with the silver, then I've got that classic hematite colour, and then I've also got that lovely gold colour as well. I mean, look at that. Oh, have I? Oh, yes, I've got a matte one. Hang on. So imagine these just re-stranded. Oh, yes. It's a good metal, isn't it? Oh, yeah, beautiful, frosted, yeah. Beautiful, frosted colour. So I'm starting with the silver. I've got a 100. A hundred of them available, no more, no less. Um, do you know what? It's, 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 a, it's a showcase that we've been wanting for I don't know how long. Obviously, on a, what would have happened is Marie and her fabulous team will have gone on a buying, tea, um, buying expedition. Have I got the wrong one? Um, here we go. Um, and they'll have literally said, right, hematite, what can we get? What can we get? And they'll probably have stumbled across one or two suppliers and they'd have bought everything that was available. Uh, you know, it's, not, it's a gemstone which, which, which we haven't seen in a while. I'm not saying you've never seen it because you clearly have, but we haven't seen it at, at depth, shall we say. Now, these are described as arrowheads. And again, you look from one one angle you'd almost think that they would just be that you know that 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 peak I guess you would expect it to be on the one side but it's not it's on both sides 8.95 I like these a lot oh and they're getting snapped up super quick might be worth do you want me to count them because we have got four strands of them shall I do it no problem but they're literally like, bear with me, because they are shoulder to shoulder. Does that make sense? See, um, usually at Jewelry we have so many gemstones that we can actually say it's beautiful. But these are so cool, aren't they? Like, it, they're just so... You're so right. Cool. You're right. There's pretty, there's beautiful, there's yeah. stunning, there's striking cool yeah that you're so, so right well, yeah. yeah and i think as well the reason why another reason why we're so excited this morning is the fact that guys you know this is something that yeah. you could definitely wear um and you would wear See, easily each, how many times can you get that brand new this is twice isn't it do you reckon Probably more than that, to be honest. It depends on what design, but yeah, yeah. Two, I mean, two round, two. Two round a, a, a gent's wrist. Yeah. Yeah, that's such an easy bracelet to do. Or if you kind of like, um, you can kind of chop and change the colours. Well. Yeah, especially if you're getting so the multicolours. Nice. I'm going to give them for Christmas anyway. For Christmas, absolutely. Yeah, love that. Um, you can even use it in your bead embroidery because the actual shape itself. How cool would that be, right? Let's give them a cheeky count, shall they I? Mind your tire tracks. Actually. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. do. Yeah, really it's that do. chevron shape, isn't yeah. it? So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight. Hang on. 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, 92, 94, 96, 98, 100, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. 109 of your arrowheads on one strand, approximately, obviously, I might have counted that slightly different, slightly wrong, but approximately, that's working out how much each? 8p. 8p per hematite. All the shapes of the sea beads, the new yeah. shapes, yeah. The, yes, because they are quite similar to some of yeah. them, aren't they? Yeah. But instead of being, you know, they're not, they're not a glass or a sea bead. These are actually a genuine gemstone. Because we still do. I mean, I'm, I, it, it, when we first launched sea beads, there are, there are always certain um, viewers, shall we say, JM family members that will be slightly resilient to that change. I get it. I totally get it. Listen, we all are in our own unique ways, but this is a way of actually using those techniques with a genuine gemstone, if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, on the verge of selling out that one. Wow. Okay. Let's do the gold. Oh, I'd be oh, buying these. Yeah. I would so, so, so love to join you on these because this, now imagine this was an 18 karat gold necklace. How much would that cost? It would be a lot, wouldn't it? They lay beautifully across the decolletage. Aren't Look they at cold that. too? They're very cool. Yes. So I read, did Against read actually. It's, it's believed to help. Um, the, it, it's for the blood. 
Yes. Hematite, in myth and legend, they say, is, is very good for improving the quality of your blood. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it believes to aid blood-related disorders. Yeah. Um, improve, improves the supply and circulation of oxygen, basically. It's also believed to help relieve pain within fe with fever or cramps as well. Um, and mentally, it's believed to calm the mind and enhance concentration. There you go. So lots of positives att attached to the gemstone itself. But what I was about to say was that you know, if if, if you are if you do suffer maybe with the odd hot flush. Um, I'm not saying it's medically proven, but it is quite cool, yes. Yeah, so to wear this actually on areas of the body will actually cool you down. Um, so look at you all there. Love this gold. I think this this just on like a um, maybe like a, oh, a fire line or a wildfire. So it's got that beautiful tessellation. It's got that really lovely fluidity. It would be a gorgeous full line necklace. And nobody would think that this was anything other than gold, would they, actually? Draped no. around the decolletage. $8.95, you are multi-buying left right and center every single one of these strands i do expect to sell out jewelry makers because it is that time of year and i know some of you be thinking give over al it's only september but if you have got a business in jewelry making you're already started on your christmas makes aren't you um well this would be perfect for those festivities at the same time you know metallics are relevant and used all year round so not just for that time of year um so your deal of the day you've got your your hexagons you've also got the I can't describe them. The other actual shape. It's a. It's a little bit more. Um irregular but this uh, is much like that deal of the day you've got the arrowheads and you've got them in the four different colors as well to work perfectly i really like michael's idea literally alternating the arrowheads to get that kind of like very russian um russian trio inspired uh color combination you see what i'm getting that oh, well, like the russian wedding ring yeah yeah, yeah 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 you get the trio of colors Direction, yes. yes. So they'll actually right. gravitate, sort of your the focus, yeah, but towards. That's why the light runs along it so well is because it is going in it is directional. Actually, they would be also fantastic either end of a class. Mm. If you're making a beaded class, then you want an yes. arrow either end. Pop those on too. Nice, nice idea. I like that idea. Yeah, because you, you almost you can almost finish, can't you? You can almost finish a piece of uh, sea beading, yeah. wire work, whichever, with one of these at the top. Um, I should show you as well that you've actually got a really large drill hole there, so more than sizable um, for you to put even some of your thickest gauges of wires through. Have we, are, are they almost sold out already? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, we're moving quickly, everybody. Which one next? black so this is classic hematite so no coloring this is that classic color of hematite you know i, sh I want to mention as well because on your hol on hol holidays if you go particularly if you go to places like america or the caribbean um have you noticed there's a lot of hematite jewelry out there why because it's cooling it's actually quite cooling um but please be careful because i know i've actually bought hematite jewelry um many 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 years ago this is before the jewelry making days thinking it was that gemstone and then actually when now with a little bit more experience i realize that it's not actually that gemstones so um, you know that you are buying from a trustworthy source um, we do laboratory test all of ours this is genuine hematite so um, yeah be careful of that because there is a lot of synthetics out there as well um, it is fabulous and like uh, like Michael said earlier on it's a gemstone which goes across both genders but also all generations I think as well yes I agree. It'd be interesting to see what they look like going in the opposite direction. I was thinking that. So, yeah, yeah. Well, creating. One in, well, one in one direction, one in the op opposite direction. You know, you know so when you, you have see them those. Zigzagging. Yeah. yeah, you know when you see those necklaces that almost come down to a point in that kind of shape. Yes. Um, I'd like to see that with these, wouldn't you? So you could actually have the two arrowheads going like this and then coming outwards. Yeah, I think that would be you lovely. Know, actually, one thing that would be very in very nice folks if we can feedback is if we're going to have a showcase like that with something quite so amazing is for us to have for the designer think, to have it i think because it was so limited that's oh, why I yeah gotcha. uh, in discussion in the lead up because it was such a limited showcase um we didn't have we didn't have the quantity oh, to otherwise we probably would have done exactly yeah, that because they'd have been 
fabulous to play with. Yeah. Those. Well, hopefully in future we'll be able to get a bigger quantity. Already you're all over this jewelry maker. 70 carats you're getting here of your black coloured hematite. This is completely natural. So here's, here's a fun fact. Did you know that some of the earliest writing in human history was, was actually achieved by hematite? Because they used to use hematite. Um, if you looked at it in its rough form, it actually looks like a red chalk. Um, it hasn't actually got this very dark colour. It's polishing that actually makes it achieve that. Um, so, they, yeah, they used to actually use hematite in, its, in this lovely red chalk um, to actually write. So that goes back. And the first use of hematite is estimated to have been around 164,000 years ago. So this is certainly one of the gemstones that, you know, has, has, has been... Um, used, adorned throughout antiquity. 895 only. It's lovely to have it back here, our jewellery maker, isn't it, folks? You know, it's nice to be able to get the opportunity to use lots of hematite, especially in these exciting shapes and sizes. Um, do message in. Let us know how you're feeling about this lovely showcase. We're excited. And um, from, from the quantities of you on the phone lines and on the web as well, and the amount of you that aren't leaving it in your baskets, the fact that loads of you are instantaneously checking out, I think you're loving it as much as we are. Hi, Liz. Such a great deal. Thanks, Tom. I'm loving the showcase. Me too. Yes. I, I, we told you it was going to be a cracker, Liz, didn't we? We did tell you. Look at that. That's so beautiful. Were you just twisting it then, Michael? Were no, you just... just... What you can do with it. I love the way the light just kind of cascades off it, it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Suzanne. Tom, can you ask Elle if she got her package? It was signed for yesterday, so it's definitely in the building. I haven't been to... I, Suzanne, I'll message you as soon as I come off air, darling. Um, I haven't seen... I've been down to the post room yet, but I will. I'll go there. I'll go down there um, straight after the show. Yeah, it's not so much a post room. We've got like a cubby hole. We've got like a little cubby hole, basically. So yeah, I'll go down and have a little look, honey. Um, and I'll message you. I'll message you on your Facebook page. I'm excited. Suzanne's made a really beautiful necklace Crushing. for me. Yeah, really I'm beautiful. Lucky I'm very lucky. Very, very lucky. Um, okay, we're moving on. Oh, I think this is going to go. Yes. I think this is going to go in a blink of an eye. So on your marks, jewelry makers. Get set. <coughs> Are you ready, Tom? On your marks. Get set. Go. There you go. I think this is going to be one of the fastest selling because it's probably one of the most unique of all the strands. Um, of all the strands. This is actually called frosted hematite. So look at that. <gasps> Oh, now I can imagine that. On some elastic, because we have got elastic scheduled in today's show. Make a nice stretchy ring. Lovely stretchy ring. Yeah, we've got the findings to bring you as well. So these have got that lovely uh, sort of matte frosted texture. They're four by six millimeters. You know you've got the large aperture. So your elastics will more than happily go through these. Hiya, Janet. Um, I think they would all look great with lapis to make an Egyptian-inspired piece of jewelry. Love that idea. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, because I'm um, quite Aztec-y. Do you know what I mean? When I think yeah. about, when someone says to me Aztec, I think about all of those shapes that, that, that you used to see. Um, when you were learning about it in history. Yeah, I, I agree with you there, Janet. So, so perfect. Have I still only got 100 of them? Hasn't changed in the last five minutes, that quantity? No, no, no. Um, the red cord really works alongside it as well. You've got big bundles coming up as your deal of the day, um, but each of these are very, very limited, and these are very popular. Hello to you. Um, gosh, where do I start? Can I keep up with you? Barbara, Mary and Jerry, Gillian, Anita, North Yorkshire, Jay, Simone, Deborah, Surrey, Nicola, Elizabeth, Liz, Cornwall, Cheryl, Julie, Morag, Anne, Francois, Maeve, Norman, Cathy, Susan, uh, Gloucestershire, Bristol's bought five, Shandy, Monica, Carolyn, Hello to you, Lanarkshire, Frida. Hello to you, Jennifer, Deborah, Verona, Erica in the USA. Hello to you, Elizabeth, uh, Liz and Kent. Um, can I keep up? Where am I now? Sorry. De oh, er I can't keep up now. Uh, Andrea, Verona, um, 
Ursula, you've got yours. I had just a hundred, no more, no less. That is not a massive quantity. Do you know what, folks? Um, I'm, I'm watching now because Michael's reaction to this, I can tell you love these because he's actually taken, never before have I actually known him sort of get up, grab a strand off the tea bar just so he can kind of admire it. Um, they're cool, aren't they? They're really I'm, cool. I'm just trying to find inspiration for it, to be honest. It's really cool. I've got some good, you could literally, I don't know if you can do it there. Yeah. Come over, come around, come on. I don't, you won't be able to see it. Hang on. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. They are cool. They are really cool. So. What are you thinking? If I replace your hand. Yep. See, if you have it, how's that? If you have it coming on oh, the yes. side and you put a bead right in the centre of it. Kind of like that. Yeah, you can fit maybe a, a lever though in, inside of that. So it's I know what you mean. So you could create like a diamond in the centre, like that. Yeah, exactly. So you've got right, them right at the centre of a, like a, a bracelet or a or a cool. necklace. They That's are really cool, cool, aren't they? That's really nice. Yeah. I've never known Michael be like this. And you do he dabbles in jewelry making, does our Michael? Well, you dabble, don't yeah. you? When he's not tiling and fitting kitchens and all those things, <laughs> or presenting, um, or taking photographs. Yeah, he's a man of multiple talents. Yeah, are you good yeah. at tiling? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you're not alone. Well, My... I've learned that. I've learned to tile now. It's the first time I've did it recently, so. First time, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, my husband did tiled our kitchen, and I said, I tell you what, next time, should we just pay someone to do it? Because it's hard, isn't it? It's really, really hard. Has that gone? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what next? So you've still got, take a little look, jury makers, you've still got the rainbow ovals, the rainbow. I'm going to describe those as drums, rice beads. You've still got the squares. I'm going to start you start with the ovals. Now, brand new. You have a hundred only, and this is going to match every single colour, gemstone, outfit, sea beads, material, whichever you wish that you have within your stash. I because love those. I mean, they they are like they've been touched by a unicorn, aren't they? They are like they've been touched by a unicorn. Actually, those would be wonderful to make a necklace yep. for my pendant I'm making. Aha! Uh -huh. um, I'd love to be able to give it to you, but we've no, only no, got no, a hundred. I don't want it. Sorry. I'm just saying, wouldn't that be good? It with, would be beautiful with the rose, rose quartz. quartz. Yeah, lovely know. with the rose quartz. So these, uh, you get 120 carats in your six by eight. So not only that, Clash, these are calibrated. That's a calibrated size. So wow. if you have any ring mounts that within your stash, you know, prong setting, then one of those would look absolutely beautiful in one of those ring mounts, don't you think? Um, already, already there are tons of you there. Please do not leave them in your baskets if you want to guarantee success. I can't genuinely remember the last time I actually saw hematite of any quantity let alone a showcase it's always been a popular gemstone I think because we do recognize it as a gemstone as well even with little to no gemstone knowledge as I said earlier on it's a form of iron oxide um, and it actually has got one of the highest metallic luster in the gemstone world. For that reason, really, it's very dense. It's a very gen a dense gemstone um, and actually possesses one of the highest refraction indexes within the actual gemstone world. Um, it is a gemstone that actually forms in a trigonal crystal si uh, system. So believe it or not, it's the same crystal system as your sapphire and your ruby. Um, and like I said, you can actually magnetize it as well. That's during the treatment process. But I found it absolutely fascinating that this is a gemstone which has actually been adorned and used for one of the longest periods of time so up to 164,000 years we've actually been using hematite for so absolutely amazing and it makes sense really that if this is one of the other gemstones that we found actually up on Mars very few gemstones have actually been, have been discovered on that planet uh, Peridot being one of them but this almost does look a little bit sci-fi doesn't it it's, I always say that gemstones will almost tell you their location. You know, think Mukai. It, it, it for me tells me that it's from Australia, uh, with a few exceptions, of course. Hematite. It was almost like yes, you can find me in outer space as well. It's almost like it's told you that. Eight ninety five only. You've got to be quick because there are a lot of multi buyers here, jewelry makers. So um, well done. And I don't blame you for that. Channel has got six. Sorry's bought three. Alison's bought three. Grace's multi bought. Lanarkshire's multi bought. Um, Annette's multi bought. 
still loads of you on the phone lines as well. Cheryl, Veronica, Carol, Rebecca, Lanarkshire, Jenny, Linda, Kelsey, Eileen, Kerry, Cornwall, Shandy, De uh, Janet, Denise, Elizabeth, Judith, Anne, Margaret, Collectors in North Yorkshire, Annie, Diane, hello to you, Mandy, Christine, Susan, Elaine, Jane, Annette, Kathleen, Maeve, uh, I can't keep up with you now, Sally, Andrea, so keep on dialing through. Every time I look at my call screen, it literally jumps with the, with the, with the volumes of you dialing through on the web and on the phone lines. We haven't crashed the system yet, though, so yes, which we did a lot on Tuesday, a lot, physically crashed the system. We having all sorts of IT issues on that day. All kinds of IT issues. The show went down and everything. There we go. Thankfully, thankfully, um, it's all back up and running, everybody. So Kimberly, Adele, Lincolnshire, Shirley, Jackie, Hazel, County Atrium, Kathy, you've got to check out. We only have a hundred of them. And that's not a massive quantity. You've got, I think most people know that we actually broadcast the world over, you know, we have got viewers in the USA, Portugal, Spain, Canada, Germany, all around the world, basically. Well done. Okay, you ready for the rice beads? Super elegant. Imagine this with a little bit of black spinel ahead of your vintage weekend. Imagine these with a little bit of pearls. Imagine these with, I don't know, maybe... Um, like a hot pink gemstone or any colour, a colour of choice, because with your rainbow hematite, you can pretty much pick. So, nice weight to it, nice and cool. It's the first thing. Okay, so, can I... I almost wish I had sort of feeler vision right now, because I'm just putting this up sort of to the neck, and you can really feel the coolness of the gemstone. Do that when you get it home. Just hold it and feel it in sort of a more sensitive part and you'll feel that that cooling property that this gemstone has 80 carats in your lovely iridescent pastel rice bead so we coat these we coat them um uh, hematite is often coated um to to bring you those beautiful kaleidoscope effects much like we do with many other gemstones like your topaz for example they are just gorgeous aren't they i love the elegance of this shape they, i mean it lends itself to just simply macrame -ing. i mean look at the bracelet that i've been wearing i saw it made by one of our in-house designers and i was like right yes i'll put that on thank you very much you could recreate it with that exact same sort of design um, just literally using one of these beads so full 38 centimeter strand four by six millimeters in their size and oh there's tons of you there this is proving to be a very popular one I can see why I really can see why um, again large apertures in the center so you've got drill holes there that will um, will easily accommodate wires they'll accommodate elastics they'll accommodate probably even some leather I would imagine very 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 popular don't forget jewelry makers you have your deal of the day which are two massive bundles that will go beautifully alongside this showcase you know they're all completely different in terms of their actual shapes and colors and sizes and things like that but get well stocked because it's the time of year in particular I think where we start to bring a little bit more bling out don't we um, I mean sparkle and luster and, and those metallic appearance are always uh, relevant all year round but I think particularly in sort of the autumn and winter months that's when we really start thinking about sort of more your your party frocks and so forth um hello to you all text in tell us what you're loving what you love most about this showcase should we do it again i think it's a definite yes would you like more shapes and more colors yeah, I definitely do. Squares, little squares, elongated rectangles, stars, all of these things. Um, I, actually, we did do hematite stars. Um, they might well still be in the pipeline maybe for the forthcoming months, um, but they sold out in a heartbeat. Hematite always does, doesn't it? It's a yeah. very, very, very popular gemstone with us, but yet it's almost like we can't maintain... Um, the, the, the quantity to meet the customer's demands for it. It's the perfect uh, gemstone to actually get that bit of sparkle through, isn't it? Yeah. While still being a gemstone. Love that. Well done, Ali, Susan, Annie, hello to you, Hannah Reen, hello to you, Sandra, Donna, Anne, Leslie, Carol, Anne, Rebecca, Kerry, North Yorkshire, Janet, Helen, Eileen, Jane, Julie, Jeannie, hello to you, Linda, Annette, Shandy, uh, Cornwall, Alison, Eleanor, Surrey, Kathleen, Andrea, Georgina, Mandy, Anne, Mary and Jerry, Channel Isles, well done to you. Super savvy. Um, I'm going to be snapping up some of these stock permitting or have they all sold out? Pretty much. 
pretty much we're on the verge of. That's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um, hey? No, it's okay. I'd rather our customers get them, but it's, it's a tw I was thinking, listen, I make very simple makes. I do a bit of macrame. I do simple stretchy bracelets, really. These would be perfect for that because I know that people recognize hematite. We almost recognize it from our travels. But again, I have to keep repeating, make sure you, do, if you do insist on sourcing it from elsewhere, by all means, I'm not saying you can't, but make sure you recognize that, um, you know, you're sourcing from us, who's a very trustworthy uh, Jemson supplier. We do certify all of our gemstones if you wish um, and we do laboratory test all of our gemstones as well we've been caught out with it where we've, well, well not caught out people have tried to catch us out with it where they've actually sent us hematite and it's not been hematite because there is actually um there, that's a good idea actually there's a there, there is actually um an imitation stone so um what thomas just said to me is he's going to message marie right now because she is in hong kong as we speak and get her to buy more hematite so are we agree are we agreeing? Text in and let me know if there's any shapes and sizes you want me to message her about. Heart, she... Hearts, please. Tom. Hearts, hearts. Yeah, okay. you type heart, beautiful they okay. are. Okay, okay. She was messaging me yesterday about her Facebook page and I think she was like, I don't, I've never done it before. Um, so I can always ask her then. I can always ask her. Now we've still got two strands to bring you. And then we've got the bundles, the deal of the day bundles. Let me just show you the deal of the day bundles because it's quite hard to actually describe. I've put that on the wrong way, haven't I? To actually describe the shapes of, of, the, of the one. So these are massive deals. Um, so the, you've got your hexagons and then you've got, how would we describe this? They're almost cubes, cube chevrons. I don't know. They've got a chevron, but they're almost a cube shape. So these are both coming up. Um, separate auctions just after 11 o'clock, jewelry makers. Um, okay. I love these. Yeah, these are very cool. So there we go. Marie has been text. Look at these. Can I just... I'm going to just double the strand Ooh, over for a second. Is. You mentioned earlier on, Kleshner, how sea beading, sometimes you're working with almost like shapes that will create almost like DNA structures. Yes, yes. Look at that. They're beautiful. beautiful. Imagine these yeah. in like a bubble style bracelet because oh, when you look at the strand like this, we're looking at the shallowest part of the hematite. When you double it over or when you cut the strand, that's when you see that lovely sort of flat table the graphics are live this is your electric electrical blue well the other way to use those is sewing them flat yeah and sewing a seed like bead sequins. through yes yeah sewing that... a seed bead through the middle and going back through it so use them flat <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I totally agree. Look at that, just oodles and oodles of sparkle. Now, I predict that these two strands are going to be one of the fastest selling. This one in particular, I think, is going to be one of the fastest selling just because look at this go. Pow, 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 luster, luster, luster. You've got a kind of uh, shimmer pattern. It oh, definitely does want to be seen. This I'd be using this alongside maybe things like um, your black spinel. You know, if you're looking for that absolute glitz, can you imagine these sewn as opposed to sea beads? I mean, I know it's going uh, not sorry sequins rather. Um, I know it's going to take some time. Can you imagine these sewn upwards so that you've got those flats, the little squares facing outwards on the lapel of a jacket or something like that? Oh, I mean, amazing. wow, wow. it would sparkle. yeah, it would t it, it would really make an amazing statement, wouldn't it? Yeah. And the weight and the weight that you'd actually get on that too oh i'm so tempted to do that i'm not by any means as talented as so many of our designers um you know and, and jewelry maker customers that watch right now but even i can do a stitch even i can do that six pound 95 i'd be multi-buying these i'd be multi-buying these and i'm just thinking maybe just an old an old jacket that you want to zhuzh up somewhat just literally sewing them on the lapel wouldn't that be oh, beautiful on DJ. yeah on oh. a dinner ja jacket yes mm. that would be incredible they're flying out the door hello to you cardiff but hello to you janice barbara sally Gillian, elaine ian hello to you janet mary and jerry cheryl north yorkshire mandy judith lincolnshire somerset verona if you are a new customer don't forget there's no minimum spend for your first purchase to qualify you for that first gift you know um if you do qualify as a brand new customer you will get sent not one but two additional genuine gemstone strands for free 
for free. You'll also get your Get Started with Jewelry Maker DVD. That's an hour long tutorial DVD that talks you through the tools and some basic techniques um, that you'll need to start this wonderful hobby. We are very much a family, so do very much, uh, do find us on our Facebook page as well, where we've got about, what is it, 60 something, 67,000 like minded people. Um, on our Facebook pages. You can find Kleshner on hers um, and myself on mine too. Um, just to give you a little bit of a heads up, jewelry makers. Now, it's, it is in discussion right now, so I can't tell you exactly what it is, but I am going to be doing a Facebook competition soon. So join me on my Facebook page and you might be in with a chance. All of our ex my existing Facebook friends, you're in, in with a chance too, of course. From wherever, can you be, Tom? Have you liked my page? No, you can't then. There you go. So there. Definitely not. So there, so there, so there. No, you can't anyway. It's for customers. Customers, not, um, no not, staff. not staff. Not staff members. The final strand. This is beautiful. Oh, wow. You have here a beautiful, I don't know, it's almost like a chocolatey gold, isn't it? Gold coloured hematite in these absolutely amazing squares. So again, I'm going to fold the strand over just so you can see that, that beautiful expanse of amazing lustre. I'd love to see this in a bubble star bracelet, wouldn't you, jewelry makers? I think that would be absolutely stunning. Um, in that design and you've certainly got enough to do it in one strand we're matching the price of the previous one so you had your electric blue earlier on right now it's all about that gorgeous very rich very sumptuous gold tons of you there I love the fact that you are all checking out that means that you're you know you're not going to miss out there's nothing worse there's nothing it happened to me over the weekend you know during the amber event oh these would look lovely with the amber wouldn't they I digress but they would look lovely with the amber yeah I popped a few things in my baskets and then I was like I got I got tempted and distracted by something else so I started adding more in and then by the time I checked out the first thing that I put in had gone it happens to even us here at studio even though I wax lyrical and and sort of harp on about it at length 695 hello to you Chris Elizabeth Andrea Alanixa Angela Annette Anne I'm not even joking all the A's um hello to you Kerry Michaela Monica Darlene hello to you uh, Maureen hello to you Judith Helena Hazel Ian Anne Leslie Liz Surrey's bought five hello to you Barry and Marion hello to you Anita Gillian, Elaine, Cheryl, um, Helen, Lana, Mary and Jerry, and congratulations, it has gone nuts, 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 and we've still got more to bring you oh, to, nice. I love it, oh, well, who doesn't love a bit of sparkle, who oh, doesn't love, yeah, exactly, who doesn't love metallic luster, who doesn't love high refraction within a gemstone, but I was actually quite surprised by that actually, when I read, um, I was reading, uh, doing my research, doing my prep for the showcase, and I was quite surprised that it's actually got a higher refraction than the likes of Zircon, because you, or we automatically assume, or I should say I did, I assume that because it's actually an opaque gemstone, that it wouldn't have that um, refraction, because refraction is inside, it's how the gemstone actually kind of bends the light, um, not luster, Luster is actually the outside. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Right, we can't, there is more to bring you. Don't forget, do not go anywhere. Your deal of the day is going to be huge. Two big bundles of your hematite. So make sure you're with me for that. You've only got 15 minutes to wait for it. 15 minutes. Who wants findings to go with all of that lovely sparkle? Sterling silver findings as well. So I do remember this bundle. This bundle was put together by producer Tom. If I show you, oops. Now I've popped them in the little dishes just to show you that these are each, oh, I can't even pick it up, hang on. These are each sterling silver fining pack. So here we go. So you get a pair of your shepherd, let me get my tweezers. You get, bear with. Tweezers, 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 oh, they're by Kleshner. Michael, can you just pass me those? Thanks, honey. You so, you get a pair of your shepherd hooks. Yeah? You get a pair of your head pins. You get two of your crimps. Again, these are essentials to making jewellery. 
you get one of your bolt ring clasps and you get two of your jump rings times six six <clears throat> six of your 925 <coughs> excuse me sterling silver findings packs so that's in total 54 pieces and if we were to if you were to buy six packs is that right if you were to buy six packs individually off our website that would be the price that you would pay that's a lot of sterling silver and that's not bad really considering that's six pairs of earrings um that's i don't know six necklaces <clears throat> six bracelets if you wanted it to be um, there's a lot of potential from a findings pack a finding is basically the part that, that, that makes the jewelry actual wearable jewelry so uh, you know and you can have a necklace but you can't wear it without a clasp can you or you find it hard pushed you can have a pair of earrings but you need the shepherd hook that's what a finding is the jump ring is what we use so you can actually get to those findings and things like that they are absolute necessities they're the backbone of your jewelry but this bundle was a bit naughty and pr and producer tom did get told off for this bundle and apparently it did get banned but he's done it again because he's just a rebel. He's an absolute rebel. That's working out at 24p. 24p per finding. That's bonkers. You can make sterling silver earrings for, four, for 58 pence. Do you know, honestly, 58 pence. You could almost buy them and have them melt down and earn more uh, you know, money with that lot. 48 pence, sorry. <laughs> 48 pence, exactly, Kleshner. I mean, that is absolutely insane. And they will work beautifully with your hematite showcase. They will work amazingly with your deal of the day. They will work beautifully with the rose quartz that we've got coming up, the Ethiopian opal that we had earlier on. And um, they may well work with Michael's mystery that. box. Hmm. Mm. Mystery box, mm. mystery box. Bing, bing. Um, don't know, don't know, might do. I would have thought so. I do know what his mystery box is, because I'm not going to lie. You're a I naughty did. girl. I know. I did look. I'll put a padlock on that. I did. I had a little sneaky look. I had a little look. I couldn't... I couldn't I knew, I, I'll stop talking then. Stop yeah. talking. Just make sure you're with us, everybody. It's a oh. good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. Um, and on that note... Yeah? Is there no intro? On what note? Hit it, Ollie. Whoa! It's my mystery box. I'm Michael J. You are hey, Michael J. Fox. If I say mystery, you say box. Mystery. Box. Mystery. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> oh, no. <nah>. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> you said I'm Michael J. Fox. Did you? You stepped on her toe. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Get off it. He oh, squashed no. my big toe. Oh, this no. is my presenting gig now, Elle. <laughs> oh, get away. Do you want me to do the camera? If you want to, yeah. Yeah. Go for it. No, do I? Oh, I do, do I? Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. Stay here. Tom, can we have your cameras, please? For about two minutes. You know I'm my microphone two minutes, right now. Because this is going to sell right out. Yeah, push, get out, get out. Yeah, it's all right. I'm going to have to sit down after my I toes. I do apologise for the cap. I am on cameras today. But you know what? Since we've started doing these mystery boxes, I have to turn you down okay, every single time. Since I've started doing mystery boxes, I've started off kind of picking things that were nice, but without much, um, without many items in it. Like, uh -huh. really oh, yeah, oh, low quantity. 20, 25 quantity, 30 quantity. But because it's going so well, I've been a bit more cheekier. And as you knew the other day, we did some uh, chain and we had 200 in and they all sold out. So thank you very much for that. But today, it's a special day. It's a hematite day. It goes really, really well, right, with makes for men. What we have here, you know, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm going to move that out of the way. This is so different to things that you've actually seen so far today in the Hematite Showcase. Yes! Double drilled Hematite. You, I kind of look a bit silly with this cat. I'm really sorry. For the first time ever on Dreammaker, we have double drilled Hematite. As you can see, it's matte in its look. But what it's doing is focusing Whoa. on that beautiful, beautiful matte grey colour. 
the possibilities with this. It's, I mean, simply what I'd do with this is put it on uh, two different, uh, put them both through a stretchy and just have a stretchy bracelet just for makes for men. But if you think how these things can tessellate together, yeah. imagine like the, the, the actual drape you can make with this. Absolutely. That's simple. insane. Now, can you see the call centre, please? Uh, the, the call screen, please, Tom. A beautiful spiral design. Yeah, really nice. The graphics have crashed. <laughs> the code for this is HKGP68. I've seen... Let's have a little look around it. So if you get tight in on there, Tom, have you ever seen anything like this? It would work so perfectly with your sea beads. Look at that. They're very... They're almost industrial, aren't they? They are. Uh, Patricia from uh, Lincolnshire. Uh, does Michael have time to sleep? No. He wasn't in yesterday, mind. He had a day off yesterday. He did do a, a double day before. But you know what? Sometimes you have to do it for, you know, to, for, you, you need to be self-aware, don't you? And I was aware that I was doing a bit too much. Well, Ollie's doing a few doubles, isn't he, recently? Oh, my life. I'll tell you what, after ball once. Here we go. So, the price for this is, you know it, £9.95. And you know what? If you guys are came in for everything, that, everything we've done so far on the Hematite Showcase... This is so different to everything give, else you've ever seen. Give him a little bit of a count, account. because Are that... Are sure? Okay. Oh, I'll do half the strand then. Are okay, we can... so um, if you... Uh, hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Great TV. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Let's, 50 Let's just times 50, that. 50, times... 100, 150... Whoops a daisy. <laughs> it's two hundred you get on here. Now this will sell out because you really need to go to Dramed.com. Approximately about one hundred. The code is HKGP uh, sixty eight. I'll show you again on my beautiful man hat. Hang on, let's put it on the wrist. Yeah, but you know what? It suits your man hands. <laughs> I think you can say it suits your man. <laughs> <laughs> it suits your man it does because Look of that, that matte texture, it suits yeah. you. It's beautiful. So here we go, but I won't even go down the list. Alison, City of Bristol has bought five. I reckon I'd say about 40% of people have actually multi-bought. Uh, Matthew from Matthew from Staffordshire, you need to check out. Uh, you'll really enjoy these. Uh, Jackie from Essex. Shandy from Suffolk, uh, check out. Janice from London, you've just come in. Uh, Michelle from Northumberland, Shire. Now, for all those people that came in and bought one, if you think we've never, ever seen this before and we're not sure when they'll ever come to air again, um, Tom, is there any um, any... Do we know anything about these being reordered at all yet? Tom's shaking his head and he's got a face on him that I'm going to go in there and sort him out in a second. The H is H, the H, <laughs> the code is HKGP68. Honestly, the possibilities with this extra drill hole are endless. Let me just show you around it again. Are you perfect with your um, super duos? And um, what would you reckon? Um, I'm chilling. Six O's and 11 O's, 15 O's alike. Oh my giddy aunt, look at that. I'd use them together. Oh, oh, 100%. I think okay, they'd all work really lovely together. We can just sit here and watch that all day, couldn't we? Yeah, hang on, can I add something else? Should we add some colour? Yeah, there she is. Oh. There you go. There you go. I'm just going to bend down here, That's but... absolutely amazing. So, let's... I can't even see it. Mary and Jerry, just come in. Uh, Lincoln Shirt, you bought two. Um, Collector from Surrey, you bought two. Alison from Hampshire, you bought two. Alison again, City, uh, has bought five. Joe, hi Wolfie, uh, could you get uh, ombre bronzes, gold, graphite, black, silver, midnight blue? Could put you it... get? No, or no, get, we'll, get we'll, we'll, we'll yeah. put... No, we'll put it to Marie. That, I think that's you what she's asking. Ask on a strand? Yeah, we're going to ask... We're, really we're going to put a little bit of a shopping list. Yeah. See, we like to do that at Jewelry Maker. Cool. I mean, obviously you can come in and buy this, and if you think it's coming to Christmas, and these colours that we've came in today with... Um, They're be wicked, aren't they? Absolutely amazing. They're wicked. But this here, I mean... Kleshner, I mean, what would you do with it? Have you actually seen this uh, strand yet? That's it's fabulous. It's like um, it's a thumb drill. It is. It's matte drilled, and, and you, you can honestly, you, you can make yourself um, like an art deco going like that. Okay, across. yeah. Do a fab art deco, I would do with that. If, um, if I actually um, kind of looked at this yesterday, if I actually saw um, this strand, I would have actually got one of the um, in-house designers to have made something for me, just so I could have showed you exactly what we could have done. But How many do I have left, Tom? 
pretty I'm much pre- gone. I'm pretty much. I'm. I'm pretty much. Pretty much. I'm thinking though, if you've never made a piece of jewellery, any of these strands would be absolutely perfect because they're so impactful. If you have one, if you, you know what, as I said, if you put two of the other ones we had together, I'll quickly show you. Where are they? Here. Well, there was the idea of the day. So Tom, if you just quickly catch this, if I can actually get it round, just two of these together. Oh yeah. Are you still there? So I'm just zooming on that. There you go. Create that, won't you? If you think this on a cord, just two yeah. of them together, cool. either, either way, that's all you need, and you've got your impact. Maybe you can have a sea bead in between it. Maybe uh, well, any gemstone, because this is a kind of a back palette, isn't it? Love really, it. Really Thank nice. you, Michael. Mystery box. Mystery right. box. We all know what's in my mystery box. I'm Boom. just, just going to let yes. you go. and Stay away from my toes. <laughs> I'll just about get feeling back in my toes. <laughs> I thought you fell off. <laughs> no, <laughs> did you not? Ah! <laughs> Rewind it back and watch it in slow motion. Your face going. <laughs> yeah. <Ooh. laughs> okay, we're running out of time. Well done, everybody. And don't go anywhere because if we're loving, we're loving the hematite, aren't we? Well, you don't want to miss out on these absolute crackers of bundles. <laughs> Jewelry makers, this coming Saturday is Vintage Weekend, and I'm very excited to say that I will be joined by the lovely, the wonderful, the super talented Jan Dwyer. We are going to be launching some really beautiful pearls as your deal of the day, but back in stock is the Dremel tool with your custom made jewelry maker kit. And even more exciting than that is you've been crying out for this. It is the launch of the pearl drilling tool. They come in four different sizes, perfect for you to customize your pearl creations. Make sure you don't miss out. It's happening this Saturday morning. Join myself and Jan for the morning show. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call center team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewelry making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share.
welcome back, Jewelry Makers. So lovely to be with you. And it is that time for the deal of the day. But before we do, <laughs> melt the phone lines again. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you noticed, but during Michael's famous introductory, um, my poor big toe. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my big toe is getting in the way. <laughs> happened to get happened to get a little bit squashed, and it's that moment that it gets captured on live television. We ha right. we have to show you this because I've been cre. Oh, hang on. Ready? then oh dearie me bless <laughs> love that love that tv oh, gold okay yeah, then jewelry makers your deal of the day you're ready to melt the phone lines if you can and you are shopping with us on the web or via the app fantastic because guess what there's no cues there i'm actually crying for that it's funny um oh dear me um okay so i've spoilt you with all of these lovely brand new shapes cuts and colors but how about another two shapes in all the different colours? Now, I'm going to start with, I'm just going to actually take them off the T-bar for one second. I'm going to start with the hexagons. We have the same quantity. Oh, slightly less. But you actually get, instead of just one strand, you're going to get five. So these are the hexagons. And as you can see, like the other ones, they will tessellate beautifully together. Beautifully. Now, you think you have just seen some incredible hematite deals, and you have. We are going to make this unmissable, jewellery makers. You know, don't be thinking, OK, well, I'll get this instead of those, because actually they're completely different. The fact that you've got those really lovely kind of chevron shapes, the, the, the lovely rings that we had, the squares, the rice beads, the ovals. These are completely different to that, but they'll all absolutely work perfectly, perfectly together. So, five strands in your deal of the day. I think this is probably going to be one of the most, uh, yeah, sort of rapid selling deal of the days um, that, that we might have offered you in a very long time. So, different colours too to what you've actually had previously. The countdown is on. You've got the green and also the lovely pink colour too. Graphics. Ah, uh, I go, 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 go. So yeah, look at that lovely forest green that you're getting here. And that's double-sided luster, double-sided refraction, double-sided color. Then you've got that gorgeous silver. Then you've got those wonderful, uh, wonderful reds, the uh, bronze color, the gold is there as well. So in total, there is five strands and they're all 38 centimeter strands. Um, now, is that right? So 15 to 16 inches. So yeah, I'll give that a measure in centimeters, 38 to 40 centimeters. Straight away loads of you darling through you get all of these all of these in your deal of the day purchase um, it's just shy of two meters of genuine hematite genuine hematite hexagons so for those of you that missed out on the showcase just previously let me talk some more it is a gemstone like i said that has got lots and lots of positive myths um, and legends attached to it believed to help with blood uh, related disorders but also improve um, um alleviate rather you of pain and uh, uh, pain through fever and also cramps mentally it's better believed to help calm the mind and also enhance concentration and it's stunning we've been admiring this gemstone for over 164,000 years it's one of the oldest gemstones in in terms of sort of adornment and also use already there's confirmations being made now you might be thinking l i don't know i don't know what could you possibly do with this well bear in mind that we took every single strand of hematite previously under 10 pounds right do you do you think our deal of the day is going to be different to that? Do you think we're going to now starting saying, okay, well, these are actually, these, I don't know, 14 95 each. Well, I tell you what, we'll start making our way towards that because there's lots of you there already and there's lots of multi-buyers. Um, at this price, that's £9.99 per hematite strand. At 
that price. Michael's doing. Do the arrows fit into? Yeah, they do. Lovely. So you know these. I keep calling them chevrons. They, they have actual arrows, but the arrows. actual the arrow head will actually fit over over the shape. So you can have an arrow either side of one of the hexagons. That's a great idea. Yes. That's a really lovely idea. I like that. Well done, Ollie. Loving no, that. That's me. No, um, yeah, I think, I think yeah, <laughs> yeah, that really does work. I like that idea. Um, beautiful. So this price you were at nine pounds and ninety nine pence uh, each, which is fabulous. That's a single figure price tag for genuine hematite, not an imitate he, imitation. You know, which you do get. <clears throat> there is imitation um, hematite actually out there within the market. Let me just show you this beautiful necklace that's been made by our in house designers. You know, we said earlier on about literally just alternating the colours. Um, that's what's been done on this necklace and I think it's absolutely perfect it's so it, do you know what that reminds me of very Cartier actually because they work with quite geometric shapes but also the mixtures of uh, the mixtures of the sort of precious metals more what I'm thinking but um, the actual mixtures of the actual colors itself I mean that is absolutely beautiful if you were to do a craft event or a stall um, or maybe you sell online and you were to market this at 49.95 you've got loads of hematite left over certainly have um, that and your, your quids in already and it's very basic techniques especially if you got um, the sterling silver filings pack that we brought you earlier on. Are you ready, jewelry makers? Because we're not stopping at 99.99 at 99.99 each. Where this is actually six pounds and ninety-five pence, six ninety-five. So if my memory serves me correctly, that's the lowest price per hematite strand, right? Of the entire entire day, six pounds ninety-five. Uh, Tipperary, Lana, Tracy, Amanda, Paulie, Jackie, Mavis, Sussex, That's Cardiff, nice. Karen, um, another Suffolk. Hello to you, Terry, Jenny. Hello to you, Somerset, Carolyn, Maeve, Sally, Alison, Elizabeth, uh, Kathleen, Alison in Bristol's multiboot, Surrey's multiboot, Andrew's multiboot, Helena's multiboot. Congratulations to you. I've still got people dialing through. We had to bring it to you at the best possible price, jewelry makers, and that is purely because it's your deal of the day. That's your expectations, and that's absolutely what we, you know, if we're, if we're giving it that title, that status, then that's absolutely what we have to deliver, jewelry makers, and I think we've achieved that and then some. You know what to do. We only have a triple figure quantity well just shy of that in actual fact this is the penultimate um, hematite opportunity that we actually have today there's this and one more and once that's done it's done and I don't know when we're going to be getting these kind of shapes again don't get me wrong we will most definitely make requests for you and if you do have any suggestions on shape sizes and colors then make sure you text them through to us get in touch with any of us here at Durham Maker and we can we can forward that suggestion Sally Channel Isles hello to you North Yorkshire Andrea you've got yours and uh, and Andrea Karina Kath Essex Mary and Jerry Lanarkshire Carl West Lothian, Janice, you're looking at six pounds and ninety-five pence per hematite. Per hematite gemstone. Hmm. <laughs> So, you'd be amazed, jewelry makers. Can I let me just, let me just chat to you for one second? You would be amazed at just how much us JM crew can communicate without saying a word. So, Tom said, "L, that is a really, really, really good price," and they will probably sell out at that price. But I know there might well be little bit of leeway so I actually gave Tom the look of go on go. it's the deal of the day and if we if, if ever there's been an opportunity for you to get quality hematite in your stash in your collection maybe even start your jewelry making journey then it has to be right now during the deal of the day doesn't it so with just a look I said to Tom go on go a little bit lower it's the deal of the day and he's basically just said in my ear 
how about five pounds per strand, mm. L? At which point I nod profusely and say, go, 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 jewelry makers, because that is an amazing oh. deal. Five pounds. Everybody will pay that low price, irrespective of whether you joined five minutes ago or right mm. now. Go on, Tom, lower that price. He's done it. He's done it. He has. Five pounds. That was subtle, L. I know, I know, I know. And listen, Liz, I, listen, we want you to get the best possible deal we can. And if Tom did say to me, he said, there's a little bit more in it, Al, if you want. And I was like, yes, yes, take it lower. Take it lower, five pounds. But that is an absolute rock bottom. We cannot go at single penny lower than this, uh, jewelry makers. It's your deal of the day. If you've lapped up the hematype showcase, then just this is literally the cherry on the, tr uh, cherry on the cake. We've still got one more, I almost said cherry on the tree then. We've still got one more bundle to offer you in a very unique shape and size. Grab these whilst you can. A very good morning to you all. Sharon, Anne, Elaine, Diane, Stella, Jennifer, Ruth, Adele, Claire, Christine, Leslie, Margaret. Five pounds. Five pounds per strand. Would you like me to count them as well? Why Would not? you like me to? Because then we can work out exactly how many you're getting across the entire strand. So I'm just going to lay one out. I'm not going to count them all, obviously, just per strand. Otherwise, I'll be here all day. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 66 times 5. 330. 330. That means that 8p per hematite. That's mental, isn't it? 8p. And they would look beautiful with the arrows. Amazing alongside the arrows, don't you think? But colours here that you haven't seen throughout the showcase. I do love this next one. I think it's beautiful. I'm going to show you the bracelet first. So this was made by our in-house designers. Anybody that does macrame or is interested in macrame, you need to do this. Look how beautiful. And such a simple design. That's basic macrame, isn't it? And then what they've done, if I turn it around, it's just a very simple Solomon's bar sliding knot there. So if I just show you there, you can just slide it and pull it tighter with two of your hematites at the end to make it adjustable. I love that bracelet. I think it's amazing. This might well be one of my favourite shapes, actually. I've loved them all. I really have. But I think this is up there with one of my favourite of shapes. Because you can't have we described it as cubes, but for me, they're... Do you see where I'm coming from? They're almost like, there's a mixture of that chevron, the arrowhead shape. There's a mixture of that in a cube. So if I hold it like down here, do you see where I'm coming from? How do you even go about faceting a gemstone like that? Amazing, isn't it? I can't get my head around it in terms of drawing it, let alone faceting a gemstone. It's very mathematical. Um, that just almost boggles my brain. You've got that large drill hole as well. I'll pop them on the back of the hand so you can see uh, them all, basically. And again, you've got that selection of colours. Look at that. Even when our camera is in soft focus. Oh, that is breathtaking, isn't it? The luster, the refraction that you get across the entirety of, uh, <coughs> entirety of, uh, of the hematite strands. I've crashed the website again. Well... <laughs> So if you are on the web, guess what? We've crashed it again. <laughs> Can you pick up the phone? If you want to grab these, you're going to need to pick up the phone um, and speak to, um, uh, speak to our contact centre. So um, it's a free phone telephone number. <clears throat> yeah, I can see people checking out. Okay, well, if you have, if you can check out, then stay where you are. If you can, if you're having any issues, then again, speak to our contact centre um, or maybe via the app. What does she do? Oh, really? Um, Ollie's just said, I keep crashing the JM's website, um, and apparently that's what Kim Kardashian does, does she? Not the JM one. Oh, she crashes the internet with her bottom, apparently. Oh, that one. Yes, 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 I do know. I do know, I do know. I don't know, I do, uh, yeah. The Kardashians, eh? <laughs> Isn't the youngest the richest one now as well? She's a billionaire or something crazy like that. Nor me, nor me. 
25 pounds we've matched that price jewelry makers for me these are your arrow cubes should we call it that should we call it that so your arrow cubes you get the lovely arrow shape but you also get that cubic shape they're just beautiful and i can't get my head around even how you draw it let alone faster to a gemstone it's Amazing. my favorite if i'm allowed to even have a favorite i don't know i say that they are they they, they are gorgeous tom says i'm your favorite l Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look, I don't think there's an issue on the web. There's loads of people there. Um, it just might be a little bit busy right now. So, yeah, just keep persevering. If you do find you're having issues, then speak to our call centre as well. I can see you all there anyway. Christine, Barbara, Carol, Kat, Linda, Ruth, Helen, Pamela, Penny, Anne, <laughs> Eileen, sorry, Diane, uh, Cambridgeshire, Justine, Grace, Brenda, Sandra, Leslie, Barry, hello to you, Vera, Alexandra, new customer. Woohoo! Welcome to the wonderful, wonderful world of Jewelry Maker. We are very unique. We're a live shopping channel, um, but ultimately, in my opinion we are um, we're an inspirational channel yes we can bring you the beautiful gemstones and all of the wonderful components but our guest designers will give you all the know-how and all the knowledge that you need to start this wonderful journey I love hearing from the fact that so many of our jewelry maker customers and we're doing all these lovely recordings now of our customers who have turned a hobby into an actual business you know how amazing is that um, so join in join in the family just to go back to sort of the discussion about what hematite actually is as a gemstone um, I, did, I, I have my trusty book. I, I carry this book pretty much wherever I go. Um, I did buy you one, yes. Yay. I bought Michael one so that, you know, just because it means that you've got it there. If ever you need to refresh anything, you've got that information there. Um, and uh, you find certain snippets and then you might not be able to find that again. Um, so this is a gemstone which actually, um, some of the earliest of writing in human history actually used hematite. And that's because prior to the actual cutting and the polishing, it actually looks like a red chalk as a gemstone. Um, so the first use of hematite is, is estimated to have been a around 164,000 years ago. I mean, that's crazy, isn't it? It's a long, long, long time ago. Um, found in lots of different locations around the world, but some of the most significant, or the most significant three, um, many people would agree, are actually Brazil, the Minas Gerais location in Brazil, Cumbria in England, so one of the few gemstones that actually, um, that we actually uh, offer you here um, in the UK, and also Italy, actually Italy as well. So a beautiful, beautiful gemstone that has got such a high luster, almost like a mirror-like luster across the surface, of them as well. Verona, Victoria, Jean, Wendy, Joanne, Darlene, Karina, Carol Ann, Rosemary, Christine. It's so lovely to be with you. New customers that have it in your basket and haven't checked out. I can see you there. Do you know why? Because it says a B and then it's blank. I haven't got your name next to it as yet. That's because we don't know yet. That's the only reason. If you give us your, um, your, your permission, then I'll be able to say hello to you as well on air. Um, but make sure you check out your basket because I only have a hundred. I only had a hundred across each of these. Do you know I love that image, Ollie? I think that's so beautiful. So, and I, we saw, I saw Carol's picture of you taking the recordings yesterday. Yeah, it's a beautiful image. And that's literally just within a light box. It just turning around so you can see all that constant, ooh. When you zone out, yeah. ooh, oh, ooh, and then you zone in. You've got what? A special auction? Oh, yeah. What? Time that. What? Just try it. Hmm? Start it. Start what? Start what? Happy birthday to oh. you. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Happy birthday, dear Bob. Oh. Happy birthday to you. It's a bit late. It's a little late. That's from all of us. Mwah. Oh. You, you really... <laughs> you go. Barker. 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 You, go. you really shouldn't have. How sweet. How very sweet. Goodbye, diet as well. Nyan, 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 nyan. Wow. Oh, chocolate cake. Sorry, I'm pinching that bit. It's poisonous. Mm, naughty. That bit was poisonous. Oh. So you don't like that bit. <laughs> Thank you, boys. It's a bit late, but we haven't, we haven't all seen you together, have we? Sir? No, but you didn't. You really shouldn't have. <laughs> Ollie just said you chose the other crew to spend your birthday yeah. with. It's not about choosing. You know, um, shall I cut it so yeah. that everybody can have a piece of cake? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do oh, it. Oh, 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 o
Oh, this looks a really naughty cake as well, it doesn't looks it? Very really healthy. healthy. Oh, I love it. The naughty. If you're gonna do it, do it properly. I say. <laughs> you know. Naughty I might as well. Oh, I might as well get this bit of chocolate and stick it right there. No, this is good. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Well, I was not expecting that. Right. Bless you. Expecting what am I doing that? with the blue roll? I'll put it on the blue roll. Yeah. What am I? I thought you were cutting. Cut it. Oh, off. you want me to cut it all? Oh no, 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 no. no. We'll, we'll cut it. We'll, <laughs> we'll cut it for you. Mark, that's, we'll cut it for you. There we go. Careful of the knife. Know, what then happens is, like you know, that the maitre d takes it away and cuts it for the rest of the party. Oh, yes. Okay. There you go. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, you guys are the cutest. I loves you. It's so cute. Aww. Even though I can't feel my one toe. <laughs> what would you like for your birthday? I'm feeling back in my toe. <laughs> Are you still really good? No, open I'm teasing. Card, card. You want me to open the cards? Open the Barker card, okay. Or, or, okay. What is this? There? Okay. Uh, seriously? You really, really shouldn't have. They're so kind. I can't show you this, I know, but they've they've got a very nice hotel. That's so lovely of you. A really lovely hotel. Um, a gift voucher. So, oh, they do some really good food. It's the it's a hotel that I recommended for you, Tom, to take. Um, your lovely girlfriend, who said he got slightly sozzled on um, cocktails and things. Thank you. Oh, I'm actually, I'm actually quite emotional. Oh, I'm not surprised. I'm I, mean, a I, was so, I really was not expecting anything. Well, they're so sweet, aren't I'm they? Misty. Yeah, properly so. Yeah. Happy birthday, happy birthday, Elle. Hope you had an awesome day from Ollie. Love you, Elle. Happy birthday from Aww. Michael. Have the best day, love, Neary. Um, what's that say, Tom? Have a great day, it says, Tom. <laughs> Barker! <laughs> you guys are the sweetest. I love you to bits. I love you to bits. Aww. <sighs> Set me off. Honestly. The soft touch as it is. Ah, oh, see, I'm such a luck. We're, we're so lucky here at Joy Maker because genuinely, yeah, okay, this is classed as work, but it never feels like work. Not when you have such lovely people around you. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you so much. Th thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. Shall we do some, because we thought alongside, well this is actually Tom's brainchild, um, <laughs> no message from Tom, just Tom, and some balloons, he did draw some balloons, did draw balloons next to it, um, so we thought on the back of your hematite that stretchies might work, so how about a big bundle of elastic? Oh, not a band individually. We're doing it individually, I beg your pardon. So we're going to do the... We have what size? Because there's two different sizes, right, okay. There we are. We're going to start with the one millimetre. So this would breeze through all of your hematite drill holes. Absolutely breeze through. So you've got that crystal clear colour. So for me, I would use this maybe with the silvers and the rainbow coloured hematite, just because it will disappear within. Um, hi, Karen. It's my birthday next week. Anyone fancy joining me for, uh, for a curry? Happy hey. birthday. I'm there. I love a curry. Yeah. What curry, though, would you go for, Karen? Would you go for, like, a really hot one? Karina Cobra. Karina oh, no. Cobra beer, yes. It's got to be done, isn't it? Oh. And you can't do... See, I can't do the half pints if you're in a curry house. It has to be a full pint. I know. Yeah. Like that. It's just given. Given. <laughs> that and... That... That... Oh, and Pashwari oh, oh. Nam. Mm. Maria's replied about the hematite, everybody. She is on it. She's... Woo! She's going to look at different colours and also maybe uh, maybe bringing you a one metre strand. Um, so how amazing would that be? Karen, oh, happy birthday for next week, lovely. Happy birthday, Elle. We love you. Ah, oh, I love you too, Sylvia. Thank you so much. You're very Aww. sweet. Um, it's not my birthday today. It was last week. But these guys, obviously, I was with a different shift side. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, thank you. I tell you what, I feel very spoiled. I feel more spoiled by the JM family than I have my actual family. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> I love them all the same. Um, so, you couldn't find enough candles for the cake. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, he went there, didn't he? He went there. Yeah, he had to be to fair. He had to yeah. go on in there. Hey, listen. Hey, listen, Tom. How old are you? 33. Well, okay. He's still but a babe, I guess. 
You can't remember. Can you not remember your age? He's just asked Ollie how old he is. He can't remember. That's a, that's that's worrying. That's worrying. He's 32, so he's added years to himself already. Anyway, 6.95, 25 metres you're getting here. It will breeze through all of the drill holes in there as well. Thank you for your kind message. You're so sweet. Um, I can't wait. I, I've got the taste of that chocolate in my mouth now. That kettle, oh, that chocolate is good. Oh, it's really, God. really, really good. Um, but these are essentials to anybody's sash, aren't they? We do need our elastics, um, you know, with even the base. The, yes, okay, a stretchy is probably classed as the most basic of piece of jewelry that you can create. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. Nothing wrong with that at all. Um, okay, moving on. Uh, let's do the other one mil then. Oh, no, the point eight in black. Let's do that. Point eight in black. So... For the darker oh. colours, it just makes sense. Would you would you be inclined, Kleshna, to stick with the sort of colours that coordinate with the well, gemstones? If you can lay your hands on the colours that coordinate. Most of the time, we don't always have that in stock. So I would say, wow, go for it now. Grab it whilst you Grab can. Grab it whilst you can. Grab mate. it whilst you can. I tell you what, everybody, just to give you a little sneaky peek, in the next hour, we've got some more kits, but I can see what Kleshna is doing with that big rose quartz. It is amazing, yeah, so another Ooh. big star buy. Um, so you're getting five metres um, of your black elasticity stretch cord. Sorry, I'm still thinking of that video, Michael. <laughs> it's, it's pretty <laughs> funny. You handled it very gracefully. <laughs> well, not really, did I? All you did was go, no, 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 he just carries on, though. He, was he was completely oblivious to the fact that I practically fell on the floor. <laughs> 5 95 only, everybody. Oh, you're going lower. Naughty. Um, again, uh, this might seem really obvious, but not everybody knows how to knot um, elastic. This is what we call a surgeon's knot. You can just do an overhand knot and maybe just make sure you secure it with a little bit of your... Um, we recommend nail varnish as opposed to glue because certain glues will actually eat into the elastic itself. So, yeah, there's a little picture there um, produced by, uh, by Beadle On. Personally, I just do a knot, double knot. Double knot and then a little bit of your nail varnish. A little bit of clear nail varnish and maybe just cover it with a crimp bead. That's simple. 3.95. But if you if you're like me, you make lots of stretchy bracelets. I mean, you can go and take lots and lots of time to make um, beautiful creations, sea bead creations like like our lovely Kleshner. Um, but sometimes it's nice, easy to just have that quick fix, isn't it? That quick fix. Well done. Hello to Berkshire, Georgina. Hello to Sarah, Sue, Anita, Dawn, Sally, Cambridge, Debbie, Kathleen. Hello to Margaret, Jennifer. Nice to be with you as well in that beautiful black colour. And yes, if anyone is wondering. Um, it will go through the drill holes of all of your hematite because that's why, that's why I doubled over the strand very, very easily it will go through there. In fact, look at this bracelet again that was made by our in-house designers, and you'll see that's quite a thick cord, isn't it? Um, so if the cord will go through, and I think that's 0.9, that will breeze through. Easy peasy. Squeezy lemons, as the advert says. Um, okay, let's do the point. They're both the same, aren't they? Yeah, they're both the same. Yeah, so, oh no, 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 beg your pardon. One's 25 metres, one's five metres. So which, let's do the 25. So this is the 0.5, so it's a finer. Um, it's really worthwhile, and this might sound so obvious, but it's really worthwhile having the different gauges because not every gemstone will have the same drill hole. Does that make sense? Yes. Hi, Lynn and JP. Happy belated birthday. I hope you got your uh, foot x-rayed, um, and I hope it isn't too sore. Um, uh, Lynn, it's fine. It's really, really fine. I was just being dramatic. I'm very light-footed. Honestly, it's like a feather, like a little ballerina is our Michael, like a ballerina. <laughs> no, it's all good, it's all good, thankfully. I do have quite robust robust toes, but that's a whole other conversation there, Liv. It's probably my foot hurt. <laughs> yeah, it's probably Michael's foot that's actually needs x-ray in. Um, anyway, back to 25 metres of your lovely elasticity. Didn't you know that my nickname in school was actually Sumo Toe? Yeah. I'm not actually yeah. joking. I'm not actually joking, that was my nickname in, in school. <laughs> Hello. It's, it's, I love that nickname too. Uh, 
<laughs> this is your 0.5, so it will go through even some of your finest of gemstones as well. I'm not just talking about the hematite because it will breeze through those easy peasy. But if you've got maybe three mil gemstones in your stash, some of the opals and pearls will have much smaller drill holes, so um, they tend to need um, you know a finer gauge of your elastic. You're getting 25 meters, so you you do the maths. If every stretchy bracelet's about sort of set between seven and eight inches, you're going to get quite a lot out of that out of that length. Six ninety five, everybody. Six pounds ninety five. Um, so I mean, and, and it's it's a premium bro uh, product. We do our own elastic here at Jewelry Maker, and it is fabulous. I use that all the time. Um, but we also outsource as well to places like Beadalon because they actually produce colours like this. Um, so uh, twenty five meters is nine hundred and seventy five inches. About seven, say seven and a half inches. So that's 139 bracelets that you can get out of, out of this one reel. 139 bracelets. That's unreal. <clears throat> unreal. Oh, Excuse me. Ready? Give it a... Wait, oh, oh, wait. I'm, lo I'm looking to the right one. What was that one? I don't know actually, that was a mixture of more I than one. I haven't heard from your um, your little box. sound box for a while actually. I know, I know, I try to limit it, you know. It's, 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 it's been a while. It has. <laughs> A very good morning to you all, Sandra, Jenna, Verona, Barbara, Marilyn, Helen, Carolyn, Rosemary, North Yorkshire, Gillian, Cambridgeshire, Poppy, nice to be with you, Kathleen and Asia, nice to have your company as well. Oh, I've had fun this morning. This, fun, this morning's been so much fun and we've got so much more still to come. Woo the Rose Quartz Big Cabochon, enormous, it's about that size. Aquamarine as well, look at this, beautiful brand new strand of aquamarine. Yeah. <clears throat> that you could use alongside, or, oh, beautiful actually, alongside your hematite. So there it is. That's still to come. I mean, they're big pendants in their own right, aren't they? Um, <clears throat> plus more, we've got a gorgeous kit to bring you as well in the 12 o'clock hour. And what, make, what, what, what could be better than the fact now that we have cake? We have cake. See, there we go. There we go. Uh, we'll have cake in the break, shall we? Cake in the break. <clears throat> cake in the break. Cake in the break. Cake in the break. Okay. Box four. What's in number four? Ooh. It is half drilled. Tweezers, tweezers, tweezers. And then the book. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> so this is a half drilled. I'm not going to be able to. Message for you, Michael. Uh, that pun was stretching it, Michael. Yes, he's back at me, stretching it. Oy, oy, oy. Have you got like a pun table tennis going on? Yeah? What are you thinking now? He's trying to think of something and he can't come up with anything. I've got one, we speak to a bit now. No, 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 you <coughs> can't do naughty. Yeah, you can't do naughty oh, ones. Naughty, bit naff. <laughs> a bit naff, he yeah. says. Um, so this is a beautiful, genuine, natural, metallic, cultured pearl. Half drilled, so what that basically means is fairly obvious, but the drill hole only goes into the one side of the gemstone. So if you were to just literally glue this into a head pin, then you're not spoiling and you haven't got the drill hole on the underside. Look at the amount of colours that you're seeing here within this beautiful, genuine cultured pearl. Look at that. Iridescence and then some. Um, I know I say it every single time, but, but what I feel like I'm almost duty bound to but from a harvest of pearls um, of a harvest of 10,000 less than 10 <coughs> excuse me um, will actually be naturally metallic so very very rare and yet we bring it to you in a single figure price tag I encourage you to look online and see sort of you know this quality this size and find out you know discover what prices that other jewelers do actually sell it for and I am talking about finished pieces of jewelry granted but um, <coughs> that should hopefully then highlight if you if you're new to the pearl world highlight just how considered metallic pearls actually are I do personally put them in the same uh, sort of league as your Tahitian, um, your South Sea, your Akoya pearls, personally, because they are so rare. So, you know, 10,000, 10 of those, less than 10 of those will actually have this natural metallic colour. And it comes actually from from the mollusk itself, um, <clears throat> if you were to look inside a, 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 um, an actual mollusk, the colours of the interior of the shell will be what you see within your actual pearls itself. Right, moving on to... I thought you said that, but there's nothing in five. <clears throat> Watch it. 
some central drill pearls. Okay. Oh, ooh. ooh, they're a bit ooh, lush, I aren't love they? Those. They are just a bit lush. Those are rather fabby doos. Um, and look at how many you're going to get. It's still a 38 centimetre strand. They've not been spaced out. They are literally next to one another. And um, again, we're looking at the narrowest part. So imagine when you do come to cut the strand, the amount of iridescence that you're going to see across the surface. These are genuine pearls. Most people um, who, who, again, are maybe quite new to gemstones and pearls, might be thinking that these are synthetic um, or sort of reconstituted in that lovely kind of disc shape. No, that's how the mollusk has actually produced them. Um, now, granted, we can almost we can almost um, influence that mollusk to, to to form certain shapes. So we, I know we've had here at Jewelry Maker crosses before. Um, we've had crescent shapes as well, and that comes from the actual bead that we insert into the mollusk itself. Should be sixty-one pounds and ninety-five pence. That's where we should be. Um, but we're not going to stop there today. We're going lower. Use this with the hematite. I think they'd be lovely with the hematite, oh, don't beautiful. you? Again, that iridescence, that high luster. Thirty-seven pounds and ninety-five pence only. Gosh, that's amazing. It's been fun today. Really, what really, a lot really of fun. Yeah, we had, we've eh? been spoiled actually with lots what of choice. very high end treasures. I mean, those just pop one of your head pins from the sterling silver findings pack that we had earlier on, a little bit of specialist jewelry making glue, pop it through the center. Um, literally glue it, cut a bit of the length off. There's a pair of lovely pearl stud earrings. How simple is that? How simple would that be? And they really would be wow stud earrings. How many could you make? Multiple times over, I think, to, of those uh, from that finding packs. We had six, didn't we? So there you go, six stud earrings and six drop earrings too. Stay where you are, everyone. Oh, I have my eye on that. Where is it gone? Where is it gone? Where is it gone? Kunzite strand, lovely. Now I'm gonna go to the hematite, I think. And I'm gonna maybe mix it up a little bit. And go for something like this, what do you reckon? Do you like that? Uh, just because I think hematite can be a very feminine gemstone. But when you put something like this, it again it takes it to that cool aspect, doesn't it? Yep. Something a little bit more fashion forward. Beautiful kunzite. It's a gemstone that um is actually relatively new to the gemstone world. It's got a high phosphorus con uh, content, so it can actually glow. It actually glows uh, <coughs> in certain uh, in certain lighting. Um, it's not sort of your more how do I word this? It's not a candy floss pink. It, it's a mixture, really. It's more like a, um, a pinky purple colour, which I just absolutely adore. Now you can get eye clean kunzite, of course. It, a lot more expensive, but much like the Morganite that we offer you here at Jewelry Maker, as long as you maintain that saturation, it's still beautiful. It really, really is beautiful. In fact, if you speak, if you spoke to gemologist Marie, um, she would tell you she prefers it in an opaque variety because it they've got more goings on, more interest, I suppose, within the gemstone. 300 carats of natural kunzite here, um, so most kunzite will have undergone a little bit of heat treatment treatment to encourage those colours forward. It wasn't needed. Now I should be bringing it to you at. The 34.95. Love this. Love this. It's a very gentle, very feminine um, opportunity. One that you can literally just, you know, you could wear all the time. I mean, it's a very high-end gemstone. That's an amazing deal. Do you remember the days when kunzite would be much, 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 much more considered than that? I mean, I'm not saying you didn't ever get deals because, of course, you you did. And I'm not saying that, you know. Um, well, I don't want to make that comparison, but it was always more considered, wasn't it? It was one of those gemstones that certainly I have in my mind um, that it has that higher price tag. That might possibly be as well a little bit of the fact that I used to sell it in jewellery um, and they always were expensive and it was always that, oh my goodness, you know, it's kunzite, it's natural kunzite, that, kunzite, that was a really, really big thing. So straight away you would actually have a higher price tag. That might be sort of where I'm thinking here. But what about a long alongside your next star buy. It's, this is coming up in um, about 20 minutes time. So that is gorgeous aquamarine. I love that combination, don't you? The lovely pinks and blues. Um, so stay tuned for that, everybody. Moving on. 
Uh, moving on to 16. Oh, what's this? Yeah, but I've never seen this. It's called what? Seam agate. I've got no idea what a seam agate is. But we've got it. I'd have to do some homework on this one. I've never heard of it before. A slice of the seam, do you think, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It's Moroccan agate, I don't know. Um, do you know what, there are thousands of different variations of lots of different gemstones. <laughs> We're always going to be learning. Um, they're fabulous. and I mean, these, I've just literally put four onto the back of my hand, but I've got another four in front, of, um, in front of me. Now, you might get more, you might get less. So this is natural, and it's almost got that warmth of Morocco. Um, so if you've ever been to that location, yes, it's the heat that you get from that location that you can almost see within the gemstone now, can't you? Um, I've got to be honest, and, and I would rather be honest and just say I know very little about seam agate. There are different types of agate much like you find within your jasper um, <clears throat> but yeah I don't know a great deal about it I reckon who launched this Xena but then but, but then let's use that um, let's flip that on its head the fact that none of us know anything about this would uh, would indicate to me that the fact that we've never sold it possibly um, before well I haven't I definitely haven't um, but it will be my homework it'll be my homework for tonight I think do you know about it? Oh, I thought Michael was about to say, I know. Oh, no. <laughs> I know all about it. In which case, I was like, come on, Michael, yeah. come and tell us more. Genuinely, I don't. So it's beautiful, though. You get these really lovely, rich, intense, um, intense, intense reds. 24.95 only. in these beautiful patterns and textures um, across the actual agate itself. They are stunning, aren't they? $14.95, so for your prong setting, you've got a prong setting day planned on Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. Um, so with Claire McDonald, they'd be lovely. You could use these in your bead bezeling, you see with all of your uh, backing foundation, your shibori silk. Um, you, there's nothing stopping you just gluing these onto maybe like a um, uh, some kind of finding if you'd wish. Lots of ways of working with them. They are quite shallow and slender, aren't they? So these are some of the most intense colours we do. In yeah, I've never seen anything like this at all. But those reds are so like so vivid, aren't they? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm just gonna just hold the one. Yeah, look, you can. Really, really beautiful. Yeah. It's like molten lava, isn't it? That sort of. And you get that transparency too, don't you? There's areas where there's trans. Can you see just here? There's actually transparency through the gemstone itself. They are absolutely amazing. Little, oops, little worlds within a gemstone. Oh, let's. They are almost Jasper-like, aren't they? Hang on, let's get another one. Fourteen ninety-five for all of these. You've just got a warmth to them, like a dinosaur face. Yeah. Hello. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is that his bottom jaw? Yeah, bottom jaw, yeah. Like a T-Rex? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, it does look like a dinosaur. So or Willow, a devil. Willow said to me yesterday, I was, um, I was like, right, Willow, what do you want to dress up for Halloween? Because they all dress up at her nursery. She went, hmm. Hmm. She thought long and hard, and then she went, Mummy, I want to be a dinosaur bunny. <laughs> dinosaur bunny? <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> What, a dinosaur or a bunny? No, a dinosaur bunny. So I said, what, so you want to be a T-Rex? And she went, yeah, with bunny ears. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's what I've got to make. Amazing. A dinosaur bunny. So if you can find a com uh, your costume for that, that would be Type great. It in, type, it in, type it in. If you found a dinosaur bunny. Elle would pay anything yeah, for a dinosaur let me know, bunny. Let me know what came up onto your screens. So I've got a funny feeling that it isn't broadcastable. Um, okay, okay. Uh, what number? 
And let's do... There's nothing in nine. Nothing. How light, how light, how... No. Oh, I've got that. Okay. A dinosaur bunny. It literally is a dinosaur bunny. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, okay, I haven't got it. Have we got a picture? Oh, no. Yay. Right, we're going to have to scooch that one off then. Just pushing the graphics off. <laughs> That's good, did not it? That did work. Um, okay. Can I do... What, pardon? Yes. I actually bought this the first when we first launched it. I love it. Um, it's a large pebble of genuine lapis lazuli. And this literally is just on, um, on my mantelpiece. It's just a nice, beautiful object to have. And I think that was the conversation that we had quite a lot when Alex was with us on, um, on Tuesday, was the fact that... Um, did you manage to get your bowls, by the way, Ollie? Because I learned something about you on that morning, mm -hmm. that Ollie collects bowls. I did not know that. I didn't know that either. I didn't know that, yeah. So did you miss out? Yeah, lots of people did miss out on it. <clears throat> all bowls, just all bowls he collects. Yeah, lovely. Um, but nice oh. objects, uh, nice objects to have sort of in and around your home, if you like, just on your coffee table. Um, so this is natural. It is genuine. Um, lapis lazuli, so you get those lovely dustings of pyrite inclusions within. 380 carats you're getting in total here. Yeah, I've actually got this at home, and I love it. And it's quite a tactile object. You know, um, lots of the gemstones, <coughs> like lapis lazuli, for example, have are often shaped into sort of what, what we call pyrite palm stones or thumb stones so if you do find that you're a tactile person and maybe you get a little bit anxious from time to time then certain I can't say this is medically proven because obviously it's not but um, it can be quite soothing I believe to um, to sort of hold and have the presence of the gemstone within you um, so have this myself uh, there's only a few of these left within the stock we had this and I think we had it in soda light and we also had it in a, in, in a labyrinth as well um, I think they've all but gone 20 $29.95 only for this beautiful electric blue. Well done to those of you. And it's just, I mean, look at that. It's just a really nice object. You know, you could spend, you could spend, <laughs> you could spend fortunes on things like paperweights, you know, the crystal heavy ones. Yeah, I know which I prefer. I'd rather mother, one of Mother Nature's uh, natural paperweights. I almost said featherweights there. Oh paperweights you know just to have on the desk or sort of on the mantelpiece as well 14.95 now i'm pretty sure my memory isn't great but i'm fairly sure i paid i i bought this for more than what's on your screens right now yeah yeah tom is confirming right now so fabulous Ooh. you're really getting a deal hello to you marie hello to you sorry hello to you ian nice little gift for the person that's got everything you know you might be thinking i don't know i don't know what to get to that person for a present maybe for their birthday or christmas get something that's completely i out love there. that i think it's fabulous it actually. is isn't it it's, a, it's, it's just a really nice object it's and it, like fits in yeah, your hand it, it, I think there must be something very comfy, comforting, really, yeah. isn't there? Yes. Well, I mentioned to um, to Alex, I was saying, you know what? I'm not one of those, and I know there is definitely loads of people, I have to be really careful on there, but lots of people do really believe in the myths and the legends um, and the powers that gem certain gemstones will uh, may have. Um, we have to be quite cautious here because it's not medically proven, for example. However, do you know one of the things that I actually said on, on Tuesday is that I picked up a few of the gemstones like this and I could actually feel the energy almost like the tips of my fingers actually began to tingle. You know, you can almost feel that energy within. <laughs> Send it in again. I don't think you meant, meant to do that. Send it in again. D did you see, guys, last night that um, head of TV Chloe Jones, whose birthday it is today, um, she actually put, I think she was trying to tag Marie with my presenter's page, but instead she did that really awkward thing of when you just post someone's name. 
um, instead of searching for it, you just post someone's name. <laughs> so it kind of looks like you'd be, she, she'd been stalking me a little bit. So I was like, I put the question mark, and she was like, oh, oh. So yeah, 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 Chloe. Just posted my name on her Facebook page. It was quite funny. Um, happy birthday, Chloe, if you're watching right now. Happy birthday to you. We've got cake. I, I'm sure she's got lots of cake too. Um, okay, moving on. 14. Lovely. Oh, I like this strand clash and look at this. <gasps> oh, pretty. Oh, it's like lots of lovely coffee, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. I mentioned Mukai earlier on. Of course, it comes oh. from only Australia. Mooka um, Creek? Yeah, from the Mooka Creek, absolutely. You get these really lovely, natural, warm colours. I mean, if you were to picture the outback, yeah. This is how I would imagine it in terms of colour palettes. I agree with you absolutely wholeheartedly. It is that palette, isn't it, that you can it, imagine? It is, that, and warmth and sunshine and rocks with sort of sandy outcrops on them. Oh, lovely. Love it, love it, love it. Ten centimetre strand, not them in between macrame them. It's very much a, um, a, a unisex gemstone strand as well. Up to nine by six millimetres look lovely with your um, with your let me choose one. What do we think? I'm going to go with this, actually. What do we think? As a oh, combination? Very pretty. Ooh. Yeah. Like, maybe alongside. They're all working, aren't they? And they'll work with every single gemstone that I bring to the back of my hand. You have in 10 minutes' time that gorgeous aquamarine strand. £8.95. Pop them in between your lovely pearls also. Single figure price tag. I tell you what, we've done a lot of deals today. Big deals. And I forget one of our customers messaged in earlier on saying amazing deals this morning. There really, really is. Australian mookite comes from that one location. Um, and you get these really beautiful warm colours. So lovely ochre colours, quite rich, warm burgundies as well. Uh, <clears throat> Every single mookite will be completely unique because they have got their, their own kind of pattern, their own kind of journey um, to show. Use them as little solitaires. Can I also, if I may, coming up on Saturday, I've got the lovely guest designer, Jan, who has the pearl drill tips on Saturday Ooh. and the only reason I mention that is because one of the things that she does with a rondelle or this kind of button shape is she'll use one as a solitaire use the drill hole you don't have to use the drill hole but you can drill that and encourage it to be slightly larger to set another gemstone within using your Dremel dr drill tips um, do you need my Dremel by the way Michael because oh, no, oh, no, it's, all it's all finished. Yeah, it's all finished. Yeah. Yeah. I was because he's doing his he's doing his his um, tiling, and I said you could be welcome to yeah, use it. Yeah, it. It's all it's all. Uh, it's all done. Heat. Good. I wish ours was. Oh. Yeah. Wish ours was. Never mind. Never mind. I should do it myself. I think if I've got the Dremel tool, would it be easier? Probably would. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Moving on. Don't stop. That is a habit, though. What? Well. Finishing off yourself, thinking, oh, for goodness sake, I'll do it myself. No, not a good idea. You let him do it before you're done. Yeah, but then it doesn't get finished. That's fine. It actually doesn't get finished. Oh, you're all, uh, see, it drives me crazy because I have got a little bit of OCD. Yeah, about... I know, I know, and they guarantee, you know, oh, that it they drives rely me on nuts. that a lot so of these thing. boys. I put, a, I put a window ceiling yesterday. Fair play, you're very DIY, aren't you? That's very good, Michael. Um, anyway, let's show you this gorgeous star dioxide. I, mean, I am impressed. So star dioxide, um, it, it, dioxide is a gemstone which comes uh, from different locations but in different colours, so you've heard of uh, green dioxide, etc. But tiny mica platelets, much like we had, again on Tuesday, we had that lovely golden sheen, sapphire. Tiny, tiny platelets within the gemstone. Um, will give you this optical effect. So here in the studio we've got like hundreds of light sources so it's it's kind of giving you multiple stars if that makes sense. Um, but that is the optical effect that you get from one light source so, and, and you'll get like a complete four prong star. So let me just hold one. Um, I wonder, can I borrow your phone a second? Yeah, if I just hold one, because then you can see that beautiful asterism and it will literally stretch the entire length and width of the, thank you darling, the, the actual entire um, length and width of the gemstone itself. I'm just holding one, but this will, the same will occur, there we go, 
across the entire strand. So you won't need to do the, the, the holding the phone um, because at, you won't be in a studio, basically. When you are in a, a situation where there is one light source, like, you know, like the... the the, root, the light within your bedroom or um, lounge or office um, or maybe outside where you just have that one source sunlight. You'll get this beautiful asterism across every single one of those amazing, amazing gemstones. We're going lower. It's natural. Did you know that in India, actually, they actually, um, they've got, they hold star dioxide with as much regard as some of the highest and rarest of gemstones. So a little bit like your, your, um, your diamonds, for example, they really, really value this quite high highly so amazing that we can offer it to you at under 20 pounds only 85 carats you're getting here um, and one for the collectors and connoisseurs most definitely really beautiful alongside your um, hematite but also absolutely amazing alongside your aquamarine i love 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 that combination don't you very geometric shapes. I think we're running out of time within this hour, but do not go anywhere because this aquamarine is coming up immediately after the break. We've also got gorgeous kits and also that absolutely stunning statement rose quartz. Um, so demos coming your way with the lovely Kleshner. Oh, that is beautiful. I can't wait to show you. We shall return after this. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easy to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. 
Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers. How are we all in a very good afternoon? So, oh, lovely Kleshner. Hello. So I almost feel like I've been ignoring you today, and I really no, don't intend to. Had so many wonderful it's things. Been, it's been well, hematite galore. Hematite heaven. Yeah. And I, I'm absolutely I've been quiet because I've been a, a gog. All a gog, all a gog. You've got your cake now. I know, it's and I've had the cake. cake. Oh, it's good. It was really oh, good cake. cake. Lovely, chalky fudge sort of topping on it, too. Um, okay, yeah. now, kits, beautiful jewellery, but before we do that, we're going to do our star buy? Yes, it is, oh no, I've left it over there. Um, it is oh, oh, aquamarine time, rescue. sorry, my goal. Um, this is a brand new premiere strand, so oh. never been on your screens before. Um, now we describe, and personally I'm not a big fan of the, the description, um, I would rather just call it aquamarine, because aquamarine comes, you can get, clarity but you can get clarity with lack of color um, or you can get aquamarine which has got more of an opaque appearance but it's got that definite aquamarine color personally i would prefer the latter um, so and they kind of tell their own little journey so you'll often find that with your more opaque uh, aquamarines they have that greater sort of saturation i suppose but this is brand new color Oh, sorry, brand new strand, um, and these really beautiful geometric cuts. So this is where the first thing that my mind leans towards when I see a strand like this is the lapidus has actually taken aquamarine rough and been able to facet it um, by their own beauty without being dictated to, if you like, saying, well, you must be an oval, you must be an uh, round, you must be <clears throat> an emerald cut, for example. They've been allowed to actually create their own sort of shapes and sizes at what makes them look the most stunning. Um, these are natural, and you're getting 60 carats across uh, across the entire strand. Now that make might be six, which is obviously 10 carats each. It might get be on average, I should mention. It might be slightly more, it might be slightly less, but we do guarantee that exact carat weight. So, 27 millimeters in their size by 40 millimeters, but that might be sort of slightly uh, fl Ooh. slightly fluctuating because you're getting that mixture um, <clears throat> of non sort of regulatory shapes and sizes. Asymmetric. You yes, faceting. love that. Yeah, beautiful. Asymmetric faceting. But I think, and I look at these and I think about your gallery wire, if any of you has gallery wire within your stash, because you've got those flat sides, it's going to work perfectly with gallery wire. So make sure you tune in this Tuesday, for those of you that don't, on the morning show, this Tuesday, we might have a few little uh, little opportunities. Um, okay, so for a brand new strand, 60, not 6, even though that would be a, probably be amazing to be truthful. 60 carats of genuine aquamarine, not synthetic aquamarine, not an aquamarine colored gemstone, genuine aquamarine, all the way from Brazil, which many people will actually class as the, um, the finest location. It's not very, not very often that Tom manages to shut me up, but he just did. Kleshner. Mm -hmm. See that forty nine ninety five price tag? Yes, that's good. We're going to take £35 off it. <laughs> wow. 30? You're joking. You said what? 
Oh, my God, don't do that to me, Tom. I thought I'd said the wrong amount then. Oh, I thought I'd said the wrong amount then for a second. And he was like, oh, oh he went all squeaky on me. I was like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. I was right to say that, wasn't I? But yes, I was. £35 is coming off that price tag. I know, no I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Sorry, I'm counting on my fingers and thinking, did I hear that right, too? But how are we under £15? What, for Aquamarine? Is that right? I know, listen, my whole world has been consumed by hematite between the moment I woke up up until uh, now. And um, now? It's and now I'm by. like literally thinking, what on earth? And at no point did I actually check the price of this strand during my preparation. I'm being completely honest. Um, however, I would never, ever, ever have thought it would have been anywhere near this price tag. Never would I have thought. Fifteen pounds, fourteen ninety-five, even. And this is natural Brazilian aquamarine. How many do we have of these? There are se oh, okay, yeah, seventy-one. So, um, yeah, that quantity is not enough. It's not enough. But then let's not be um, let's not be too complacent here. Um, the, look at the size of the aquamarine. Look at the beautiful quality and that richness of saturation. Yes, they've got internal characteristics. Yes, they've got um, an opaqueness to them. But that actually, many people actually prefer with aquamarine. It's one of those gemstones that. Certain people like the eye clean clarity, and some people actually prefer um, the story that each of these tell and the fact that they tend to hold on to a much deeper saturation. I know that gemologist Marie would say exactly that if she was here right now in the studio. Hello, Pauline. Hello to West Lothian. Hello to Karen. Hello to Cheryl. Hello to Helena. Ma uh, Madeline has just bought four of these. Well done. Uh, Pauline's just multi-bought as well. Congratulations. Sally in the Isle of Wight. Joe, you're there too. I don't blame you for multi-buying because you could just literally pop one on a sterling silver chain. So, yeah. Michael, did you say you had a, st a chain in your mystery box? Yeah, a, a few days ago. A few days ago. Yeah. So pop one of these on, on Michael's mystery box chain. A speaker yeah. chain. A course. speaker chain. Yeah. Wow. wow. Um, beautiful. And all it would take is a little bit of wire or a head pin or um, feather weight that we had earlier on this morning as well. You've just made yourself, in my opinion, like a triple figure piece of jewellery, to be truthful. For that quality and that size of aquamarine, um, amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, also, earlier on this morning, morning if you were with me we did set this lovely lady and she's been very quiet today actually well, it, it, I think Tom just wanted me to be quiet and you know if he sends me a challenge I just I just concentrate on it so you've there been you busy I'm just going to away. put the needle back here so you don't hurt yourself on the needle <gasps> and I'm going to give you it that way up possibly and this is what you have created I've made it a little so this is a rose quartz cabochon which Kleshna very cleverly as we speak as we've been chatting this morning it's very cleverly framed in a seed bead bezel a, a seed bead and bugle bead and bezel. bugle bead bezel absolutely so and it's not just your, your wire work the ginkos the ginkos ginkgo jinkos mid ginkgo ginkos um, and then i used actually the kit the kit, the kit that this... The, the, that yes. kit? Yes. Well, when, when, when Tom showed me that, I went, oh, my God, oh, my God, my kit... It's, it's perfect, perfect yeah, perfect. It. And we didn't so, even know. <clears throat> so we're going to bring you this <clears throat> now, and then we're going to do Kleshner's kit, and then we're going to get demoing everybody. <gasps> so literally, you know that Kleshner has been doing it as we speak, because look, there's still the needle attached yep, to it, like still so. Still got the needle attached. <clears throat> 140 carats, the gemstone of unconditional love, <laughs> and, and of course, friendship. This beautiful gemstone, it has just got an aura to it, doesn't it? It's got, it's got that beautiful. lovely tranquility, I suppose, in that sort of softy, uh, softy, soft, soft tranquility as well. Softy, soft tranquility that you see within uh, your rose court. £14.95. That's amazing. This is not a small gemstone. Now, I mean, they might, yeah. they haven't put the measurements on there, and that's because they might be slightly, they might slightly differ. But you've got 140 carats. So you know it is going to be <coughs> a big stone. Oh, my <gasps> goodness. How many have we got? Right. Jewelry makers, hold up. Stop what you're doing. 
Stop all the clock. Sit down. Yeah. Say it again, just so I don't say it wrong. Producer Tom, oh. you need to dial now. Because there are a triple figure quantity, however, these will uh, go in a heartbeat. Tom is about to take nine pounds and 30 pence <laughs> off that price. It definitely is a go-go-go. Do, do you know, actually, bezeling it like that makes it look 3D. It Have does. Inside, it just kind of looks... It's massive. Mm, it is massive. Massive. It makes it look... It reminds me of... Um, what's the thing where you went, they went into the... Of Narnia. If you turn around the other way... <laughs> It's like the wardrobe, you know, going in through a wardrobe mirror and through that <gasps> gemstone. Yes, I can actually see that. Do you know what I mean? It's, it looks 3D because of the bezel coming out. Yeah, 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 like that's, <clears throat> that, that, like that's an, like you know, a frame. In, yes, to the frame and you go into another world. Oh, my goodness. That is amazing. It's a huge <gasps> stone, 140 carats for £5.65. Wow. pence. I mean, we've all got, wow, got wow, some wow, nice wow, orders wow, underway, wow. I think. Um, if you haven't, Gosh. then oh, here's one way to start it, because that's a genuine rose quartz. We said earlier on with that lovely lapis lazuli pebble, yes. you know, just as objects to have around the home, not necessarily, you don't have to even, in, uh, you know, include it in, um, include it in jewellery. It's the kind of thing that I've, I've started my very own little, I call it my gemstone museum. That's far too, high, you know, the grand a title for it. But, yeah. um, you know, I've started collecting little uh, little examples of each of the stones that I'm not necessarily going to turn into jewellery. I'm just going to have there um, to admire, I suppose. This would be one of them. I would actually put the rose, this rose quartz actually in with that sort of collection there as well. If you are a sea beater, fabulous. If you're a wire worker, amazing. If you are somebody that prefers to do do sort of your your gallery wire tune in on Tuesday um, for those of you that are thinking okay I, I don't know what to do with this it you don't need to know right now you'll probably get the inspiration a little bit later on and um, obviously this one it doesn't come with Kleshner's work obviously but this was a challenge so you actually get um, a beautiful rose quartz cabochon but this was actually what Kleshner has been busy doing over um, over the course of well most of the morning to be yeah, truthful, haven't you? Thank it's you. still available. Right, let's do the kit. And there's the bezeling DVD. That, did we do the bezeling DVD? Um, yeah, bezeling techniques. DVD, bezeling techniques. Did we do that? I don't think we did. We'll do it now. Yeah. Do it. We'll do it now. Well, it makes sense because the technique I use to do this. Yeah. It's actually on here. Right. Make sure you get your price right this yeah. time, Tom. Choose price any price. Yeah. Because, um, <clears throat> yeah, sausage fingers. So you get a book in here as well, a little booklet to give you the actual um, additional tutorials featuring the lovely Kleshner. Um, this is all about how you bezel your stones. So if I turn it around, you can see there's the different projects that are included. This is approximately an hour long length. Um, you get your Delica Rivoli bezeling, your Lazy bezeling, your Right Angle bezeling, Oh, sorry, right angle weave bezeling. Yes. Um, so that's three different techniques of how you take a cabochon. A, ge a cabochon is a gemstone without a drill hole. Yeah. Um, and how you kind of frame it to, so it becomes wearable, basically. Yeah. Um, so some people will learn better by the written word. Some people will learn better better by actually making along with you. Great DVD. Um, some people prefer a classroom environment. Our DVDs, it covers all of those, really, in my opinion. You're taking Kleshner and you're inviting her into your own home Yay. but you can pause her you can stop and start can her shut me up <laughs> they can they can yeah they can if i'm find terribly difficult sometimes i'm quite sure now well you're not alone in that you're Aww. not alone i'm a talkative person too um, okay kit time kit time kit time mm. so beautiful colors can i just show these yes these are my cuchiol um things and i, I I actually have done a DVD on this, which I think we might have here. Lovely. <clears throat> we have. So these are amazing because look, <clears throat> these are 
Huchil, these are a, a, an in, indigenous pattern of the Huchil Indians, right? Yeah. And they've been making these sort of patterns, which all are about nature and things for many years. And the, the feathers and these, and this, this one over here at the end... This one here, and what I'm wearing. No, here, it's on the. On... Here, well, I can't. Oh, I see, I see. Sorry, 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 sorry. Thank you, Puddin. Thank you, Puddin. Yeah, you know what it's like. Sorry, all. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Somebody help us. <laughs> Somebody help me, please. Lovely. But I love making, and I'm wearing a, a lariat, which I often wear. Yes. Very nice. Where I put the little flowers on. But ain't nature grand? We'll just move that we'll out move of the way. We'll move that out of the way. Lovely. So, um, okay, do you want me to show the kit first? Show the kit first. Um, I've got two here, so you tell me. I've got one with four tubes and one with three tubes. Okay, so I know they have both got four tubes. Yeah, you're right. <coughs> the one with the gold in it. Okay. Okay, so starting with your fire line, you get your crystal white six pound fire line. Um, and then, look at this lovely selection. I'm hoping this is the right colours. Yeah? I think they are right. I don't we think... can do it! Yes. For a second there, we're just having a little moment. It is uh, you know, a little bit, a little bit. Does anyone else remember Acorn Antiques? Probably some of you, not so much. I do. Just went a little bit Acorn so. Antiques there. Who used to come in? <laughs> come a little bit like that. So you've actually got here your Mayuki Lilac Gold Luster 11 O's. Then you've got your Galvanized Dusty Lilac 11 O's. Um, you've got your Cobalt Line Sapphire. That was right. There you go. Your cobalt lined sapphire, is that, yeah. Um, and you get your aqua lined amethyst. There we go. Um, and all 11 nose alongside this really beautiful fire line too. So lovely, lovely, lovely color combination here. Um, with your ABs as well. So your fire line is the smoke gray, I should mention, 0.15 millimeters and like I said, six pounds. So, um, great strength behind it you know i think if you are a seed beader or you're thinking of gen, uh, entering into seed beading then just make sure you are well stocked on all of your different colors our kits not only do you get the inspiration from i guess designers and demonstrations but also um you'd actually get a huge saving because if you do price compare then make sure you price compare the gram weight the equivalent gram weight because these are um what like 22 grams is that right 27 Oh. 22 gram tubes um, so yeah make sure you do make the, uh, the equivalent and also the colors make a big difference as well so I'm right in saying the fire line on its own is usually around 10 pounds isn't it yeah isn't it yeah something like that so that means you're getting all of those for like two pounds something that seems a very good deal okay grab it whilst you can still available just moving quite quickly because we've got lots to squeeze in um, and we got a demo. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know why I keep doing puppy power again. Probably because <laughs> we have a very young puppy lady at home. power. And you probably watch puppy power quite a lot, I yeah, would imagine. All kinds. I used to watch Noddy all the time. I could sing every single word, all the lyrics to the Noddy song. Dead letter perfect. Yeah, there's a few that I know word for word. Young. Waffle Doggy is it? It's on in our house a lot at the moment. Well, waffle Oh, there you go, Ollie knows it. You're such a clever dog. You're such a clever dog, you are. You see, I wouldn't know about Waffle Doggy because that wasn't in my era. Waffle can talk. But you know, when your child has grown up, there'll be a brand new era of things and yep. someone will start and you'll go, oh, I don't know that one. Don't know that one. <laughs> um, right, so what are you getting? Your lovely six pound fire line. Um, and this is your Duracoat galvanized pink blush. You've got your Duracoat silver lined uh, persimmon. Um, you've got your light topaz 11 O's. Am I missing a color? Do I get three or do I get four? You get four. I'm missing a color on my thingy then. I'm a thingy, thingy, thingy. Oh, tawny pink. You get your tawny pink as well. 23.45. Claire McDonald's in the house, everybody. Hello. Looking beautiful, as always. 
Good night, darling. Uh, 23.45 for all of this. And this is called Sugar and Spice. And all things nice. Okay, Kleshner, what are you going to demo? Well, I'm just going to demo a little bit. I don't think I'll have the opportunity to demo the whole of a flower. Mm -hmm. But I'll show you how it, it starts off. And as we have a DVD for the flower, making the hoochiels, you can get all the stuff on that. And in the DVD, okay. you actually will get... Um, the, in fact, I don't know if Tom's going to put that up. Oh, no. Go on, you carry right. on and we'll... I'll, we'll... I'll carry on, Dink. Yeah. <laughs> mm. so, so in the DVD, you'll get a little booklet that shows you how to make the hoochie old flowers as okay. well. Okay. Because they're quite complex. So there we go. So what you do is you will put 12 beads into a circle and then you will start doing a back stitch. So the first one has five beads and every other one thereafter has three. And you will go literally down the side here. Okay. And I might not be able to show you a whole flower, but I'll do as much of it as I can whilst Tom is preoccupied. There we go. Two down the side there. Going through this one and this one. Can you see how literally... Um, you're going back stitching on yourself, so you're going, going up and around, down here, down here, and through here. There we go. One, two, three. And what you're doing is you're making the centre of the flower. Now, one of the things I love about these flowers is, depending on what colours you put, in fact, I might give Elle my bag of flowers again to show you. Dependent on what you are using in whichever flower, um, you know, if you used, in fact, as a central bead, a different colour, suddenly this very simple pattern has a whole different um, complexity than if you use all the same colour on one row. Does, um, um, is what I'm saying making sense? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It just, whereas there's that one which has got little dots in the middle... Just because I've changed one colour, yeah. so I've changed the top colour. So this is what makes the DVD so useful, is it will show you exactly how to do this. You got it there. Here there we go. go. We have the, have the DVD here, if you wish. Um, and I guess you make up all of these lovely little flowers, and then you can construct it in whichever way you wish Absolutely. thereafter. Absolutely, you can construct it into... a. A, a wonderful, amazing necklace. In fact, actually, I have to tell you, I'm waiting until I've got a little bit of spare extra time. And then I, all those flowers you've got down there, I want to make into some incredible necklace. So what is a, a hoochiol? So the hoochiol Indians um, are a, an indigenous tribe of the... Hold on, I've got my little notes here. Of the Sierra Madre... Um, district in Mexico and these patterns are really highly sort of intricate and colourful representations of animals and geometric shapes in the same way as in Turkey they weave into their rugs yes, different yeah. things and you know, it miraculously thankfully survives all the, the mo modernity and they carry on making rather amazing incredible things these wonderful colourful um, you can also, they, they'll do skulls, which they, they bead, they put this tacky wax on, mm -hmm. and they push beads into the tacky wax on the skulls, they do dolphins, so everything is to do with, with nature, basically. It's quite, quite exquisite. Um, and that's where sort of these flowers actually this is originate where from? This, these stitches originally came from. So this is an hour-long DVD with Kleshner. Again, you get, the D, you get the actual booklet. If I turn it round, you can actually see it's broken down into what two into two chapters, really. Correct. Um, and that is your introduction, so obviously Kleshner tells you what you're going to need. I think just a colour selection, I think, is the thing. Yeah. Um, and then you have um, the hoochiol flower and also the feather motif. Which is the feather motif? Here's the feathers here. Uh huh. Oh, hold on. Let, oh, oh, sorry. Am I, am I doing my normal? You're doing your normal. I'm doing my usual. Sorry, I'll. <laughs> here you go. So you get these really lovely tassels. They're beautiful. Aren't they lovely? They're, they're little feathers that you, you learn how to make on the DVD. 
amazing. So grab the DVD whilst you can. Um, would work perfectly alongside the kit, hence why Kleshner has obviously um, been making these lovely little flowers with them. So those perfect colour combinations. So um, to get it all, it's one of your newest DVDs, isn't it, Kleshner? It is one of my newest DVDs. Indeed it is. And um, it's a great fun thing to do. And then I'm just going to do, and in fact, you can make a half a flower, yeah. make it into a ring. So I'm about to add another row okay. here. Bear with, bear with. Um, so I've done my back stitch all the way round, and on the last one, literally put one bead. And then I'm just going to pick up five of these. And I'm going to go down. So I'm skipping over the top of that bead and I'm going along in the middle row through that one. But you'll see that very, very quickly, all of a sudden, I've got like a flower. There we go. Like that. There we go. So it's really terribly simple um, and and also sometimes pointy flowers are made as well so in in amongst there you might find a little pointy flower yeah oh, here. there we go as well. yeah so you can actually stop at different um, parts of making this and have it as a different shaped flower which is I think really rather good it, there's not many beading patterns where there's the pointy the whole, flowers thank you or part of the flower actually can make and form a perfect piece. But I think one of the things I love about this is that you can stop at different and various points and you have a perfect flower. So you can see here. Oh no, I'm Do you know what I love? The the, I love the idea of just making loads of different individual flowers, oh, you see, look, and just and look, just look, and, look, and just piecing them all together in like this really beautiful kind of bib style br uh, necklace. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Because that one reminds me of a pansy. Yes. Can you now see that? And the other thing, they remind me also of my favourite flowers, which is an auricula. What's an auricula? Auricula looks like a prim primrose. Oh, I know. But with those wonderful outlined edges. Um, yeah. And it's wonderful. You, you have, they have things called auricular theatres, which basically is a stand that you put them on to display them. But they're so, so beautiful. Um, I'm going to O-R. A-U. What? A U R I C U L A. Good start, isn't it? Yes, right. A U R I C L A. Auricular. C C U L A. L -A. Auricular. Auricular flower. Yeah. Let's have a little look. They are so beautiful. Oh, they really do. They my goodness. They, they look just like auriculars, and as it's my favourite, the moment I found these. They do look a lot like Don't this. they, you see? Lovely. Beautiful. Lovely. So, I, I don't think we'll have time to do the whole of, of these, but can you see, even if you make one like that... So how would you piece these together then, if you were going to take these and actually to pop them into an entire okay. uh, sort of necklace? What would you do? What would you do? Because obviously I can imagine... Well, you... what I would do firstly is I would see... Let's, let's just move this out the way because the whole of the making of these is on the DVD. Mm -hmm. What I do whenever I'm going to piece something together is I literally will sit there and look at what shape I want and then I will see where the beads, where they touch best. You know, is it better for me to turn that one around like that and interlace it there? Um, and you can then sew a little right angle weave, there we go, and piece them around. Or I might make it into a necklace and I might decide that I want to piece it together here and here. Yeah, yeah. Because it all depends on where the flexibility that you want. Or I could just literally sew that in there. 
yeah, just connect them together in kind of like a running floral motif. Yeah. So beautiful, Kleshner. Thank you so Colourful, much. And we have actually offered quite a few of Kleshner's DVD today. If you, if, if that's what you um, would like to purchase, so yeah, check a little, take a little look on our website or chat to our contact centre as well. Um, okay, amazing. What can we do next? Ooh. Shall we bring you some beautiful labradorite? Um, so again, any of you wire workers? Oh my goodness! You should, is this described as? Yeah, I was going to say it's got to be described as purple. Oh Amazing. my goodness! Question for you, Kleshner, from Rebecca: Would these flowers also work for poppies? They would work for poppies, most definitely. Yes, that would be could, nice. Oh, well, there's, isn't a, it? there's a sort of a ready-looking one there. Yes, maybe take out, the, little, take out take, the take out the, the, the black. Well, I do the black bits. Yeah, in, the yellow and the, the orange. I, I do the middle bit in black. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, or a darker shade of red. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah, that's quite poppy inspired, isn't it? Love that. Good question now. Yeah, really good question because you can be inspired by any of your favourite flowers, couldn't you? Yeah. I and really we're like up to poppy day. Um, yeah, yeah. So I really like those. They're just like a simple daisy, which is like yellow in the centre and then what? I think Marguerites. There's... Yeah, they're so pretty. They are lovely, aren't so they? So cheerful. I like Marguerites too. Yeah. Um, okay, how about the rarest colour to acquire in Labradorite is purple. And yet you have them in every single one of these. It's purple iridescence at its finest. Can you see that? Really Amazing. beautiful deep purple tones. And that's a natural occurrence, jewelry makers. So basically tiny mica platelets trapped within the gemstone produce this gorgeous optical effect. But purple is the rarest to get, yep. bar none. Um, so, thirty-four ninety-five for 115 carats you're getting here of natural beauty. Still your number one favourite gemstone jewellery makers as voted by your good selves for eight out of the nine years that we've been established. Gosh, as if we're going to be ten in May. Wow. Ten years old. Aww. Wow. What a party that is going to be. Soon you'll be a teenager. Yeah, yeah. Two years time. Um, oh, we're not even stopping there, everybody. That's, I mean, that's real quality. You'd be highly, to, to, to find put that purple sheen, they describe it as a purple sheen labradorite, um, to find that, you know, even on the, you know, with, with, with high-end sort of coloured gemstone suppliers, you pay a premium. You really, really do. Um, and it's something to do with, and I always get it confused, I'm not even going to try and suggest that something to do with the distance that the light or the colours have to travel um, between the object, obviously a labradorite, and us. So I'm not even going to. I always get it wrong, so I won't Aww. even bother mentioning. But it's it, it's it's very very complex and scientific. But that's natural, a natural occurrence. Um, when it was first discovered in uh, Canada, Labrador in Canada, that they actually believed that it was the aurora borealis which had been trapped within a gemstone. Amazing. And then a mighty warrior actually brought down his sword and released that into the sky that's uh, um yeah it's i mean it, it, it's just fascinating and now at the moment because lots of big celebrities are actually using this within um sort of on the red carpet as well it, it's again its popularity has skyrocketed don't you feel quite smug jewelry makers when you see that when you see all these big celebrities um, and big designer shops like chanel for example working with beads and you're like, yeah, well, we've been working with beads for a long time, Chanel. I it's know. like they think that, you know, they've kind of caught on to the JM bug, isn't it? But and you've been inspiring them. And then look at the, look at the price that they charge. And mm. you jewellery makers know why. Because it is a time-consuming... Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Absolutely. Well done, well done. Moving on to... Let's bring... Oh, what are they? Sorry, I just got I just got distracted. Ooh. Ooh. She's saying, oh now I want to know what she's L got distracted by, but so um, Well. I have no doubt it will come out in a minute. It will. Oh these are fab is that one? Mm -hmm. Is that one in there? Oh, they're pretty. Look at that. So Zebra Jasper, you can see where it gets its name, can't you? You sure can. Oh, that's beautiful. A very delicate lemon yellow in there. Gosh, these yeah. are stunning. And a mixture of your rounds, your ovals. Fab. Look at that. That'd be nice and nice prong set ring, wouldn't it? Monochrome, but with that little hint of citron. 
Yeah, little hint. Yummy, yummy. Citron. Sorry. Citron. 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 Merci bien. Eh? Eon. That's about as much as I can say. Citron. Citron. Bonjour. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, do, I didn't do French. Um, my friend is coming over tonight from France. Oh, she has, um, beautiful. We hope she's going to win a, an award at the Interior Design Awards with a table she's designed. Wow. Oh, I haven't told you, Kleshna, that I've gone back to school doing interior design. Oh, really? Doing a degree in interior design. Oh, so well, I need to chat with her then. Yes, and also one of my best friends is... is mega leading designer they, they wanted to give her designer of the decade she was up for oh i need to talk to your yeah. friends uh 12.95 for this only and you know what this <coughs> i get so much inspiration from gemstones as well the colors that mother nature oh. actually offers um um yeah the, the, the first thing that i was actually reading um about within the first module was actually talking about be, being able to spot inspiration in all aspects of your sort of life if Correct. you like so um so being able to look at gemstones like this thinking yeah i can do that i can incorporate mm. that color way with that into that room etc yeah. these are beautiful i don't even, i've never seen zebra jasper i mean I, I i get where it gets its name from but i love the fact that you've got that that element of yellow within there too yeah and a huge huge bundle of amazing have you looked um that if you go into this as a online wallpaper company mm -hmm. and they have the most amazing which i've seen uh, agate wallpaper that's so weird because i love it i've been talking about this not have you? not wallpaper but i've literally yesterday picked up from the framers i bought a poster that cost me like tenner yeah off the sort of river site yeah <laughs> and I've just had it framed and it's it is an agate zoomed in yeah it's, that's what it is so that's so weird it's not wallpaper but it's a big poster in yeah, my, yeah, in yeah. My I mean, I, there, there, there's a, a company called Western mm. something or other was it it's very on trend at the moment now all the gemstones on wallpapers look at this so beautiful gold plated 925 sterling silver Ooh. these are the extra long I was say mega. yeah they're the, they're the really <laughs> long ones um so anything that firstly you know think about it this way we don't do gold plated sterling silver wire do we we don't sell it at the moment i should say never say never but so if you were looking for a head pin of a, a head pin of normal length it'd be about that wouldn't it probably about that length but if you've got a larger gemstone then obviously you need that full length nothing is ever discarded so even if you cut it down yeah. that doesn't mean that you can't use what um, you know what you cut off you can use that elsewhere um, so you're getting the 10 of them which is 0 0.6 in its thickness and its aperture these will work with all of the hematite with with the um, aquamarine that we had earlier on as well they've got the flat ball uh not not ball sorry the flat pin top there so it won't detract from the actual shape of your gemstone and they're 76 millimeters so 7.6 centimeters in their length in total jewelry makers these are great and again I'm, i said it what was it yesterday about featherweight headpins and yeah. how they revolutionized our jewelry making i think the same applies with these extra long lengths don't you uh 5.95 for those Wow. That's, Very good. That, that really is a fab, fab, fab deal. Yeah, pop one onto massive. Your, big, your big statement stones. Hello, are they? 7.6. Wow. 7.6. Hello, Stephanie. Kleshner, thanks for the DVD. The flowers are very pretty. Just okay. hope I can do as neat work as you. Happy birthday, Elle. I've had, uh, I've had what? I've had three birthdays this month. Uh, I, wow. I, yes. Well, you have. Oh, oh right. three birthdays Spectrum, that you know it? of, yeah. <clears throat> Except, do you know why that is, though, Stephanie? You know why there is lots of birthdays in September? It's, yeah. It's cold. <laughs> Baby, it's cold outside. Yeah. yeah. You need to hug and snuggle. Really, <laughs> Cass. <laughs> That's it. That's all I'm saying. Yes. That's why, Stephanie. That's Stephanie. Time to put the central heating up. Moving on. Oh, moving oh, on. Oh. Moving on. 15, did you say? <laughs> What's in 16? I'm intrigued. Ooh. I'm really Ooh. intrigued. So how about some beautiful amethyst? This is dog tooth amethyst Pretty. and you're playing rounds. Pretty. Oh, lovely. Eight millimeters in their size, they're gorgeous. I'd use these with the hematite, 
maybe the hematite rings Ooh, that we yes. started that 10 o'clock showcase with that only seems like five minutes ago doesn't it i know i can't believe where's the time gone today it's flown by it really and also lovely with the kits that you've just had as well mm. um yeah i mean mm. we'll always need our classic rounds there'll always be um you know whatever yeah. jewelry making genre we do whatever skill yeah. um you actually are um level you're actually at you'll always need your rounds yeah because true. well it works in everything doesn't it there's stash essentials and i think you've got a gemstone which is an essential as well but a specific variety of so this is dog tooth amethyst sometimes referred to as chevron mm. amethyst um well, you get these lovely patterns. Can you see? There's really gorgeous dynamic separations um, within the gemstones. So almost like bicolors. Six pound forty nine. That's amazing because dog tooth amethyst is quite expensive. <clears throat> Many places will actually charge a premium for dog tooth amethyst. Oh, I'm not surprised. Yeah, I'm not either because you've. Uh, and we waited for a long time. Do you remember, Ollie, when we first launched dog tooth amethyst? We were kind of like, oh my goodness, and it was quite expensive. Yeah, because we, we, we waited what it fit, felt like anyway, um, quite a long time for it. Certainly wasn't that price tag, my goodness. Love it, love it, love it. Use it alongside your Mayukis, beautiful. Uh, hi, Debbie, nice to have your company. Hello to you, Lucy in Hertfordshire. Hello to you, London, West Midlands. Hello to you, um, Barbara, you've got yours. Michael's on those phone lines. Do stay Ooh. we are. Plus many, but there's another Michael, another Michael. There's more Michaels. Um, keep on dialing through. Do you know, I had a load of Pauls the other day. We got to get some work done on our house. The two men who came to quote were called Paul. Yeah. And we've got a, a, another guy who's working on part of the house is called Paul. Yeah. Everybody was called Paul. That's, isn't that strange? I, I, seriously, I mean, it's like having lots of, uh, you Le know, Paul, what do you Le call Paul. a clutch of Michaels? A group name for a lot of Michaels. <laughs> More Michaels. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I'm intrigued by these. A muse of Michaels. Those are amazing, aren't they? They're, They're like, like vases. Yes. I don't like... Can I just say one thing? Go on. I really don't like the threading material. Well, in those... No, it's... Well, it is a bit garish for... Yeah, for something that's that beautiful. And also, it doesn't exactly match. Why, why, why that threading material? That's, that is it's just very biz... Caribbean colours, isn't it? Yeah, it's bizarre. I don't like that. Do you think they ran out of blue? I, well, I think they probably just... Say, it does show off the blueness, doesn't it? But like the blue does kind of like stick out and pop, pop into your... Into Michael, your I love you, but I'm not agreeing with you on this. <laughs> you know what? I don't think it does it any favours at all. No. Do it with black or white. Or blue. But you know what? You know what? Look at how lovely these gorgeous little urns, these vases... A little vase, vase, or vase. Look at how many you, look how many threading materials. It's like they threw every single one of them at it. Um, here we go. But you can see there's a large aperture in the centre there. Liking that. Love that. So and they're gorgeous little vases. When do we launch these? At the beginning of the month. They are amazing. I love that shape, and I bet that's really challenging to cut. Our uh, should be price is £12.95. I love them. I think they're absolutely amazing, but I'm just trying to hide the threading material, um, if I can. Do you know that what else they remind me of a bit is tailor's dummies. Tailor, what's what's a, a tailor's dummy, like this sort of thing. But oh, okay, a, a yeah, 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 yeah. Like yes. That. Yeah, I can see that. Without the stand. Or little fish. Or, or little egg timers. Or a little piece, a chess piece or... A chess piece, yeah. yeah. A little urn. They're beautiful. And I d they're so beautiful. They're such an interesting... And actually, if you've got two end pieces together around something, they would look lovely. Yeah, because you could turn them into... Can I cut the strand? Please. Oh. Please, because it's really bothering me, oh, that strand. Me get my How many do we have of these? Have we got quantity? Okay, right, listen, so jewelry makers. between every one, though. You're going to... I reckon these are going to absolutely sell out when I do this. <laughs> Personally, you know, when you just kind of... Think, I think, and I reckon... I know Marie pretty well now. Marie is our head buyer. And I know if she... Oh, gosh, you're... Oh, That's you what can. I mean. They have a knot between us. <laughs> um, but I reckon... Sorry. If, 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 if she saw this strand, what? she'd be like, what is that? I'll, I'll cut them up for you. Thank you. I'll just do this one. All right, that's So, fine. look, she would agree. Because it's not... 
it's not showcasing. You do get an entire strand, obviously. It's not showcasing the beauty. Look at those. They are cool. Imagine those at the top of a tassel. I think they're lovely. They are lovely. Eight ninety five. You can cover vases in like a, a doll's house. In a doll's house. Yes. 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 Perfect. Oh, 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 if you got the micro, uh, the, the very thin head pins yeah. and seed beads, you can make a little flower around the head and just plant them all in there like a baby vase. Ooh. Super fine head pins. Uh, see, that's how big the drill hole is, even these head pins. You need a, la a thicker gauge of wire or not no, no, between no. What, them. Or what you do is you do this. Hold on. Wait a second. Give, give me the head pin. A minute. So what you do, no, no, you put on a little bead and then you put the <gasps> head pin through. That's what I do when I have a hole that's too big. There we go. They are very cool, aren't they? Absolutely love that shape. And you do get an entire strand. I'm glad you're loving them too. I don't know. I, do you all agree with me? Was yeah. that was that, not, was that strand ghastly as in the, you know, the ghastly? Ghastly, there I said it. It was beautiful, but it had the ghastly gem, colours. The gemstones gemstone. are beautiful. The threading material, the choice of threading material, dreadful. Was, but it's a good job we don't... Pants. Did you like it? I love the flag colours. Yeah, absolutely, but just not alongside the blue. Don't worry, be happy. Yeah, I love the colours. La, la, right la, now, jobs like that. Move on. La, 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 la. Okay. I'm gonna see my Bob Marley sons now. Yeah, I love Jamaica. Don't worry. Been a couple of times to Jamaica. It's a beautiful place. Yeah, love it. A few times. I love Jamaica. I love her. Oh. Da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> love it. Amazing. Oh, look at that. So this is beautiful Ethiopian opal. You have 50 carats here, and this is totally natural. It's just got that, for me, I mean, Australian opal, I love Australian opal as well, but it's more of a, um, an opaque colour, so you get the play of colour across the surface. Does that make sense? Yep. With an Ethiopian opal, you can see inside. So you're, it's like you get more, if that makes sense to you. Um, so you're getting 78 centimetres, lovely with your seed beads, gorgeous with your hematite as well. Yeah, it's just magical, this gorgeous gemstone. Um, and you know, very versatile, given the fact that these are sort of in their um, in their nugget shape. So um, this is how they've been mined, but obviously then gone on to be polished. So going straight down to, we're running out of time. Can you believe that? Twelve ninety five for genuine opal. I mean, we think Sounds about good. this weekend. We've got a vintage show. Oh, that'll be fun. This will be lovely. And I know Ethiopian opal tech technically isn't. Um, te well, actually, technically it is. In gemstone world, it is actually classed as vintage. I had this disagreement with somebody on Facebook the other day because it wasn't on. It wasn't actually on. No, this is really relevant, and um, it wasn't on any anything to do with us here at Jewelry Maker. But a friend, well, an acquaintance, let's just put it that way, um, was selling um, a piece of jewelry. I know why she was selling it, um, and I know it would have been quite a difficult thing for her to do. Anyway, there was an emotional attachment, but I think she needed to raise some money, and it was a sapphire and sapphire. And cubic zirconia ring and she described it she got into jewelers and they'd given her an opinion on what she should describe it as and it was from 1980s anyway so she put it on this facebook site and somebody instantaneously pounced all over it and said you've described this as a vintage ring from the 19 uh, 1980s um if that's what you call vintage and then just basically add a little bit of a go, oh, right. go at her and i thought well that's just a little bit unnecessary isn't it um and i kind of said well technically she is absolutely right because because in jewellery, um, that is classed as vintage. Mm. Anything from the 90s is retro. Before that is vintage or antique. So there we go. So technically, you could call it that. Anyway. So, so you'll there. Be, you'll be what's it. Yes. So there. But yes. you know, we just kind of think that that's just a bit unnecessary. I, but do you not think, though, that a lot of this cyber bullying and cyber everything is unnecessary <laughs> in, in terms of the way people are. Yeah. I was watching the programme on that poor girl oh, from Little Mix. Don't, 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 you set me off. You set me off, I get really upset by that. Um, okay. Moving on. I know, I know, Moving bless on. her heart. Oh, I know. 17. I want to go out there and stamp all over these people who are mean and nasty all the time. I know. <laughs> um, and I don't have that in 17. Ooh, I've died. <laughs> 
My ear has died. I just thought I'd let you know. I, I do have it in 13. Is it this one? Is, oh, yeah, four mil rounds. Here we go. I found it. I they're love lovely, these. I know. They? They're beautiful. We actually launched these in... Um, um, we actually launched this in different strands. So we had an <laughs> aquamarine. I know we had labradorite. Um, and they all absolutely flew out the door. So, yeah, I'm not surprised. Flew out. They're lovely. Um, we described them as, think, as, li as little pips. They're like Beautiful. faceted, gorgeous, fac checkerboard faceted in a four mil size across the entirety of them. They are beautiful. Very and of course, you've got that wonderful, um, intense color. $19.95 for these. $19.95 only to get hold of genuine amethyst. All the W's at jewelrymaker.com. You just, I'm going to love, I, I'm, I'm love this strand. And I think it will look perfect alongside the malachite that you've got coming up um, in the mid show today. Oh, they've got some beautiful star oh, buys. Lovely. A little bit of your um, amber coming up in the mid show. Yeah, and she's some got a big bit malachite. of amber in the, in the mid show. Look at that large, huge. I know. Bicoloured amber. Bicoloured ombre amber. Lovely. Twelve ninety five only, everybody. You know what to do. Check out those baskets. Um, nice as well alongside your hematite because I think you've got that combination. You def definitely saw if you cast your mind back. I don't know if any of those strands are still available if you've just joined us. We had a hematite showcase this morning. Have a little look because they were definite purple tones. So, you know, the ones we started with, those that I think mm. they were described as rings. You could have one of these in the centre, couldn't you? Did they sell out? Yeah, I thought they did. So, oh. if you were lucky enough to get hold of them, um, most of them actually sold out. Well, I'm not surprised by that we've got ones and twos left of that um again beautiful and a gemstone that we just know we love it's always had that intrinsic value if you like yeah. um i think over the past sort of decade or so it's become a lot more significant again if you kind of go back through the de the, the generations um uh, amethyst when we actually saw more amethyst coming into the market more of your sort of paler saturations um I don't want to say we fell out of love with it, but it wasn't as expensive and it wasn't as popular as it was previously. It's back there again, though, jewelry makers, because lots of the big designers are using that really lovely deep purple. Um, so, yeah, coming up on the mid show, you have got so your ombre amber pendant. Oh, it is huge. It really, I've got to Bex look at it. We had it yesterday. We had it on the show. It's insane. So, this is what you launched on the weekend, wasn't it, guys? Look at that. And we showed it last night on our night show. Isn't that amazing? It's like an egg. It's like a little egg. And that is insane. And That's to get beautiful. that mixture of colour, wow. I've never seen that anywhere else other than here at Jewelry Maker. I'm not saying you don't ever get it anywhere else, but it, it's uh, personally. So Tom had this in his, in his grasp all weekend. Very warm. Amber, yeah, isn't presenter it? Becky actually went to um, Gdansk, and she's actually on the mid show, so she'll yeah. be able to share with you um, her her perfect, uh, personal experiences. And they actually chose; they chose all the goodies. I did mention, and I should perhaps say now, whilst uh, whilst Becky's waiting in the in the wings, I have to say I think this amber weekend that we've just done is the best that we've done so far. That I, I, I wasn't there, but yeah, really, really, really beautiful lineup, wasn't it? I really liked those big sort of free forms. Kleshna, thank. Thank you, thank you, thank Pleasure. you so much. I've had As a great always, time. Um, for your for your knowledge, your talent, your oh, inspiration, sure. and of course your lovely company. Oh, thank you. So when are you back with us? I'm back early October. Early October. Yes, I am. And good luck with all the move and, oh, and getting you, yourself no, settled I, in. I, I don't think that's going to happen for a little while, but it takes so long to prep. When you lived in a house for 25 years. Um, and my, my, love, my lovely physio is going to see me on Friday. So to I sort you out, out to sort, sort you out. out. <laughs> I'm back with you now um, on Saturday. Ooh. Actually, I'm doing a double with you on Saturday. Yeah, wow. we've got the uh, vintage weekend coming up then. Um, so I am vintage, yeah, you're right. Um, and I do have the lovely Jan joining me on Saturday morning for um, Deal of the Day, some really beautiful pearl buttons. Ooh. But we also have got back in stock your Dremel. 
pearls. So with the pearl wow. drill bit. So make sure you're with me there. But coming up, yeah, don't go anywhere, jewelry makers, because there's an amazing lineup of amber um, with Becky, who was there herself um, on that recent trip, everybody. So stay with her because you've got a lovely strand, graduated strand of malachite, I can see, ovals and all sorts. So I know mm, what I'm going to be yummy. doing. Have a wonderful afternoon, everybody. Take care. We'll see you soon. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Stuttgart.